Welcome to Stream 2 Persona yep. for Golden. Yep, 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 yep. We'll be running a uh, hard golden ending today. I'm Neviats, and with me I have uh, Knockfrost. Knockfrost. And I'm Master Pasca. And on remote commentary, we have the one and only. Fog. And the other one and only. <laughs> I'm Molski. All right. Moltski uh, actually knows something about the game, just like Asa Pasca. Um, I don't actually. Um, I'm just here to play the game. I'm just here to talk about the story. Yep. <laughs> and um, vanilla. later on, we're also going to have uh, Leonis a commentary, and uh, eventually, uh, uh, Infodesk Daddy Pato is also going to show up. So uh, look forward to that. He might just show up five minutes before the ending. Yep. <laughs> All right, uh, before we go, I'm just going to change some settings here real quick. Network off. No anime subtitles. Uh, we don't need them. We skipped them anyways. That's uh, true. It'll turn up the shadows so we don't have to fight them, of course. <laughs> uh, V-Sync is off. That's going to be very important. Settings should be fine. All right. So a um, couple things before I start. Um, this run on PC in particular is a little bit hardware dependent, so since I'm kind of playing on unknown hardware, there might be a little bit of hiccups here and there, but um, we'll try to work around that. Um, worst case, I have backups prepared. I would rather not uh, make use of them, but worst comes to worst, I have to. Um, yeah, other than that, um, remember there is a donation incentive to change the audio language to Japanese in case you want to listen to Japanese Teddy throughout the run. Um, can change that anywhere in the run, so you got time. All right, anyways, um, we're, it starts on selecting, right? It's after you select, yeah. yes, after the difficulty. All right, I'm gonna pick hard here, and then we'll go in three, two, one, go. So, as you will notice, throughout the run, there's a lot of uh, fast forwarding. Also, there was no incentive for uh, naming, so we're just going to name ourselves uh, ESA Marathon. If I did the math correctly, that should fit. Yep. Alrighty. We're now going to be our name. Kun. Yep. Yep. Alright. Uh, so, yeah. Um, on the PC version, there's a very big difference to compared to the Vita version. Um, we have more than 60 FPS, which uh, speeds up the run a lot. Uh, but compared to the Vita version, there is a couple of things fixed, main, namely the corn glitch. Uh, Motsuki or Asopaski can probably explain what that was. Uh, yeah, so basically there was a side quest um, in the game where uh, you could hand in, uh, you could give uh, a guy some corn and he will give you a um, Yosuke weapon, which doesn't matter. But the the important thing was that uh, it didn't check if uh, how many if you even had magic corn. So if you had zero, it would underflow, and you have 99. That was the important part about it. That was fixed on the PC version. Yes. Uh, in exchange, the the run is a lot faster. So we're fine with that. And yeah. And speaking of changes that were faster uh, compared to the vanilla PS2 version, you can actually fast forward the uh, most yeah. of the gameplay here, most of the cutscenes here. Yes. The only downside is you have this obnoxious noise throughout the entire run. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. Probably not a whole lot, but uh, we're stuck with this now. We unanimously agree that on PC version we did allow uh, to mod the game to remove the noise because no one likes it. Did we? Yeah. I do not know. All right. So Maybe for the first one part of that work. <laughs> I mean, at least the game does have fast forward, unlike vanilla, where you just have to mash. Yeah, you just put in your turbo control and uh, <laughs> just go AFK in between a lot of the actual uh, interactions in the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is not recommended to run the PS2 version without the turbo controller. <laughs> it is also not recommended to run the PS2 version on PS2. That's the other <laughs> thing. Yeah. Because it is awfully slow. I don't even recommend running it on uh, the forbidden thing called an uh, emulator, because <laughs> even that is slow. All right, so um, we're in the middle of our dream, and we're uh, kind of following this hallway. And now we're going to fight this um, well, this thing. 
Luckily we don't really have to kill him, so we're just gonna mash through this and rush. And it's always gonna end after four turns, five turns. Yeah, it's you hit him two turns and then you miss two turns. Yeah. I did actually hit him three turns. Oh, sure. I think. Okay. But yeah. Doesn't really matter, end result is the same, we just get out of here as fast as possible. And then have breakfast. Oh, yep. So essentially what happens at the start of the game, uh, we move to Inaba, which is a very small town. And um, these are our first days here, and we will soon encounter some very uh, weird encounters. Namely, uh, people dying left and right. And then our job that is it to save them. I think. As well, usual when moving to new places. Well, it's not our job, but they just decided to. Yep. It, it's not our job, it's actually the person we're staying with is our uncle, and he's a police officer, but he's doing a very bad job at it. <laughs> <laughs> to put it mildly. <laughs> Essentially, we're putting the police out of business. Yep. I mean, that's usual for Japanese games, right? I figured it was the student, um, student council who's in charge. Well, yeah. yeah, pretty much. I don't actually think there is a proper, well, I guess there is a proper student council in this, kind yeah, of. Yeah, but, but it doesn't matter in this game. Yeah, It's not like P3, for example. Or P5. Or P5, yeah. Alright, this weird guy was uh, asking out Yukiko for some reason. Yeah, he's uh, he's gonna show up a bunch of times in this. I wonder why. I do wonder, so... But well. yeah, so essentially all this is intro. Um, if you're playing this casually, the intro is going to be like probably two, three, four hours long. Until you get to do anything, so... Exactly. It's not It's not as well-paced as uh, other Persona games. Uh, uh, I mean, you could argue. I mean, at the start, at the very least, if you actually want to do anything that isn't um, social simulator. Yep. Uh, we had nothing to do, so we just went home. The first thing we have to do is on the 14th. And before that, we're pretty much just going home and sleep. Yeah, so speaking more about uh, this category. So this is hard. Um, you might be wondering why we're playing hard. It's uh, kind of like a thing uh, in the Megaton speedrunning where we run on the hardest difficulty. But uh, this is not the hardest difficulty. There's actually one after this, which is called Very Hard. Um, and you might be wondering why we're not running that. Well, the thing is that the, all the damage multipliers and everything is actually exactly the same as hard, but you just get less money and EXP from fights. So it's the run would be basically exact same, just more grind. Well, like it, it would just be a little bit longer, and that's it. Yep. So there's virtually no change in strength. Yeah. No. yeah, you get forty percent experience and money, so it's more of a suited for a lower level kind of challenge thingy and the run would be essentially the same until the late game strats yep and they didn't learn for p5 and did the exact same mistake yep they finally learned in royal though yeah but <laughs> <laughs> yeah but royal's hardest difficulty is actually easier than hard yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ro royal's hardest difficulty is just a meme honestly yep All right, so uh, we kind of got half stuck in the TV there, noticing that we have some kind of weird uh, power, which we'll make use of uh, very soon. Yeah. Approximately, what's the time? Uh, approximately two, three minutes, I think. L luckily, our TV is so small that we didn't get stuck fully. Yep. All right, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, B. First class answer. Uh, we do want a little bit of knowledge, so we will have to uh, answer these questions correctly. Yes, we need to have uh, rank 4 knowledge by the summer exam. And assuming I don't make any mistakes according to the notes, so uh, we should have that. Look, mm. it's a bigger TV. Yeah. They wouldn't believe us. And now they're freaking out about it. So much, in fact, that uh, they're gonna kick us in. Yep. Yeah, the, so, uh, some of these cutscenes are actually better on fast forward. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, sadly the people you're seeing with us are our party. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. It's okay, they don't get much of use. That's true. They'll be used as meat shields pretty much throughout the entire uh, game. Meat shields and buff bots. Well, in first dungeon, they're a little useful. Yeah, kinda. But that's only because um, you don't really have a lot of options on I the main character. I think you can't even take them out of party in first dungeon. Yeah, you can't. It only starts in the second uh, mm -hmm. dungeon when you can take someone out of party. If you're wondering what's happening story-wise, uh, on our way back from school we found out that there's a corpse hanging from somewhere. And we're like, oh, that's inconvenient. Yeah, and this is where we got introduced to Teddy, which is the character where... Um, this is basically the donation goal. <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. you want English or Japanese, Teddy? Make it Japanese for the children. Yes. We're only, uh, I don't know how far we're off, but um, you can make it happen. All right, so uh, back from our adventure, uh, we're just going to watch TV and we feel kind of uh, not that great. So we're yeah. just going to rest early. I think the, all, all the Ujima says in these parts is basically like, like, hey, something's bad is happening, but don't, don't like, keep your nose out of it, all of it. But we don't. I mean, why would we? Yeah. The game would be over now if we did. <laughs> That's the speedrun strat. Just... Just don't stick your nose into it. Don't get involved. Yep. Alright. So, 4.15 uh, is going to be our first adventure in the actual dungeon. It's going to come up very soon and uh, I believe the safe prompt is going to be after this yeah. scene. Yeah, make sure to save. So normally you would save here, but uh, in a marathon I wouldn't want to lose 10 minutes because of this. Yeah, so normally when you die in this game you get you, you can respawn at the start of the floor, but there is no dungeon floor um, at this specific fight. So yeah. if you die here you get kicked to the title screen, so it's, it's a run reset <laughs> and we yep. don't want that. And there is a chance to die on the first boss. Yes. Even if I don't mess up. Mm -hmm. because it's hard difficulty. And the game is still a spin-off of SMT that loves to just kill you. Yeah, although, um, if you ask anybody today, SMT is a spin-off of Persona, it's based true. on the popularity. Yeah. Also, in um, case of the incentive, and if, uh, it has been lowered to 800 for the incentive, and okay. we are on 125 out of 800. Well, it's doable. Uh, make it 100 per hour, and then we'll have it at the end of the run. Yeah. Yes. So you get it for like two fights or something. No, if you get it by the forest, then... Uh, true. Maybe the audience just wants to hear really bad English bear puns. True. It's bear puns in Japanese as well. Yeah, but isn't it... Just Kuma Kuma in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So this is gonna be our first fight. For these, we're just gonna do a zero rush on each of them. And hopefully, I'm not gonna try and play Persona 5 here because the, the button layout is a little different in P5 and uh, played a lot of that game. Yeah, this fight wants you to uh, teach the weaknesses and one more. So that's exactly what we do. This is the intended way to beat this fight. Yeah. It's also the fastest way to do it. Yeah. We level up once, perfect. Alright, now it's going to be the first boss very soon. Um, where I believe it's going to be a Zeo Cleave twice, and then uh, we mm -hmm. essentially cycle that with guards in between and uh, healing once. Yeah, this fight is completely scripted, aside from the fact that he can crit. Yep. I just need to remember to not try and open the skill menu with triangle. That would be bad. Yeah. Another interesting thing about the boss fights in this game is that unlike a lot of other uh, Persona games in particular, uh, uh, where in other, in other games you usually cannot miss bosses, uh, in this one you can miss most of them, but you cannot uh, miss this one, and then the next one, and then the one towards the end. For some reason there's three boss fights that you cannot miss. Zero cleave. 
Uh, I believe he's gonna power charge here. Don't underestimate me. Oh no, he does. Zero cleave. We're gonna guard here now. Otherwise, we're gonna get hit by wind. It's guarding, it's and our persona is weak to wind, so that would be uh, very bad. That would basically just be a run over at that point. Uh, we're gonna heal with medicine. Which uh, actually heals more in this version. It only heals 50 in vanilla, whereas uh, it heals 100 in gold. Basically, every healing kind of is just buffed. Yeah. Alright, he's gonna get up here. Don't underestimate me. Yeah, there's a lot of balancing issues, uh, uh, not issues, but d uh, balancing changes uh, compared to the PS2 game. Alright, we're gonna guard here. And it's gonna be Zeo Cleave for the rest. Rush does kill, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's right. Right. Defend yourself. We didn't game over in the first 14 minutes of the run. Perfect. Yes. We did it. Smooth sailing from here, am I right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. There's uh, no hard fight left in the run. It's basically over. We're just going to be sitting here for uh, eight hours and uh, enjoy the, the cutscenes, right? Uh, Story-wise, um, basically this guy who is now part of our party, Yosuke, he's uh, denied himself, saying that he really isn't just in for an adventure and really just wants to save his senpai that he's so in love with. Um, uh, the senpai died like a day yeah, or two yeah. earlier in, in game. Yeah, she died after she got interviewed by a TV crew, which is very important. Um, she died, he was angry, he, did, he denied himself, and this is a pattern that we'll see with every other boss, uh, basically, where it's just a main character, kind of denies himself, then we fight their shadow, and then they're like, oh, yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> time mm, to change. Yeah, well. It is how it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, um... Here's an important thing, every time you enter the TV, um, you cannot do anything at home during the evening. Pretty much just have to rest immediately. Yes. Which isn't particularly relevant for the speedrun, but probably uh, good to note. Alright, we're back in the Velvet Room, which is essentially... Um... The Pokemon Center. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I would put it like that, but... Um... <laughs> Well, what was the actual description of the Velvet Room again? It's like... It, it's a place where miracles happen. Yeah. Okay, uh, but I, fi I think, uh, I, think <laughs> <laughs> I think it reflects... I think it reflects... The mind of the main character or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Which is funny because in every Persona game, the Velvet Room is like slightly different, reflecting something. Yes. In this, it's a carriage in P3, I don't even remember. And also, apparently, we're very special because our Arcana is full, except every other Persona game protagonist also is full Arcana, so yeah. it's not that special. No. We got bamboozled. We did. And we also got bit by Teddy. Through the TV. Yep. He really doesn't want us to enter the shadow world, as he calls it. Because it's dangerous. Yep. And, uh... Jojima, who's our uncle daddy... He's st just uh, meeting up with Adachi. Yeah. I also wonder, how, how does Teddy even bite you? His lips never move. You... He just undoes his zipper, and then... <laughs> <chops>. <laughs> That has to be it, right? Yeah. But yeah. As a reminder, you can donate to change the language of the game, throughout the game, and not the language, just the voices. Yeah, the voices. <laughs> not, I mean, not I, the can, actual... I can play in Japanese if you want, but yeah. 
Um, is now a good time for donations? Yeah, probably. We have two for donations. Now. Primo donated $20. First time seeing Persona 4. I am a huge fan of Persona 5 so I am pretty exited to see this run. $20 going to name Skitty in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Leo because today is his birthday and he loves Pokemon. Good luck and greetings from <laughs> Germany. Damn Leo, I had no idea today's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a different Leo. The bug inside of you donated $5. What's up? Hi. Hi. Uh, the ceiling's Hello. up, by the way. True. All right, so uh, Chi is gonna Chi brought us to this uh, weapon store, armory, whatever you want to call it. Um, mm -hmm. And Yosuke is gonna give us money that we're supposed to use on his equipment. But <laughs> <sighs> sorry to disappoint you, buddy. We're gonna buy yeah. this, equip it, and don't sell the other one for now. And we're gonna. Ah, uh, you do sell it, actually. Ah, doesn't matter. You still have enough. I always keep it just uh, for safety. It's a bad habit from vanilla. Because if you sell it in vanilla, you're screwed. Okay. Yeah, but we we buy the armor because um, uh, normally uh, changing armor is slow. Um, but since we're already right there, we might as well get the better one because we're gonna keep it for a lot of the run, like seventy percent yes. of the run or something. Something like that. So we're also gonna go to the convenience store and uh, buy two value medicines. Which we'll need and then we're going to head to the TV. Well technically we're gonna head to Juness to go into the TV. Everything's great at your Juness. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is great at Juness. Yeah, because exactly. people are getting thrown into the TV there. Well, I don't necessarily think it's there, but oh, we yeah. have to no, go yeah, in from true. there because yeah. otherwise we're going to get lost. Yeah. Isn't it like in a moving truck, actually? Uh, later, kind yes. Of. Yes. The early ones, no. The later ones, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, let's see. Yeah, so luckily Teddy gives us our three go homes here, which are actually really useful. Oh, not here. No, he gives us healing items here. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll have to change the FPS to 60 because otherwise these shadows are going to be uh, incredibly annoying. Yeah. So all we're going to do is... Uh, I smell three enemies. I'll change those. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll do it after. Yeah. That was a good one, Sensei. Partner. Yeah, so we need to kill one encounter here awesome, because that will that always is. give... Um, um, a shuffle time, which will have either uh, slime or pixie. Uh, either one works. Uh, slime is sl very, very slightly more optimal, but it doesn't matter in the end. You can get world record with each one. Yeah, we got pixie. That's fine. Pixie's fine because pixie is what I practice with the most. Okay, that, then that's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're also getting level four. He's a Nagi level sub, which means uh, we're getting Rakuna, which is a yes. very strong. Yeah, Strong make sure ability. make sure to restore his speed. Yeah. Yeah, and heal. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Yeah, that pixie will be the only persona gotten from shuffle time. Everything else will. It's actually the only. Other means. It's actually the only uh, random encounter we do that's not a, a special enemy as well. Correct. Ideally. I yeah, yeah, ideally. ideally yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, every dungeon has a tell for uh, where the exit is. Unfortunately, uh, in this dungeon, I am very bad at uh, you know seeing where it is. But in the other ones, it's not that bad. And Mulski told me what to look for, but I don't know. I just couldn't. I already couldn't in vanilla. I couldn't here either. <laughs> yeah. So this dungeon is going to be a little bit worse, but... Yeah, so on this in-game day, it's pretty much just a, like introduction to dungeons. Not an act we're not actually doing the full dungeon, so we only did one floor, and now we're doing uh, the boss fight, and that will be it. Yep. All right, I have to change Yosuke. Change mm -hmm. Yosuke. Change Yosuke. Uh, Rakunda into Garu plus Garu because her first move is going to be Mazio, and uh, Yosuke is weak to that. Yeah, and make sure not to guard on the next turn. Yeah, next turn is gonna be double Garu. Okay. I see a lot of new runners like 
guarding with Yosuke on second turn because she's. Yeah, so this fight is also pretty much still, pretty, more or less still intentional strats. Yep. So we're not all out attacking here because it's weaker than just double gowering and slower. It might not be that much weaker, but it's definitely slower. So now she does green wall, which basically uh, removes her weakness, which is why we're just going to rush with Yosuke. And then at some point he's bash. We just don't want him to uh, do too much damage and die. Alright, she's gonna, she's gonna look at Yosuke now, which means she does Mazio, in which case we are... Uh... Guarding. Yeah, exactly. depending on how much damage you do, you can like push the phases even if she doesn't look at Yosuke, and she will she will still Mazio even, even if she doesn't look at Yosuke. Yes, so Rakuna ran out, we obviously want that back up since it reduces the defense. Also her uh, green wall ran out, so we make use of the Garu again. Also, doing that makes her lose a turn because she will always do uh, green wall. Yeah, the important thing is that we don't want to see Mabufus for the most part. Yes. And we're gonna heal here with Yosuke. Just in case. In case anything bad happens. Yeah, this is uh, this this value medicine here is why we had to go to the store on this day specifically because we will go on the next day as well and you know it's technically slow to go to the shop twice but we we just need this value medicine for this fight. Yep, wouldn't want to run into the situation where we died to that Mabufu last turn. Yeah, or that one. Yeah, like this one. Because Yosuke does actually take a lot of damage from this. Uh -huh. And if he dies, you do want to revive him because the EXP matters. Otherwise, he doesn't have um, super... She's gonna uh, die, right? She's gonna die? Yeah. yeah. Had to double check. I was not sure. Yeah, it, it was fine. Another level for me. All right. And even, so if you, even if you didn't die, only your would have died, so you just revive him and then bash. Uh, yeah, true. I do quickly want to mention that there is a um, donation incentive for ESA. If we reach 150,000, uh, Edenol, who is in charge of the whole thing, will shave his head. Again. Yeah, so make sure to... Again. <laughs> so, so make sure to donate for that. So if you, if you want to see somebody go bold and stream, make sure to donate. Also, it saves the children if you donate. It's true. So don't forget that. This is where we get the full Arcana social link started, which yes. is interesting because full is basically our Arcana, but we get it after the Yosuke one, which is an interesting way of doing it. I mean, the full Arcana just progresses uh, by story progression while everything else is linked to actually hanging out with characters. <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. Similar right. to the bonds in Persona 5. So this is an addition that is only in Golden right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting called by our homeroom teacher, which tells us that we have to come pick up our school unit, uh, our uh, PE uniform, essentially. Which also introduces the fact that we can go out at night. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and outfits is also exclusive yes. to Golden. The outfits are purely cosmetic and no reason to use them in the run. Oh, we will, trust me. <laughs> yeah, I said there's no reason to. I didn't say we're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> True. Fair point. Yeah, so this is the first uh, game day where we can actually have free, free things to do. Um, yes. Where you actually can choose what you want to do. And we're choosing to go straight back into the castle. Yeah, after some shopping. After some shopping, yes. Actually. And after some uh, classroom answers. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we got Chia's social link as well. Um, unfortunately, all but one social link in his run are essentially entirely useless. Yeah. Yeah. 
actually gonna be right back. Yeah, there's only one social link uh, that is required for to get golden ending. And that is Aeon. Which yeah. is the new one in gold. Yeah, which I think you can probably even start now. <laughs> I, I think the game lets uh, you even start it even now. It's very early on. Yes. Uh, but we don't we don't need to do that. It's it's very slow to do it early because after every rank up, uh, once you go to the velvet room after that rank up, you're gonna have an extra cutscene there. Yes. Are right, we going back here? Um, my notes tell me to buy 25 ice cubes. Uh, what my notes don't tell me is to buy a go home, but I will do so anyways. Yeah, they added these attack, uh, attack items to the store in gold, and, and yes. they are busted. Yes. All right, and we're heading back into the TV. And now is where the fun begins. So um, I'll leave it to you two to uh, explain what is about to happen. Yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is just uh, climb up uh, to the fifth floor. Yeah, the fifth floor is a fixed floor, meaning the layout is not randomized, so the enemy spawns are mm -hmm. always in the same locations, and we can do some fun stuff with that. Mm -hmm. yes. For now, we're just going to pick a chest there and then go back. Do we pick a chest uh, before Manips or after? Before. Okay, yeah, so, at f uh, so the first thing we're going to do in the fifth floor is just get a chest, uh, which has um, diamond shields, which is uh, basically a Mara Kukaja throwable item. Um, gives the defense buff for the whole party. Yes. And we're playing on hard, so that does uh, that that is a really useful item to have for free. Also, as you might have seen, I changed the FPS to 60. Um, I have uh, RTSS installed for that uh, because the shadows on 120 FPS are actually very stupid and they're very fast. So they would just straight up zoom into me and attack me, and I couldn't do anything about it. So that's why. You have to change to 60 FPS if you want to dodge these shadows properly. Yeah, and uh, shadow attacking you and getting enemy advantage and everything can very easily just kill you. It's not the end of the world, you're, you're not getting kicked out of the title screen, but you do lose, uh, like you go back to the start of the floor, so it's still a big time loss. Yes. It's just not run run breaking. Go back to In the PS2 here. game, you do get kicked to the title screen, right? Yes. Yeah, but that's another change from the PS2 game. Like I said, in this like, in this dungeon, I just cannot tell where the stairs are. So you might see me accidentally run into. Uh, yeah, same. Rooms. I can I can tell either. I can tell it's where the there is a floor. diamond pattern being cut off, and the color of the hinge of the door is uh, lighter than normally. Oh yeah, I mean now that you mention it, I see it. We're just gonna assume that's not it. <laughs> yeah, you are correct. <laughs> Uh, this is a fork. Yeah. Yeah, that I can one. I can tell the forks. <laughs> that one's it. All right, we're reaching uh, fifth floor here. So now the fun's gonna begin. Uh, I'll leave it to one of you two to explain it while I hopefully not mess it up. Fortunately, though, there is a yeah, shadow. Make sure, make sure to dodge this one. Yeah, that one is scary a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so what he's gonna do after he's gonna pick up the chest, uh, hope, f first of all, hopefully he's gonna not gonna get uh, ambushed by the others, because there's two shadows guarding the chest. Um, yeah, but after he's gonna get the chest, he's gonna use a go home, which is an item that um, ki uh, kicks you back to the hub area, and then he's gonna save the game and uh, reopen it. Aww. Oh, that's unfortunate, that's unfortunate. It's a bug. It <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, so, why did well, you do that? That was misplaced. Okay, so what I was gonna say is that yeah, I can just if, escape for free now. Yeah, I if know. every enemy is downed, you can escape for free. Oh wow, that was <laughs> scary. It's fine. Yeah, so running he away. He repels physical too. Oh no, he doesn't. <laughs> Sally, that no longer works. Yeah. Escaping in this game is very very bad. So you pl you press escape and then there's like RNG chance after every action. Uh, there's RNG chance that it will work. So after eventually we will run out. We will run away. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah, that's not ideal at all. 
Yeah, so... And as you can he, see, that enemy hit really hard because we haven't fought anything and are uh -huh. underleveled right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he's gonna go back and save and then reopen the game. And what that's gonna do is reset the... First of all, I'm gonna heal. Yeah, sh okay. Should have done it in the same menu as go home, but... Uh, uh, yeah, so what, what, what does reopening the game do is that it uh, resets the uh, RNG um, rotations. Um, so now he's on a fixed RNG, like uh, like now he can predict the RNG, uh, and uh, by doing that we can spawn uh, a golden hand enemy uh, on that fifth floor. Um, that only that does work for any floor. We we can spawn a golden hand on any floor, not just fixed floors, but their location will also be random, so it's not ideal. We we only want to do them on the floor where we know where it's gonna be at. Um, and Golden Hands are really good because they give massive EXP. That's another change from the PS2 game, where in PS2 game they gave no experience. Um, the problem is, is killing them. Killing them, you're not supposed to be killing them at this point for the most part. Um, because they... For the most part, you're you're intended to be using Almighty skills, which you, <laughs> which you don't have anymore. Which you don't have yet. Uh, but they... They null every single enemy uh, element except one, and that other one is the one you resist. But we can just throw a throw ball at him, which does a fixed 50 damage every time. And three ice cubes will kill one of these hands. So, so this will give massive EXP with only two fights. Yeah, they got the metal slime enemy that they're hard to hit physically, and they have a strong magic resistance as well. They also have very high... Uh, never miss. I think they also have really high evas evasion rate with, from physical attacks. You keep missing them. I like got a shuffle time too. Oh, nice. Get the chest key. Yep. Imagine being an overpowered enemy and free school kids just come in and throws ice cubes at you. So yeah, we just went from level 5 to level 9. We almost doubled our level here. Yeah, and the other level will put us to 11. Uh, we need to be 12 for the boss, but the mini boss after that will give us level 12. Uh, yeah, healing of him. And now we're gonna do that second time. Uh, we're gonna fuse first. Mm. No, you do. Do you? Yeah, with Pixie, you do. Pixie route. Fuses oh, yeah, first. yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's gonna be Zio Rakunda. Yeah, so we're, okay. we're gonna buy back Izanagi and Pixie afterwards, and we fuse Sandman, and then we fuse uh, Orobus. And then we're gonna redo the Manip. Okay. So, for everyone who doesn't know, there is a chance for these fusions to fail, which is a fusion accident. They're incredibly inconvenient, to say the very least. Yeah, if you get them... Um, at this uh, point in the game, if you get them, you have to reload because they don't have the money to buy them again. And also, the, if you buy them again, they're not going to be uh, leveled up. Which I think matters in here. I don't know. Yeah, at part of at some point in the route, you do register personas, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those you could work around. But yeah, it's later in the game. Yeah, later in the game, if you get a fusion axe, then you can usually just uh, buy them from Compendium and do the fusion again. That is also why I saved again after. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I think I'm still on 130th fps. Okay, perfect. So let's hope that the second minute also goes as smooth as the first one. So essentially I'll be looking out for a specific star pattern on the screen here. Yeah, so the stars you can see that are falling down, um, those are actually the set pattern. If you would if you would reload the game a, a bunch of times, you would notice that it's actually the same pattern. Um, and we are looking to that to gauge how much uh, we need to wait to, to make that shadow a golden hand. I don't remember if Teddy in the TV here is good. But I think so. Mm, it doesn't matter, I think. It shouldn't matter. 
All right, we yeah. got another triple. Nice. So we're just gonna throw more ice cubes at them. Yeah, also what you just saw in the fusion menu was um, if you've only ever played Persona 5, uh, Persona 4 Vanilla, you couldn't inherit skills in that, which is incredibly inconvenient. Um, in this game, you can inherit skills, which is very nice. Yeah, you can just choose what to pass on. Yeah. Well, in it, it makes routing incredibly uh, more convenient. Yeah. Because if you have to randomly reselect, and uh, you're limited to like two or three at most. Yeah, in the vanilla runs, you have to choose the personas you need to fuse, and it, it's gonna it's gonna show what's gonna be passed on, but it's random. So you just keep Reset. keep keep re yeah keep resetting that. No, I didn't reload the game, but exit the menu, do the fusion again, and yeah. it shows up again. Yeah, so now we're going to the mini boss, which is gonna be uh, a dude on a horse. I forgot the official name of it. Um, something, something knight. Yeah, something knight. Intrepid knight or something. I think intrepid. No. I'm gonna change the 60 FPS here again. I don't. That was close. Change back to 130. Yeah, so this guy uh, uses uh, physical attacks for the most part. Um, if he if he hits you full power with all the Tarukajas and everything, he actually hits quite hard. Even e even with our level ups, he still hurts kind of hard. Uh, but luckily, uh, we can uh, he's weak to fire, and with all the Rakunas and everything, we're gonna do a lot of damage to him. Didn't dizzy him. The, the main uh, importance of uh, Yosuke and uh, Chia in the, throughout the whole game is pretty much just buffs. Uh, Yosuke has uh, Sukukaja and uh, Chia has Tarukaja. He's not gonna attack main character again, is he? Yeah. So if you use uh, if you use the same element twice, uh, he's gonna be dizzy. And what dizzy does is that he's just gonna skip one of his turns. For one of his turns, he's just gonna lay there. Uh, which makes the fight uh, completely safe. If you're on slime route, you don't do that. On slime route, uh, you do rage strats, which uh, when an enemy is enraged, he does more damage. But so does so do you. It's, it, it, it basically works like both a Rakunda and a Turukaja. Uh, uh, but that's only because slime has resist physical. So even even uh, when he broke breaks out, uh, he doesn't kill you in one shot. Yeah, and that's level 12, which uh, we, uh, which means we can fuse Eligor now. I still have the guy behind me, I think. Someone yeah, but he's fine. His health is low. Okay, so there's gonna be one more shadow here. And I do the safe route here. Yeah. And now we just climb to the top, which is, I think, like, 8th floor or 7. I think this one is 8. Yeah. The shadow size on the actual dungeon is also dependent uh, on the level difference. So, uh, from your whole party. So, as you can see, the shadows are now way smaller than they were uh, previously, before all the grinding we did. And that's because um, our level is now b uh, b uh, higher uh, compared to... Uh, th the difference is way smaller than it was. So, the actual size of the model uh, is smaller as well. Which also makes them easier to dodge. There's no yeah, way these guys stairs, right? I think there's a fork. Mm, no, yeah. no, yeah. It's just a, no, that's that's a room. room. Yeah, the shadows have like, two types of behaviors. They can either make a mad dash at you and then lose sight of you, or they can start homing in on you. Yeah, sometimes and they start. The ones that, uh, generally, the ones that follow you are. Kinda hard, kinda easy to dodge, but the ones that make a mad dash, they are really fast. So sometimes they, they stop. Like... Sometimes they stop following you, but they're still kind of like aggroed to you. And when you go back, you 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 think they're standing still, but then you get close to them, and then they attack you. Yep. Wow. Yeah, they've just kind of reached the end of their home, so they can't yeah. go past a certain point. Mm -hmm. So they just kind of chill and wait for you to come back. <laughs> yeah. Fork, and this should be the exit here. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is the final floor. Uh, now we're gonna go back and fuse Eligor. First we're gonna save. So we don't wanna have a yeah. fusion accident. Mm -hmm. Buying Pixie and Sandman. First we're getting some uh, introduction to for Marie. Or something. I don't even remember. Nobody cares about this woman. It would be cool if we can get the the, the, the cool uh, fusion accident with the Karabia. Do you know the Dekarabia fusion accident? Uh, I know it in P5. Uh. Uh, <laughs> Dekarabia de always fusion... If you get a fusion accident on Dekarabia, it always fails into Dekarabia. <laughs> nice. Oh. Now, the character we're introduced to here is uh, original to Golden. Doesn't appear in a vanilla game. And uh, her social link is, I think, the one we're actually advancing. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm still on 60 FPS. I'm stupid. Wait, why is this so slow? <laughs> oh, I didn't buy an aura boost. Yeah, you need it. Also, coming from P5, the menu lag in this game is absolutely horrible. It's way worse on console as well. On console, it's terrible. Hopefully, it won't be on the, the, the new re releases. <laughs> <laughs> PlayStation 5 Ultimate Lag. Coping hard, eh? Yeah. yeah. Alright, um, in practice, um, this fight was atrocious. <laughs> if you don't mess up, pretty much the worst thing that can happen is there are two turns uh, in here where you hit her without uh, her being downed, and when she's not downed, you can miss. And that's the worst part that can happen. Yeah, and that's happen. what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, you have Sukukaja at the part. Alright, we're gonna use uh, Diamond Shield here, so we don't get slapped. Yeah, so we just buff up for the first turn. And she is weak to Ice, which is another change from the vanilla game where she... I think she has no weakness, right? No, she doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna throw an Ice Cube, which is gonna down her, which... It's gonna do more damage, but also make every single uh, attack hit. You, you never miss when you're hitting a down enemy, so that's the that's the more important thing. We're gonna apply Sukukaja so that we don't miss on the next turns. Yep, and we're probably still gonna miss. Just watch. Yeah, let's see. I got the fast get up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so now she's gonna use White Wall, so she's no longer weak to ice. Good. There's one more turn with that. Oh, <laughs> okay. That that's not as big of a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Oh. Basically, the initial goal is to get to okay. as close to 1,000 damage delta as mm -hmm. possible. Yeah, we, we did. After that, she's going to summon the prince. And if you're not prepared for that, we are in trouble. So now we're gonna Indeed. essentially redo the first uh, setup turn and then proceed to hopefully end the fight really easily. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. The last chance she can screw this up. Oh, yeah, she can crit here. Alright, we're going back to ice cubes and to slaps and to. Uh... Ideally, she just dies. Yeah, don't don't use uh, alt attack. That was an accident. Right? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it should be okay. It's below fifty. Yeah, so Jonas is gonna summon the prince. Uh, the prince can be annoying casually if you play this game on hard. Um, can really screw you. He, I think she, I think the prince heals her, right? Um. Anyway, uh, the point is that with all of the buffs we have and with all the levels we have, we do we deal so much damage on this specific turn to where we're gonna push the entire phase and the prince is just gonna leave her altogether after after just one turn. So we don't have to deal with it at all. There we go. See ya, nerd. And <laughs> very loyal. Prince. And she's gonna try to summon him again. Uh, she's gonna try to summon him, but the prince no longer appears. Yep. So essentially, we just got a free turn where we just ice cube and yeah. slap. Yeah, thanks to the setup, uh, she's basically stun locked for the rest of the fight. 
Yeah, you don't want to go all out on damage before she summons the Prince, because you, she, she will summon it one turn earlier than you want to, and at that point you're not fully buffed, so you're not pushing, like, he's not gonna run out. Also, this one's gonna be guaranteed Tara voice on Yosuke. Yeah, it's always on Yosuke for some reason. Alright, this fight's over. <sighs> Another thing to mention, I guess, like, about, about the boss is that you, you cannot... Uh, yeah, clap for that. Yeah, so one thing to mention about boss is that you cannot crit them with physical attacks. That's just not a thing. I guess they didn't want you to use physical attacks for everything. And we still do. Yeah, and we still do. Alright, so now there's going to be a little bit of a, a downtime period before the next dungeon. Um, we're just going to take care of a lot of the social aspects of the game, which in this run, basically Go going home and sleeping, going home and studying, and then later on going home and translating. Yeah. Translating gives you money, studying gives you intelligence. Or so I've heard. Never tried that. Oh. Um. <laughs> or whatever it might be in this game. I think it's... Was it academics no, or was that in P3? I can't remember. I think it's knowledge in this one. Yeah. Yeah, in P3. Yeah, we're just going to do a safety save here. In P3, it's academics. Uh, yeah, story wise, um, first dungeon essentially done. We have a full party of four now. No, not yet. She's still recovering. Oh, yeah, she's still recovering. <laughs> After the deadline, we're going to have a party of four. Right. So in, in this game, similar to other Persona games, you have deadlines where you have to finish the dungeon because if you don't, something terrible happens and you basically game over. Um, in this game, the deadline is always approached by rain and fog, which gets more dense, apparently, uh, the closer you are to the deadline. But Thank since... You. <laughs> You're welcome, fog. Um, Typically, we always just yeah, do second. the dungeons relatively early. And then we study in the evening. I think I'll study an extra day or two just in case, just in case. Mm, you really shouldn't need to, but we'll see. Right, safety first. Yeah. yeah. It's just like how I'm going to translate for an extra week or something, just in case. Never know. Yeah, translating is fair. Especially since that, that actually barely loses time, so... You only need to reach rank, rank 2 and you will see when you reach rank 2, so... Alright, so... Next day we go home and study again. Yeah, we're just studying until we reach uh, rank 2. Well, which you need to take the translating job. Uh, it doesn't let you take the translating job unless you have rank 2 knowledge and translating job... Um, uh, it's just a very, very free way to get money in this game, with barely uh, any time loss. It loses like probably like a second each time you do it, probably less than that. If you get the if you get the cinematic where you actually have an option be in between, uh, it does lose a little bit more. Yeah, but you can get sleep. Uh, you can get like dreams when sleeping, and I don't. Know. I think those are still way faster though. Yeah, true. And animation, but mm -hmm. yeah, if you just translate mm -hmm. and you just uh, get the money straight up, then obviously that's very fast too. Yeah, yeah, it's still it's still a very low amount of money compared to what you get from killing golden hands, but um, yeah, it, you you do need it for the route because you do a lot of fusions. Unlike the SMT5 run that was before this, which I heard got world record or something. Yeah, yeah, it got world record well, by well by a minute, I think. Nice. Right, we go home, and uh, who would have guessed? We're gonna study. Until Yukiko. Is Yukiko still your waifu in this game? There are no waifus in this game. <laughs> Except Teddy. Except With Teddy. Japanese voices. Yeah, with Japanese voices, which you should uh, donate for. Donate. Yeah, with double study, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you got rank two, but still study. Yeah, well. Need to anyways for mm -hmm. the rank four. Yeah, yeah. But you you definitely don't need the extra. Yeah. Maybe later. Mm -hmm. When I stop uh, translating. Or yeah. It is gonna be second here. And then we're gonna buy the expert study book. And then we're gonna get the translator job, go home, and then we're gonna start making some uh, some money. Yeah, the expert study methods book is actually very important uh, knowledge uh, ranking up it. it. You get some knowledge uh, when you just read it initially, but the important thing is that you get more more knowledge from studying every time afterwards. Uh, and that, that uh, makes a huge difference overall compared to just studying without the book. The knowledge ups from the book actually come from the... Because you're reading, reading it during a rainy evening. Oh yeah, if yeah. you just read it during mm -hmm. a cloudy or normal evening, you just... You get nothing. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, it's gonna rain soon. A lot. I Luckily, it's almost like the route uh, made it so that you read it on a rainy day. <laughs> All right. Uh, see, uh, this is what I was talking about. Like, you get this animation where you have to, we have a choice of what you want to pick. It's uh, just RNG whether you get it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, if you pick the second option, you get the guaranteed money, but um, nobody likes that. Yeah. And apparently, it's not as relevant in this run mm -hmm. as it is in vanilla. In it's vanilla, you have to, you pretty much have to pick the save option. It's also on average uh, lower amount. Yes. Than just always gambling. Yes. But like early on in vanilla, you have to pick the save mm -hmm. option, otherwise you just do not have enough money. Yeah, vanilla run also translates for way longer of the game as well. Uh, yeah, it essentially translates for almost all of the game until almost the very end. Yeah, or at least it used to. I don't know. I haven't actually. Yeah, some kept runners up call with it, it. Uh, translation simulator. Now we get this again. Come on, just give us a note. Ah. Never lucky. Yeah, we're going home and translating here. Yeah, so basically this entire run is just... We are a loner in a new town that is tiny and everyone around us keeps dying. It's definitely not like we're suspicious in this or anything. All right, uh... For a change, we're not gonna translate or study. We're gonna read. Yep. Just definitely not the same thing. <laughs> Apparently, you don't read when you study. Obviously not. Yeah, you just um, you solve problems, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely I mean, he's, not. He's probably... Sorry. I mean, he's probably reading manga. That's like not studying, so. No, so no, we're eating the expert study book. Expert study methods. Oh. And yeah, we're gonna translate here. Yeah, it's very convenient how it places you during the uh, off days. It puts you right on the table and you, you don't need to move at all. You just press X or circle, I guess, for you uh, yeah. to interact with it. I'm just and too I'm used to circle being confirm. Sorry. And I'm liking... Persona 3 and Persona 5, you actually have to do something during the day. You just can't go straight to bed. What did you say in 3 and 5 or 3 and 4? In 5. Uh, 3 and 5. But in 5, you can just go to bed. Yeah. Well, I said unlike in Oh, P3 unlike. And sorry, P5. sorry. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I should probably listen properly. <laughs> but yeah, P5 uh, is very convenient in that regard. You uh, spawn relatively close to your bed and you can just sleep. And you get a lot of Nandayo from it. Nandayo. Right, um, yeah, so this is where we get Yukiko at a job party, I think. Yes. Yeah. So, gonna... so if we would go to the dungeon now, now we would have four party, but we won't. We won't do, go to the dungeon for no reason. Yep. Also, we're gonna um, unfortunately eat up all her f tofu. And then uh, Yosuke was her steak. Seems oh. like a fair trade to me. Yeah, we just eat all of it. A bite turns into the entire fucking bucket. It's a very big <coughs> bite. 
very big fight. All right, now we're here having steak. <laughs> This is painful to watch because I'm actually hungry. Mmm. <laughs> mm. There's only uh Well you could what? ask uh, Leo to just jump on uh commentary for now. Ah, that's fine. He, he can do that later and then I'll also go enjoy a steak. That's why it's good being an external commentator. I can <laughs> eat all I want. You should be here though, Fog. Yeah. I mean I am here, I'm just eating. No, I mean here in person. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. well, that's not, um, th that is kind of my problem, but also not my problem. Uh, it's also kind of on you, yeah. Yeah. And look, Dojima's being a good dad, until he isn't. Yep, promises yeah. a trip to, uh, to Jeunesse, oh, whoops. Probably to Jeunesse. Yeah, during the Golden Week. I think, I think this is the part where we make. Yeah, so you get like some more stuff here, like more tutorials. This is where the tutorial is for the TV overlay, which was basically a thing for like the Vita thing, but they, they somehow put it into here. I don't even know how to exit it on PC version. Because normally you would like uh, double tap the Vita touchscreen to access that. Yeah, I do that accidentally from time to time. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna not actually go home today. Yeah, there's very few days uh, before the in-game exams uh, where you can actually just study with your friends. And that's actually... So first of all, it gives us knowledge, which is good, but it, it's also just straight up faster than going to home. Yep, sometimes. sometimes. Alright, we're back to translating in the evening. And now he's being a bad dad. Yep. Yeah, only one day has passed and he he's already cancelling the plans. Alright, we're back to translating. Also, we haven't had a green node during translate yet. It's, uh, very depressing. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, apparently you open up the TV overlay like, with the start button on the Xbox controller, so you know. That's the thing. But who yeah. uses an Xbox controller? Yeah, that icon is a touchpad. He's using the touchpad to uh, fast ah. forward. Yep. Well, it says options on the PS4 controller. Your well, it, it says options if you use if you use options button to advance it. Far. Uh, so. Yes. Paro wants me to say hi. Oh. Um, I'm not sure if you can see him on camera. Uh, no, you can't. I can't. Paro, get on camera. Wave to me. <laughs> there he Hello, is. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> The man himself. All right, and we're back to translating. Is... Another option and another... Oh, we got oh, a note. We got a note. So if you get a note, you essentially get a triple the money. Yeah. That's pretty good. So we're going to study here. Yeah, you study here because it's close to exams, and this will it study... It skips the entire Yeah, day. it's not just like a day and then evening. Yeah, okay. yeah, this is a, a scripted story thing. You can choose where to go, and you can go to like each place, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you, you, you can have go. to go here. Yeah, you have to go here. If you go to like the first and second f and the third thing, you can like get a, a, a can of drink or something. You get like a can of drink or something, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. What we really need is a social link with the fox. Yeah, this social link, if you play this game casually, uh, you would know that this social link is very good once you rank it up. We're not gonna rank it up, but it's still really good, <laughs> even at rank 1. Yeah. So this good boy comes into the Shadow World with you, and he will actually restore your HP and SP. Actually, only SP. Yeah. Oh. But that's like, <laughs> yeah. you use I mean, the SP to heal the yeah, HP, basically. so... If you have a healing ability on your main yeah. character, yeah. And if you have money to pay the fox, because he is uh, quite greedy. the money digger. <laughs> quite the money digger. Yeah, we got some uh, swimming gear from Lojima. It's not even a costume that you can use. <laughs> yeah, sad times. Are we gonna get into the node? Yep. Nice. Two in a row. Damn. On a roll. 
Okay, home and translate. Or five, six. I'm kind of RNG my nib the translation notes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, I don't know why, but I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> yeah. So story-wise, so far, two people have died. One of them is went to our school, kind of inconvenient. And then Yukiko appeared on the so-called Midnight Channel, and we thought she were she was gonna die, but we saved her. So no one died since then. Ideally, it stays that way. Everyone knows it will not. Yeah, unlike Persona 3 and Persona 5, when you have to rescue, uh, when you have to like um, do the mission basically with a time with a time deadline, in P3 and uh, in P5 you can clearly see like the days, how much days you have left. And here you have to, if you do it casually, you would have to watch the new uh, like weather forecast and gauge when it's gonna rain. Yeah, but it's yep. we we just know it in the run, obviously. All right, we're just gonna uh, go back home and uh, translate more. Also, there's thunderstorms, which is also new weather in uh, Golden. Yeah, and rain. What like this day in particular was actually quite important in very very old routes because on rain days there is a big discount in the item shop. Um, so you would actually go to buy stuff on this day because it's cheaper, but um, with the newer routes we just have enough money to where we can just buy them when, when it's faster. Need yeah, check yeah, mm -hmm. here. Now we're gonna double translate. Any notes? Ooh. We should be fine for money. Yeah, Probably, yeah, it's fine. So yeah. I don't think I don't think I'll even have to translate any extra. Mm -hmm. Maybe like one or two days just so I can buy. This a one is a tricky extra. one. This one will put you. It, it, this one happens at the, uh, like on the first floor, but you're on the second. Yeah. After it, this one always gets me because I'm like, oh, I have to, you know, press square to go to the top, but yeah, no, you're already yeah. there. Alright, so. I have second option coming up, and then... Oh, it's exam. Right, right, right. Uh-huh. Second... Third... That's gonna be third and first. And then it's gonna be fourth and fourth. Yeah. It's not specifically uh, required to pass this exam, but if you do, you get extra 10k from Dujima, and... It's... you might as well take it yeah. for virtually no time loss. Especially since we do have the knowledge for it anyways. Yeah. The, the, the required exam to pass is the next one. Yes. That's the one we actually care about. Because the next one is the one that uh, gives us a very good accessory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting the items we go is getting it. The first place of all of these students. All right, so Dojima just told us uh, that we should, uh, you know, check on Adachi at the uh, at Juness. But of course, we are absolutely not going to do that. Yeah, because Adachi is just a random cop. Yeah. You're gonna see once we're, when we're translating, we actually get more expression points, so we we do rank it up eventually, and um, that actually does kind of help because uh, you, you, depending on your expression rank, you also get more money from a single translation. Yep. It's also why on the very first uh, school questions, some of them are not even, some of them don't even give knowledge. Some of them actually give expression. The ones were uh, are for Chia and. Um, Yukiko and Yosuke. Yep. It makes more sense though that you get expression for yeah. them because you already know the answer. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oops. No, this one doesn't matter. If you if you on this one oh, if yeah, you wait, right, he, right. he calls you. Yeah. It was one of the later ones. Mm -hmm. I remember that one, I just couldn't remember what day it was. <clears throat> so someone appeared on the TV again and it's like, oh no. We should go save them. Yeah, on another day before we saw Kanji on the news. Yeah. Well. 
Alright, so the next time anything relevant is going to happen again, it's 5.18, we're going to start the investigation to uh, figure out uh, stuff about Kanji. Yeah, and these two days are just a bunch of uh, long cutscenes. Yep. Yep. And then 520 is going to be the interesting part. Yeah. That's yes. where a lot of stuff is going to happen. And a lot of the setup for the rest of the run will happen. Mm -hmm. And ideally, they go well. But uh, no one technology, that might not happen. But we'll get to that uh, in a couple in-game days. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess if you have any donations, this would be a good time to read them. Uh, the screen says no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, reminder that you can donate for us to swap the language to Japanese so we don't hear really bad English bear puns. Yeah, instead we hear a really good Japanese ones, and we get to hear recent Japanese as well, which is the more important part. We actually hear more dialogue as well, because every time you you find the chest, uh, choose the second one here. Uh, yeah. Every time you find the chest, um, there's a pop-up, they're saying, oh, you found the chest. But in English, it's not voiced, but in Japanese, Teddy does say that you found the chest. True, actually. We are, st we are still at uh, 125 out of $800 for the Japanese language incentive. Someone just uh, quickly drop like 700, whatever it was. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we split in teams here to, uh, you know, do some investigation. Yosuke and Chia were not doing a very good job at their part. They got caught by Kanji, started uh, running in circles. And he's a bit mad. Yep. Starting the next day, the actual investigation is going to start, where uh, we have to get info. Uh, we're just going to talk to Kanji's mom, and then we're going to buy some stuff. Yeah, for some reason, there's a. the previous cutscene was in your room, and then this one is in your room, but there's a loading screen in between them. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. Probably an oversight. Yeah. Similar to what happened to Yukiko, we see Kanji now clearly in the TV and decide, oh no, something is going on. Yep. So we're now going to investigate. Correct, correct. All right, we're going to head into the TV here, get some help from Teddy, and then we get going. Because the nose knows. The nose knows. True, true, true. All right, uh, shopping district. So the actual strat would be to go to the shrine and then go back out. But for RTA, it's faster to. No, it's it's faster even for RTA. I don't think so because the loading screen from the shrine is too long. I don't know for PC. Yeah, it, it, on console, it is faster to go to the shrine. The loading screen is not that big. I don't, I, I'm not sure here. So. What yeah, does gonna... Motsky say? I'm gonna buy one. Uh... Nah, I don't remember if I timed it, but I just go to the shrine. Can I get one extra go home just in case? Uh, where are vanish the vanish balls? balls? Oh, a little below go home. I'll buy two of these. Yeah, the vanish balls are not needed at all, they are just for safety. Um, uh, the other items we do actually need. So, uh, go homes are the most important one. Uh, the medicines we do use on um, Kanji boss. Oh. Um, and the Dokodami uh, T uh, heals a status effect, which we will need to heal. I did buy that, didn't I? Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Just making sure. And the Vanish Balls are just if you get caught by annoying shadows. Yeah, it's just a throwable uh, Trafuri skill, basically. Alright, 519. We are going to go to the History Teacher, just in case. You already got uh, the key from... Uh, oh, right, yeah, I from did the, get a key. Yeah, from I the... Shuffle time, so we don't need to. I don't think in practice I ever got a shuffle key before this. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> uh chest key. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, we're gonna go to now. Yeah, Junet, to Junet. Yes, and then we're gonna go home, talk to Tujima, get our money. Yeah, so in NMG category, this is where you would actually enter the dungeon. Uh, because um, you have to talk to Naoto on this day, and the dungeon is literally right there, the, the the elevator. But we have to go on the next day in this category specifically, and you're gonna see why. It's very important to go on the next day. Alright, we're gonna translate here. Scroll all the way down to the pixie part of this. Oh. Alrighty. There's a cutscene here. Yeah. There's a cutscene before Kanji's dungeon because the um, for we some reason fox. yeah the fox. You don't get a cutscene for any other party member, just the fox. He's special. The fox is the most important. Alright, uh, I guess you guys can explain the next part. Okay, so we're in the TV world, which is the dungeon, and we're all we're gonna do is immediately is we're gonna straight into save and reload the game. Uh, and the reason we do that is because um, we are gonna do more RNG manipulation, but this time not for the Golden Hand uh, enemies. We're actually gonna uh, RNG manip uh, a fusion, because on this day specifically, on 520, um, every time you fuse, the game asks if you want to change a skill, and we can actually RNG manip that. Uh, so we can actually get pretty much any skill we want. Not not exactly. Uh, they can only uh, the skills can only change uh, with the rank. Each skill has a certain rank in game that you cannot see. You just need to know them. Um, this be so it. the Kaja here will be changing into Megiddo if uh, this be it. if the be manip it. was correct. Yeah, I'm s certain. There we go. So now we have Megiddo, which is really good. You're not supposed to have Megiddo by this point. I think the earliest Megiddo was like level 32 from Tauti or something. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's level 35. 35 even, yeah. That was really good. That was the first instance of skill change manip. Um, there will be more in this dungeon. <laughs> Just not immediately. For now, we need to reach a higher level. Um, we need to reach a higher level so we can uh, fuse everyone's favorite demon, Jack Frost. Oh, yeah. uh, which, is too high, which is too high level for us right now. Yeah. Uh, also, that uh, manip, I don't know if it does work on PC, but on console, it, when you do the skill change manip, you do spawn a golden hand here as well on the first floor, but it's uh, the first floor is random, so you don't see it, uh, usually. Yeah. I don't we know if that works. Yeah, it also spawns here. It also spawns here, okay. So, never got rid of the party for the sole reason of getting more experience on the main character, because how the experience works is... Every enemy drops a set oh. amount. There is no EXP oh, no. scaling here. Uh-oh. Nice, okay, nice. Okay. So, this way the game doesn't divide the experience between living party members. Oh, and there it is. I'm not being chased gets anymore, all of them. Mm, you're not being chased, I don't I, I thought that I thought that's, that chest is going to have an enemy. <laughs> and that's going to be fun. So you don't. Can they in this yeah. dungeon? Yeah, yeah. Y you don't want to open chests normally because you can just have an enemy in there. I'm never sure what the pattern is if I get only two, so I'm not gonna risk the, yeah, uh, yeah. the fast thing. Yeah, you don't want to accidentally just do yeah. a basic attack because they will run away. They they will run away eventually. I need yeah. to hit the left one, otherwise it's gonna be. Uh, you close. only need to kill one to get the level needed for Jack Frost. Oh, at this point you can. They will do both every time, so. It's only at the start where it's weird. Yeah. Okay, we killed both. Nice. Very nice. good. That's very and good. And shuffle time with experience? Oh, money. Yeah. Money is also good. Yeah. Uh, you can pretend that you got more notes from the translator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't care about uh, self skills at all. We only care about the, like, being actual. We, we only care about the actual main character's level. For this one specifically. And Am I high enough level for them to be small now? I don't remember. No, so the tell, no, the tell for be. the stairs here. Oh. Yeah. The tell for the stairs here is uh, four towels on the left-hand side of the door. Mm -hmm. But the stairs are also like in uh, in this dungeon. The stairs are also in, like in the square room. So there's like um, door from each side of them. So usually, if you just follow the road, you you do bump into stairs normally. Yep, it's here.
I think this one's... This shadow might be small. No, yeah, oh, oh, it's small, okay. Yeah. So, floor number three is a fixed floor as well. Uh, so we could actually manip golden hands on this floor, but they spawn very far out of the way, uh, very far out of the way, and it's very bad. Um, so we're actually gonna do that in a higher floor, which is floor seven. I'm also, also not sure. In floor seven, there can be three hands in one encounter, and I don't think that's possible here. Yeah, I think there's two is a max here. So, by the way, Molski, the the Spargo homes that you told me about, they're uh, almost inaccessible here because they're guarded by a shadow. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. <laughs> oh, wow. I assume Oh, that. this is not good. Yeah, yeah that that, that's, a GG, that's a GG. Yeah. So, so I didn't that, think he would actually zoom into me like that, <laughs> I'll be honest. Yeah, so that's how the game over screen looks like. It's just uh, a Velvet Room screen. Yeah. You just get kicked back to the start of the floor, so it's not that big of a time loss. But it would have been bad on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then uh, you would, lose, you the lose all the progress. Yeah. Luckily, we've already watched the cutscene, so we don't have to rewatch it. Okay, this one's fine. This one's never gonna catch me. Yeah, for some reason it saves the progress for the cutscene, which is very interesting. I will actually go to 60 fifths for the next shadow here. Just in case. Because I I honestly did not think that he would actually be able to get me. Yeah, dodging shadows, if not for the FPS, it, it's actually uh, the easiest out of all, like Persona 3, 4, and 5. Um, this would be the easiest if not for the high FPS nonsense. Um, in P3, they have like uh, almost 360 vision, the, only like the very bottom of them is where they don't see you. And then in P5, there's like a special techniques to avoid them. Yeah, you just walk to the right of them and then circle around the left because they just like shoulder tap time, basically. Honestly, for me, 5 is probably the easiest, but that's probably that's only because, because I've you... done it so much. Yeah. yeah. That was an unfortunate dead end. Also, the way you dodge shadows in Golden is also changed from the original. And the original game is basically the same as P3, right? Uh, With a, except you also have the flying dudes. The balls. Yeah, except in, P, in P4 vanilla, the, they will even notice you at some point when you're behind them. Yeah. Should be the stairs here. I'll be right back. Do we have time for a quick donation? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Anonymous donated fifty dollars. Why not? <laughs> yeah, this yeah, donation exactly. probably went exactly. to uh, Japanese voices in this game. You can donate towards that goal. Also, if we reach one hundred fifty k by the end of the ESA stream, Edenol is gonna shave his head again. It's goddamn menu lag, man. So also shadows cannot see if they're not in line of sight, so sometimes you'll see me hide behind parts of the the floor so they don't see me as early and then I uh -huh. can actually get past them. But if they have already saw you then they can still yeah, like, go around them and yeah. Uh, this should be the exit, yeah. And this Am is the I gonna get floor. a charity hand? Are you you even check you're gonna check? I'm gonna check for the charity hand. Okay, sure. Yeah, that never happens. <laughs> you say that, but I saw Mulski get it in, in lab. Alright, uh, I guess I am gonna fuse Jack for us. Yeah, quick. but in the lab, it, it's not even a time loss to check it because you have to go to the, the uh, chest anyway. Okay, one second. Yeah, so now we're gonna uh, do more fusions. Uh, like I said, mainly Jack Frost. Um, <laughs> Don't don't skill change here, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Jack Frost has uh, a very very kind of like an Easter egg uh, skill that he learns uh, in this game. Uh, on at a very high level, I think like level twenty five, and he's like sixty normally. So nine levels above his initial level, uh, he learns Mind Charge, which is also a skill you're not really supposed to have at this point in the game. 
Um, they put him on Jack Frost for some reason because I guess I guess normally you wouldn't even level him up that much anyway. Um, unless you would grind like shuffle time persona level ups or something. Um, but that's really useful because we can uh, because we can uh, just manip the golden hands. We actually do get that mind charge and it speeds up uh, a lot. There also isn't really any other good persona to dump all of the experience on, so yeah. why not? Mm -hmm. uh, this might be slightly inefficient to do it this way, but this way I at least don't run into the issue to accidentally forget uh, to register Jack Frost after he gets experience. This is where all the translator money goes to buying more personas. Uh, are you are you on Guru? No, doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Jack Frost has enough magic. No, you you need you need Arthur Rukaja. No, no, you can kill him too. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna miss five times anyway, so why does it matter, right? Oh, this might have been slightly early. Actually, yeah, I am not sure if I am on Gur. For what it's worth, I could be yeah. on Gur. Because of uh, no Persona memory. You should be on I Jack Frost after the fusion, is. and then you put Jack Frost into Gur, so you should be on Gur by default, no? In Pixie Route, yeah, I think in Slime you're not. Oh, that's why you're saying you're killing. Yeah, because you you just practice pixie route. Oh, the trip. Yeah. Yeah, you're on girl. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Megido. All right, first one's gonna be all three. Oh uh, yeah. That's Second normal. one's gonna be. Uh, I think it's one and three, or one and two. Okay, uh, I think this guy's this guy's dodged both of them so far. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. You have extra go homes. I also killed an extra hand. I had a double. Yeah, yeah that's fair as well. So if this guy runs away, then that's whatever. I'm just back on pace exactly. But we killed him anyways. And shuffle time for more experience. Uh, <laughs> Not half experience. <laughs> Don't get that one. <laughs> Alright, getting Bufula here for the boss. Doesn't matter. Alright, and uh, now we're just gonna repeat this. I did hit level 25, so I can make Kaiwan real quick, so I'm done with that stuff. What are the odds of me getting a fusion accident? Do you really want to know? No, that's no, no, Normally you wouldn't do this here, you would just like, go up to 31 and just do everything at uh, once, but... Uh. Like, that, that's an extra Velvet Room visit. So, yeah, I know, because yeah. I did the... Uh, I mean, I have to get Jack Frost, right? You have Jack Frost. No, no, I have to get Jack Frost, so I have to go in once anyways. And then you have to go in once more to do Gur and Kaiwan. Yeah, but then you have to go a third time for Osei. I mean, you have to anyways. Because you need them for the skill change. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah th that's just not the way I read things. Yeah, okay, no, yeah, ignore me. I was really confused because you need these guys, so I was yeah, like, yeah, wait, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. The only... The only uh, I, just shouldn't minor... be looking. I just shouldn't be looking at this, basically. And the only minor time uh -huh, loss I uh -huh. had was doing Gur, not together with Kylan. Uh -huh. But that was just so I don't forget to uh, register Jack Frost afterwards. Yeah. Oh, well, I was not on 60, but this should still be fine, I think. We'll see, I guess. We'll see.
Molsky must have probably been like, what the hell are these guys talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just as good a triple. A rare monster. Beat the stuffing out oh, I was on Kaiwan, but that's uh, also fine, right? Because yeah. he has auto Tower Uh-huh. One, two, three, and now we're gonna hit all three of them through Sukukaja. Watch. Mm. <laughs> Close. Yeah, no, and I know in Clark with the hands is they start spamming Sukukaja if you hit them with anything almighty. Okay, I need a double hand. Technically, a single is enough, but then I have to pay attention to who's alive with Teddy, right? Oh. Yeah. So, we're gonna get one more here. Could have totally gone for the random hand in the later floors. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, just uh, risk it for the biscuit, right? <laughs> yes. No risk. Yeah, I am. Uh... Okay, luck, Molsky. I know I should have done that, but I am very content with how uh, this is going so far. So I'm just gonna stick to this. <laughs> and NMG strats. That was weird pathing, but oh well. Yeah. So even if we're slightly short of uh, level 31 here, uh, it's fine because the mini boss is gonna give us that. Oh, uh, we're gonna be level 32. Yeah, but we're gonna be, yeah, <laughs> because like an extra hand. Still an extra oh, hand, so. I missed. I mean, it's at least it's fine if I can only kill the two weakened ones. Oh. <laughs> that's not ideal. Uh, okay, that's gonna be terrible. two hits only. Okay, I give up. Yeah, it's the at the start of the fight, the uh, the turn orders and everything. It's weird. I think next turn one of them is gonna run away. Nah, because I'm just gonna hit both of them now. Nice, nice. And a shuffle time. Uh, Don't get the middle one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, level thirty-two, are good. And we get mind charge. I'm gonna fight the boss with Jack Frost anyways, because we're already here. So the boss, um, he likes to buff a lot and then do physical attacks, uh, which is really, really good for us, uh, because, uh, yeah, like like you saw the, the previous game, SMT5, uh, how you saw, you know, how much, how much you can do, how much damage you can do with reflecting uh, attacks. The same thing applies here. Just reflect a, a little fully bit more extreme. Yeah, a little bit more extreme, but just reflect a fully buff enemy and uh, you do massive damage. So look at these numbers. Yeah, that's almost Lucky a thousand. Lucky number seven. Yeah, almost a thousand. And then just kill them Bufula. This is also pretty much why Persona 5 is easier on the hardest difficulty, because you abuse this to no end. Yeah. So the more damage an enemy does, they just hit themselves harder. Shit, was it left or right? It's left, wasn't it? Was it right? You're going right. Yeah, right, right. It was a trick question. And then go, technically don't, don't go to this correct. door. Don't go to this door. Yeah. yeah. But both are technically correct. One is left on the map and uh, one is right from your viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Should have gone straight. Just uh, no clip through the wall, right? Yep. Your FPS is still at 16. Okay. Now it doesn't matter here. Yeah, so now we just climb to the top, which is I think floor 11, and then um, and then we go back and do more um, manip fusions. But yeah, as I mentioned before the run, uh, like I said, I have no idea about this game. That's why uh, the other two people who know the game are here to remind me of. Thanks. Oh look, the hand. Molsky was right. 
<laughs> that, oh, I think dear. that I think that head would have had uh, like a follow up enemy because yeah. of the other one. Actually, he might have got stuck. Maybe. I'm not sure. Follow up enemies are bad because you basically have no tools to deal with them. Even though we're like so so strong and everything, we're we're only like making tools to beat the bosses, the necessary fights. All the all the all the normal enemies are still tricky. I mean, although now I could just mind charge Megido and kill them. Mm, in you don't really have the SP for that, but yeah. Uh, should have enough. This should be enough for mind charge Megido. I Maybe think. if you don't miss. Because Megido is 15, mind charge is uh, 15, I think. Or is it 30? Either way. Yeah. I mean, that's not what you want to do here. Yeah. <laughs> that's slow either way. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can uh, squeeze in the donation real quick that we have before uh, the next uh, minips. Otto donated $20. If we raise 10k during Persona for stream 2, Nev should shave his head as well. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, nope. Dude, to Otto's save the children. Already... What is for the children? Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that one. Okay. Um, this one's gonna be interesting. These next two fusions are the ones that make or break the run, essentially. Yeah, so these, uh, pretty much this this part here, these fusions, uh, brought the, the time. When we initially found out that you can manip these uh, skill changes, this essentially brought down the world record, I think, by like... 12 or 14 minutes just by that. Mulski will, Mulski, Mulski will know. He broke the record back then. Okay. No, this when, one's good. The, when we got the specified manips, it went from like 8.59 to 8.43. Alright, so there we go. Tetrakarn into Repel minutes. Physical. Yeah, Repel Physical, one of the best skills in the entire game because this game only has one type of physical mm -hmm. yeah unlike uh, persona 3 and Five. some other games like tokyo mirage sessions all right now we're going uh, for the second one which is gonna change repel physical into brave blade mm -hmm. so i have to be quick on these it's rakuna mind charge repel or kanji yeah, and you might be thinking, wait, uh, we just got Repel Physical, which we just said that it's the best skill in the game. Why are we changing it to Brave Blade? Well, it's because we're going to do a third fusion as well, and we're going to have both Brave Blade and Repel Physical, so we keep both. That's not Narcissus. Uh, your Jack Frost is too oh, high level. Yeah, yeah, Can I do the backup? Okay, yeah, so I was technically on the correct one, but... Uh, yeah. I yeah, did not notice. I did. Work. I did not even notice that uh, Jack Frost was twenty six. To be quite honest. Yeah, triangle fusions. But you utilize the person as current level, and if Jack Frost goes above twenty five, then yeah, I gotta do a backup fusion. That's fine though. Wait, this one is yeah, not. Yeah, this, this one was, is not manipped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's li literally a backup. Uh, Rakunda, mind charge. I just realized that now. So we're not changing anything here, and then we're buying Titania and Sandman. Oh, we could have changed Repel Physical. <laughs> Might have been Brave Blade. I, I have my doubts. Alright. Uh, Titania. Sandman. Okay, this, another another important up twice now. Another interesting thing about the the skill change is that you can actually learn skills that you're not normally supposed to learn. So, for example, um, uh, there's a demon called Nozuchi, which normally cannot learn Diorama, but you can skill change one of his skills into Diorama. That's another cool thing. Well, Narcissus can't learn physical skills either. Yeah, we're gonna get a Bray Blade on it. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's gonna be Rakunda, Mind Charge, Repel, and Auto Tar. Okay. This should.
should also have worked. Nice. There we go. And now the last one left. Gonna be... You need robots in Titania. Yeah. Brave Blade, Kundam, of Kong. Yeah, so as you can see, we have a very uh, not appropriate for this uh, point of the game uh, setup. <laughs> With Brave Blade, Power Charge, Rakunda, Mind Charge, Repel Physical, just. Just, like, not really end game skills, but, uh, like, above mid game for sure. And we're still kind of in the early game. Gonna do a safety save here. Yeah, now we just fight the boss. Uh, don't forget to take the party. And equip Kylon. Oh. That's not party. <laughs> it is party <laughs> later on. <laughs> he wants the Rakunda now. <laughs> <laughs> yep, give me the Rakunda. <laughs> and don't forget to change uh, Yukiko's thing in the yeah. fight. And my FPS. You have auto Torukaje on Pixie route though, why do we go Kaiman? Pixie? Didn't you didn't you pass auto Torukaje to Aussie? No. Okay. You okay oh you okay. don't. Okay, no, okay, 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 never mind. I don't think you do. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Can't read these names in English. Alright, so we're gonna Sukukaja here. And we're gonna double Maragi to stun the guy. Or dizzy the guy, I mean. Yeah, the right guy is weak to uh, fire. fire. Uh, uh, he, he, to he won't be for the next turn because the left guy is gonna give him firewall. Uh, this one's gonna inflict poison on both male characters, and uh, females are unaffected by this. Yeah, the the uh, the the fact that poison does damage every turn barely matters for us. Uh, the bad part is that it actually lowers your physical uh, like damage, so we will need to um, like get a one more get once more to actually heal the poison. Uh, because if we don't want to use the actual hitting move while we're still poisoned. Yeah, there's a chance it recovers uh, without uh, getting in one more, but it's kind of low chance. Oh really? I've, I've never seen that. What am I doing? Uh, uh, that Yeah, that's not the strat. That's fine, it's fine. We'll get it, don't worry. Yeah, it's fine. See, he's gonna reflect and I get some extra damage here. I still have everything up. Yeah, Yosuke was supposed to eat the the electric move. Because then after, yeah. ka like, Kanji can do power charge after one more, which would be a pretty good reflect. That's fine, we'll make up for this. See, there is the damage he would have done to himself. I don't know why autopiloted it to the, auto it to the T. Must be, uh, what's it called? Vanilla strats? Yeah. No. Yeah, this is the only move that actually does good damage to us. Yeah, 100 damage, so it's pretty scary. You don't want to be like around 100 um, when pushing phases. Yes. Uh, it's a little bit awkward now, but we'll uh, make this work. Kind of scuff this a little. I was supposed to ice cube the left guy and then got yeah. rid of it. The rage move never hits you, the rage move only hits females. Like the poison move only hits males. And since all of our female party members are dead, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yep. I mean, this does hit us, but barely any damage. Yeah, Mazio doesn't do damage, the fanatical spark does damage. 
It's a little bit unfortunate what happened here, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, poison. poison. It's fine, we can use that to get another power card job. Mm. We do have a revival piece. Not ideal what's happening here, but... Yeah. Um, We'll make it work. Luckily, Fanatical Spark is not a move you can just normally use. Fanatical Spark is like damage based. As soon as you hit enough damage, he will do that. It's like a, a threshold thing. Poison should be gone if I ice kick here, right? I think so. I'm gonna use the correct thing yeah. this time. Yeah, there we go. Oh, but the problem is I'll die to Fanatical Spark. Uh... Yeah, yeah, you will. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Now we're just gonna get poisoned, probably. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, gonna see some interesting stuff soon, because the tough guy's probably gonna die yeah, here. He's gonna be dead now. That means the nice guy's gonna start doing Heat Riser and Media and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, he, he, uh, yeah you, you, uh, never, you never want, so you never want to see Heat Riser normally. You, you start missing your attacks and everything. It's fine, we'll make it work, trust me. Problems, I need to get rid of this poison. Mm -hmm. Dodge is good. Still has it. Uh... I, thi I think in the PS2 game, uh... He can do Heat Riser even without killing the, the other one. Uh, yeah, he can. Okay, there we go. Just don't miss forehead. I won't. It's not gonna kill him though. Because yeah, no, not even close. We just need to live this fanatical spark. We do. Problem is my HP. It's fine. Yeah, oh, there's the Heat Riser though. Uh, something. Yeah, the heat riser is not good. Uh, that's fine, we'll make this work or lose five minutes. Oh yeah, right, you don't have Diorama on this route. Ah, uh, you do, it's on Titania or something like oh, that. Oh, Titania, okay. Alright, I do have it. Oh yeah, because you rebought Titania later. Yeah. Oh. You can actually uh, utilize that. What? Why does it Come default on, to Yukiko? Uh, because she's lower HP. She was yeah. eighty. Some, she was eighty something. Oh, this is bad. We're dead. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. At least I can do it properly now. Oh my god, I was so <laughs> scuffed. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What, what's the estimate again? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Every minute has mm -hmm. basically been first yeah, try yeah, so far. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's which fine. is the big time sink. No, I'm just gonna do it here. Yeah, I was gonna say the. I was about to say, don't forget to, to change the thing again. Alright. Yeah. The Dokudami thing is just like a backup for the second yeah, poison. Yeah, I know. That's not a strat. Too much uh, vanilla in the past. Where you pretty much just spam the T. How long was it? Go you, you ran that like five years ago at this point, right? Eight years? Eight oh. years? <laughs> Like it's muscle memory. It's still muscle memory. <laughs> yep. Okay, I changed Yukiko stuff. Uh, but yeah, even though we have all this, I don't have auto oh, power stuff. Because it didn't save me MP. swapping the thing. Even with all this overpowered stuff, uh, if the setup goes uh, slightly wrong, uh -huh. it uh, can be deadly. Yeah, it's also like we're high level, but again, we're using pretty much the the second to weakest armor in the game. So we, we still take a decent bit of damage. We're not that much, that good on the, on the, like the defense side. The pre skill change manip route, I think used the, uh, like a Phoenix or something that has no electricity or something. So we just null the fanatical spark, but. 
Yeah, it uses Phoenix with the resist physical fuse yeah. onto it. Yeah, but Phoenix is like level 20, so he just has no damage. That's not an option. Alright, I'm just gonna recover from this poison now so that I can't accidentally uh, press the wrong thing. You want to be rushing when he repatrols because he gets up faster. Uh, Alright, did not work. Okay, this is the actual strut because the one more gives you the extra turn. You yeah, need to so now, now he's gonna do Fanatical Spark and Yosuke is gonna eat that. Um, and Yosuke is weak to electricity, so Kanji is gonna get one more. And after one more, he can do two different things. We want to see power charge. If he if Kanji power charge, that means next turn we're gonna reflect for uh, big damage as well. That's what we want to see. We want to see uh, power charge after the one more. Oh, oh Spirit Drain, okay. Not ideal, but... Just gonna Brave Blade charge Brave Blade? Yeah. That's not Power Charge. It's Brave Blade, charge Brave Blade. For the setup. Oh, okay. When he does SP Drain. Yeah. Didn't actually do enough for the fanatical spark, so... Yeah, that's mm. kind of uh -huh. interesting. Maybe you have the noodle also? Might be, might be. Okay. Yeah, Swift Strike is good. 61 damage. <laughs> Say Swift Strike is good and it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's better than like Spirit Drain or something. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him waste a turn. And... He's just gonna Rokukaji it back, probably. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, there's the. Yeah, there we go. There's the fanatic. But you need to heal now. Yeah. Are you okay, Sensei? Someone heal him! Well, he can't do it twice in a row, so. Uh -huh. But I would die to Mazio if I don't heal. Mm, Titania has it, right? Sensei, mind your health, okay? <laughs> Okay. I don't. Uh, she does. She okay. She does have reflect. I would have been shocked if she didn't. <laughs> Narcissus doesn't. Yeah, because we get rid of. Uh -huh. it. Yeah, I'm gonna get my Tarakaja back, and then we're going. Those were some very unfortunate uh, turns of events here. But the second one was out of my control, unfortunately. Yeah. The first one was absolutely my bad. The second one I had no influence on. Yeah, our charge. At least it didn't miss yet. Yeah, there we go. That was garbage. But it's over. That's all that counts. It's fine. I wasted all that time that uh, Moltsky wasted on Manips and his run because they didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> So we're basically uh, yeah. on pace. I failed like one manip in castle up to this point. <laughs> no, you also failed some in uh, in Bathhouse. I remember that. I was watching the run. Did I though? Yeah. <laughs> Might have been a skill change. I don't remember. Selective memory. Yep. I may have gotten a bad load going into the velvet room or something. Possible, possible. Yeah, so now that the no. dungeon is... Okay, so we're saving <laughs> anyways then, whatever. Now that the dungeon is done, once again we're back to... Our daily life of translating. Yep. Which means... Which uh, gives us time for uh, donations, I guess. Yep. Fog donated $5. If Pato shaves his head, I'll speedrun Minecraft again. <laughs> Nose Jones underscore donated ten dollars. I thought this was supposed to be a Sonic stream. Not yet. Zephyr donated twenty dollars. Ten k for another shaved head. Let's do this. It is for the children. Nev. Money towards naming the survivor kid Nauto after best girl. Well, I guess you agreed to shaving it now, so... No? Yes? I have not? 
<laughs> this is something to talk about. This is another uh, thing added in Golden. Uh, you can plant, uh, you can plant plants and uh, harvest them, and you get uh, item. They have a bunch of different um, things. Um, I think you, yeah, you, you, you do corn, right? You, you plant at least some. Yes. Yeah. Uh, corn is the best one because it's basically a throwable mirror. And ideally, I will not end up with five coins for uh, the final boss. Yeah, you need six for final boss. Like I somehow did in practice. And up to this day, I have no clue how that happened. Oh, we got a note. Okay, the next uh, very many days are just going to be uh, Go Home Translate. As, as we do after first few dungeons. Yeah, Yukiko just said she wants to hang out, but we won't. Yeah. We don't not, like her. We're not social. No S-Links. Um, yeah, story-wise, this game is actually quite, like, you know, uh, interesting because... It's kind of a metaphor how you shouldn't deny yourself, regardless of what society kind of expects of you. Because Yukiko deals with having to take over her family's end, which she really doesn't want to do. And um, that's why she goes all shadow mode on us. Well, Kanji is a bit more complicated, I guess, because we've seen him talk to like this boyish detective. Um, who we'll, we'll also encounter later on, and throughout the entire game, basically. And um, Kanji is starting to fall in love with this person, I guess, and he starts to think that he might be gay, and uh, since, you know, society still has a stigma on gay people, apparently, um, and like, in real life as well, uh, he denies himself and he's telling himself that he is not gay and uh, that's why his uh, entire dungeon is a steamy bathhouse with a lot of muscly dudes. Um, and uh, he's also getting teased too because he likes, uh, I think it was uh, making clothes or something. Uh, which is classified as a feminine hobby so uh, He's just kind of denying himself to appear tough and manly to the outside. While well, he's actually a big softy on the inside. And this trend continues with most of the characters in this game. So in, in that vein, it's somewhat similar to P5, where it's just you have these really bad people that are basically like Sin Incarnate. So it's always a bit of like critical of society, I guess. All right, uh, so we're actually going to harvest the vegetables that we planted uh, to make room for the next ones. You don't actually need to make room, but uh, these are actually um, somewhat useful. Uh, yeah. Sometimes you can use them on Mitsuo, sometimes on um, Kunino no Sugiri. It's an SP healing item. I feel like get a uh, chewing soul petting the fox at the start of Void Quest. Yeah. Don't really need that though. I suppose. How much was chewing soul in this game again? I think a hundred or something. Because I'm not hundred percent sure if they changed it or not. Yeah, they are the same as vanilla. Okay. Mm. Yeah, then it should be a hundred. All right, so this is gonna be the the shopping uh, channel here. Yeah, this is an int um, we're getting introduced to Tanaka's amazing commodities. Uh, every Sunday, uh, for the most part, every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, you can buy stuff from there, and it will arrive uh, in the next few days. Um, uh, there's some really good stuff you can buy, especially in Golden, because uh, um, so. The Monday and Tuesday thing was not in the PS2 game. On PS2 game, you could only buy on Sundays. Um, but not every Sunday is free. Some Sundays are like just story. So because you can also buy them on Monday and Tuesday in Golden, that means there's also more more just extra, a, a, yeah, a, extra shopping uh, chances. And uh, all of the new Golden items are really good. 
So we're going to be buying a lot of those. Capitalism, yay. <laughs> we're probably going to be buying a couple more than we really have to, but safety first. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of uh, backup items in there as well. Also, I think that is like the fifth or sixth node in a row. Nice. Translating. I usually don't even look at the notes. <laughs> Too depressing? Yeah, I know, I just, I just don't care. <laughs> because they don't matter usually. I mean, what else am I supposed to look at? These notes? <laughs> I mean, I am! <laughs> these, these notes are also... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you need to read on the next two days. Yeah. Yeah, we need to finish reading our study guide book. Six two and six three, and then six four is nothing. Yeah, six four is uh, the deadline. Yep. Autopilot it to the table. Yeah, that happens for me when uh, when you stop translating and you need to go sleep. I still yeah. <laughs> I still sometimes do like one or two translations. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, would have been a big deal if I messed that one up though. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So now we finished the book, which. Uh, I don't know if it doubles or just increases by some percentage, but you, you get way more knowledge uh, when studying now, after you finish that book. Yeah, it gives an extra knowledge up every time you study. Mm -hmm. Alright. I go home, deadline's gonna be there, and then we're gonna translate study. And then Kanji's gonna join us. Yeah, and Kanji is actually, um, he's actually going to be doing s like very small amount of damage. He's not going to be just for buffs, unlike the other party members. Yep. But the, but the amount he does doesn't really matter. And even if he couldn't do damage, it still wouldn't really change anything. Okay. Video game just wants me to have money. Now we got a rank three. All right. So now we're gonna hang out, uh, hang out on the rooftop, and then we're gonna go to Jeunesse again because that's uh, where we always go for some reason. It's the only thing in this town. <laughs> yep. It's funny too because they addressed us in the story bit where Yosuke moved here a year prior to the main character, and his family owns Jeunesse or something. Yep. And everyone is basically mad at them because they're putting the regional shops out of business. I have to pick three here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you just if you if you pick the other two, it just keeps repeating. So on 6-8, I'll buy the cabbage. You do not forget that. Yeah, so the cabbage is uh, the cabbage itself, I don't even know what it does. I think it's like a Amma Am Rita shower. Yeah, it's like... Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, something, status effect. something. It does nothing, but uh, we need it for the side quest. We're actually going to do a side quest. Because the reward for it is really good. Yep. The reward makes it so we never have to uh, get a specific skill. Which we already have already, but that's beside the point. Yeah, we don't have we don't have to waste a slot for it. Yeah, it's inconvenient to have it because otherwise you would need to put it on a different persona and always swap, or yeah. um, would take up a slot on the persona that you're already on. Uh, 
Yeah, the thing we saw in the card was just basically the characters are trying to find commonalities between everyone who has gotten kidnapped so far. And they've realized, oh, all of them appeared on TV prior to the kidnapping. Yep. If you answer this correctly, you get a knowledge point, but it doesn't really matter. I think we, uh, I think we get enough knowledge regardless. You were the one said <laughs> that said, I'm going to do extra studying. This would be your extra studying nah, would I'm barely not, any time nah, loss. Nah, we're not <laughs> doing extra studying. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> I said it at the start, and uh, I changed my mind. Okay. All right. Buying the cabbage. Uh, Doesn't matter. Yeah. Also, uh, I guess while I buy the cabbage, we can uh, get the donation in real quick. Maddie donated $10. Good luck on the run, Nev. Shoutouts to everyone in the Persona and SMT speedrunning community for being so incredibly kind and helpful to all us new runners. Thanks, thanks, I'll do my best. <coughs> yeah, so this is another thing that's new to Golden. Um, there's um, uh, scooters and motorbikes. Um, so apparently um, you and uh, Yosuke decided to get a driving license. Uh, and you're actually going to get a license right, at, right the next day. Uh, and you get a bike as well, uh, which you can drive uh, around with. Not really that important, but... That, that's how it works IRL too, right? It, yeah. uh, it unlocks like two extra um, <laughs> locations on the map. Yeah, you can unlock a, a, a shopping center area and um, a beach as well. We're not going to... Well, we're going to one of them once and then uh, never again. You go to both of them in the story. Yeah, I think you I'm go... never paying attention during the second <laughs> one. I just want to get out of there. The second one is usually uh, a bathroom break if you want to. Speaking of, I mean, I'll take one during during the Gundam, and uh, mm -hmm. probably gonna be here for a minute without me being here. Cause uh, at home it's easy because like. My uh, bathroom isn't that far away, but here it's a little bit more tricky because I have to go to the uh, bathroom hall. It, it's yeah. around the corner, but it's still, you know, it's still a bit uh, different. And you have to get plant good, the cabbage. Uh, yeah. Have to uh, get good RNG on uh, finding a free one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think we still have time for a donation. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna maintain the garden here to uh, speed up the thing. A Denny donated five dollars. Every day's great at your June's musical notes. <laughs> <laughs> it do be, it do be, it do be like that. Yeah, so the way maintaining garden works, uh, it has two different effects. If there's more than one day left for it to grow, it just lowers it by one day. But if if you maintain on the last day. Uh, you actually double the harvest, so you get double the amount. And it's actually important to harvest, uh, to maintain cabbage on the last day, because normally you get two, um, and we're gonna get four, and you need, I think, three of them to complete the quest. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so if he, if he, if he forgets to maintain the, guard, maintain the garden on the last day, you would have to plant more sets of cabbages, which is not ideal at all. I would also have to get more sets of cabbages first. Yeah. yeah. Alright, we're gonna reject Yukiko here. <laughs> Sad. Hey, ain't nobody got time for uh, whatever she, she wants to do. I, mean, she's I also... think she wants to cook or something. Oh god. Aye, aye, aye. Good thing you rejected her. <laughs> I have. Yeah, I value my lifespan. Okay, we're maintaining. Yeah, we are. Yeah, 
right now, story-wise, we're just basically waiting for the next person to appear on TV so they can get kidnapped. <laughs> yep. Or, well, I think this, the characters think that the kidnappings have stopped because nothing has happened since Kanji. Unless. <laughs> Unless. Yeah, so as you can see, it said it said that there's one day left. We actually can't even harvest the next day because the next evening is uh, like story, the yep. story. But we still have to harvest here. Not harvest, but maintain. I think it lasts until they rot, essentially. Mm -hmm. And the maintains are timed so that they actually skip a phone call you would get if you go to your room. Yeah. How convenient. Man, I wonder who routed that. Must be a genius. Mm. Yeah, m most of the route is made by Molsky. I think of like very, very old routes were mostly Ghoul, if I'm not mistaken, but then everything after that was mostly Molsky. Nah, I've been a major guy from the very beginning. Ghoul has helped a lot and... Kefka does his own things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's new in the world? I think in the beginning, um, a lot of it was based on the vanilla run, right? Uh, what was it? Give up a second. Yeah, yeah so the very, very first route was essentially trying to copy vanilla quite a bit, but just yeah. using gold hands as well, like. Uh, it maxed the magician social link to use <laughs> Mada like you did in your PB. Yeah, so interesting thing about this, uh, like, uh, babe hunt side, side thing uh, here. Uh, we actually only learned that you can just skip this whole thing entirely, like, a year ago, maybe a little more than that. And we were doing it for many years. Yeah, we got the cabbage. All right, now back to translating. And speaking of translating, the Japanese language uh, goal is at $210 out of 800. So we're a quarter of the way, the lower quarter. Yeah, and we're a quarter of the run in, so we can easily meet that. Yep. Yeah, by the end when... Uh... That's fine, we'll have it for the last fight. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I like how in the supermarket there were leaks, but a picture of tomatoes on a crate. Yeah, the, the pictures and everything, that's still from the PS2 game. It didn't change any of that. <laughs> I mean, this came out for the Vita, which wasn't that much more technologically advanced, so... Alright, yeah, school trip! Ooh. Ah, this is the trip where we learn. You that need to choose the further second here, yeah. No. We gotta decline. Because we're not brave enough to eat. Yeah, yeah, we don't have the courage. It's uh, deadly, to put it mildly. And you have a mountain of curry in the background. I wish I had that curry right now. Same. Oh, I don't think I could eat that here anyways. That's true. <laughs> yeah, Kanji has to sleep on the very comfortable corner there. Yeah. <laughs> With a giant rock in it. Yep. Who, who even puts a tent like that? <laughs> That's the question. Probably Yosuke, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> what would he know about camping? He's a kid from the city, right? <laughs> Um, and I know you can't hear it here, but uh, Hanako's snoring like crazy yeah. in that scene. So Yukiko and she are losing their mind. If you play with the VCR noises mod uh, removed, uh, you can hear the snoring. <laughs> good. Very good. I think this is the only part where uh, not having the mod is probably better. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the good old... Uh... Interesting scene where they're like, ah, I brought sexy swimsuits for you. <laughs> yeah, you don't get these swimsuits uh, as a costume. You, you you can actually have them, but you need to separately buy them in-game. In 
in a shopping center. Yeah. Which is interesting. Why would you need to buy them again <laughs> if they already have it? I know, right? Capitalism. Nineteen is gonna be a translate day. Yeah, we're just living the good student life of translating and not hanging out with our friends. And wow, there's someone appearing on television. I wonder <gasps> if that's of relevance. Nah, can't be. Can't be. But she had the the the, the sprite picture. So she has to be important. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Who is she even? I don't know. She was actually in the very first game cutscene that you just, like you skip at right after you start the game. Like there's a Velvet Room scene? Nah. Uh, never seen her. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine who you're talking about. Ah, uh, who? What? Wrong guy. Or who? Also, is it just me, or is that school getting more and more lax with the school uniform? It's summer now. Yeah, it's summer uniform, so you're not yeah. wearing your blazer. <laughs> and, and yeah, kanji, I don't I don't know how they even count it as a uniform. <laughs> just has a school shirt on him. I think they're just too scared to approach him. And they're just probably happy that he's coming to school at all. <laughs> <laughs> Could actually be. Yeah, funny enough, if you've only ever played Persona 5, there's a lot of hidden references in Persona 5 to this game, in the form of like posters and random NPC dialogue when they're sitting in the diner and whatnot, or when you're going on dates with inferior waifus, like, like Haru. All of the games have a lot of references to other games. For example, there will be a character from P3 later on. Yeah. Appearing. Also, I have found the day where uh, we don't actually call Yosuke. Yeah, this, is, even this, is, this, the is, the one. this yeah. is the one. This is the one. Mix it up with the other one. Yeah, in the other one, <laughs> you you can choose to not call him, but then he calls you. Yeah. Persistent guy. So this gonna... is this is where we poison Yosuke, <laughs> because we picked the wrong tofu or whatever, and he's like allergic. Oh, it's the it's the girl from TV. I wonder if she's important. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Must be coincidence. Oh, yep. Also, conveniently, Dojima and Adachi are here as well. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna lie. In Golden, I have uh, no feeling for the time without actually looking at the timer. It's like, I can I can not gauge how much longer the run is unless I look at the timer. Like six-ish on, on, hours. Yeah, like on Vita, I could tell you, not on PC. Don't worry about it. There's plenty of time left, Neth. Yeah, there's yeah. plenty of time for those $10,000 to accumulate so you shave your head. Oh, I'm gonna alter four for the manip. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Manipping those translations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, I think in the end, it's probably also better that I can't gauge how much is left because then I don't know how far I am behind. Uh, yeah. Pace? Uh, what even is pace? Molsky's run. Okay, yeah, you're, you're quite behind, I think. But that, that doesn't matter. I'm not sure if it's that much, actually. I mean, Molsky can always inform you whenever yeah. you're behind pace. I mean, I am behind pace because of the kanji fight. There's nothing you can do about that. It's probably like five minutes. Um, our very convenient friend, Cop. Adachi dropped us some hints just now about the investigation, which then he was like, oh, I, I shouldn't have done that, really. Yeah, but he did anyways. But he did anyways, but because he's a very good cop. 
takes his job serious. Yep, unlike uh, Daddy Dojima. Yep. It's totally yeah. not the other way around. <laughs> I mean... Oh, who, who's that? I wonder who that could be. I think this is the one where they ask you to save again. There's like two days where it... No, okay, it's not. Okay, we're getting the shovel here, though. And we're yes. buying the barrier coin. Yeah, so we're gonna accept and complete the cabbages side quest. Some farmer lady uh, wants cabbages. Um, and the the award for that is uh, uh, shovel. I think it's called like spiky shovel or uh, sharp, sh shovel. sharp shovel. Sharp shovel. Um, and uh, it's a weapon that you can use instead of the golf bat that we were using, and it has auto Tarukaja skill, so that's really useful. Alright, getting the shovel. Yeah, there's like a pop-up, like, what even is side quests? I'm pretty sure this is the only one we do in the run. In the Vita version, you do more because of the glitch, but I think this is the only one you actually do. Going home. Yeah, well, the current glitch is very useful. It does take some time to set up. Mm -hmm. It's still, like, if, if it wouldn't have been patched on PC, we would still do it. Probably. Maintaining. Yeah, now we're just gonna kind of speed run growing two sets of corn before actually going to the dungeon. Yeah, so you only get one corn per growing with a maintain that's two, so we're gonna have a total of four. Oh, that was classroom building. Yeah, it has quite long logo screen as well. Yeah, so this is um, casually one of the most frustrating points for me personally, where you have to like get, go around town, get information. You don't even know where to go normally, so you just go talk to everyone for the most part. Luckily, we just we know where to go in the run. Okay, so we're talking to the seed seller, which I believe was to uh, advance the the sets of the inventory. Inventory, yeah. Yeah. And we're going home. Yeah, because she doesn't sell corn now, but because we talked to her, he will. Uh, she will sell corn next time we talk to her. Okay, double translate because it's Sunday. Might as well stop early with all the notes that I'm getting. Please don't. <laughs> it would be a shame if I don't have enough money in the end, right? Yeah. Now. Oh, nice, two in a row on the same day. Alright. Yeah, so as you can see, we stopped maintaining the garden every single day because kind of have enough time at this point to just let it grow and yeah we have to wait for the mm -hmm. we have to wait for the second set anyways because mm -hmm. so we don't quite have it yet so we're basically just want maintaining to get the double amount yeah on the last day again which is going to be at uh, 6 30 and until 6 30 there is home and translating It's also convenient that the other party members uh, don't uh, come talking to you about hey, why aren't we going to the TV to save Risa? Because in the first and second dungeons they actually do that quite often, but here they just kind of stopped caring. Like, mm -hmm. ah, I don't know this girl. She doesn't even go to our school, or maybe she does, I don't know. Why should we save her? She, she, like, she probably has enough money to have enough bodyguards that could just go save her instead. Yeah, but she's, like, hiding from publicity. So, I don't mm -hmm. think bodyguards... <laughs> okay, I got, like, four notes in a row. Again. Maybe all the shop employees. Maybe it is time to stop early. 
Maybe all the shop employees and, and are just... maintained here. Her bodyguards. Home then maintained. What does Moltsky say? Mm, maybe <laughs> after Mary Q if you wanna stop early. See, the expert says I should. That's what I said at the beginning of the run. I don't know anything about this game. I'm just gonna play the game. I mean, do you just want to blame Wolski if you're missing like 200 yen or something? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta find a scapegoat. Okay, velvet room. And then we're uh, talking to Reese's grandma. But uh, you should sure translate them. All right. Going to the velvet room here isn't necessarily like faster, but um, if you if you want to save before doing the next fusion and then reload for the fusion exit, then that's that's where this yep. is good because then you don't have to watch this again. It's, and you're moving here anyways because yeah. you have to go to the tofu shop, so might as well. Yeah. Technically, this social link is skippable because it triggers when you have rank three knowledge, but mm -hmm. well. We kind of want that knowledge. Yeah, we want rank four for the uh, for an accessory coming up. So okay, so we're buying a bunch of things. Yeah, ointments. Okay, so it's uh, three ointments. Sons and Tama. Sons and Tama. Twenty-one revival beads. Make it twenty-two just in case. Oh. We'll buy an ex. Oh, I didn't use that one. Anymore. Sedatives, go homes. Let's just buy 25 just in case. Because yeah. like go homes are the things that uh, I will need in case the the hand minups go wrong. The revival beads, the, like the 21 is already like with a, with an overhead. You just press the right twice. <laughs> you normally need like 15 or something. But that's fine. And we have so much extra money yeah. from translating. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, uh, we harvest and plant corn. And then, I guess while we do that, we can uh, get that donation done real quick. Anonymous donated $5. Anonymous donates $1,000. <laughs> Can't wait to see you shave your head, Nev. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. Oh, I already planted it. Yeah, 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 you study, study. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah, you planted it. Yeah. <gasps> this is raining now, so it's gonna give quite a lot of knowledge. For some reason, what? you study better at raining, I don't know. It wasn't the case um, for me personally, but... It's the ASMR background now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Lo-fi beats to study to. But yeah, actual rain is real life. Rain is nature's lo fi. Exactly. Yeah, so that's it. We're done collecting the information, so we could start the dungeon now, but we don't want to. Yet. Oh, we're just gonna wait for the corn to grow up. Yeah, we're just gonna spam maintaining, basically. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, we're kind of. Uh, we're kind of. Uh, maintain, maintain. No? Yeah. Yeah. At this point, we're kind of tight on schedule. So it's the, um, auto, it's the autopilot to the translating. Yeah, so that, so that's why we're maintaining every single yeah. day now. You're gonna buy that? Okay. You're probably not gonna use it, but sure. Safety. First. Yeah, yeah. We can hear the Tanaka music though. No, we can't. Oh no, we can't. Yeah, so that was the Peach Seed combo. It's like some healing items. And it comes with something else. I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> I also don't I never buy it <laughs> in the runs. It's some um, smaller SP healing items. Okay. Who knows? Maybe we'll run low on money and then we'll have to use them instead of the Fox. Maybe. Well, but the reason you ran out of money is because you bought it, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it saves... it restores more money worth than... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm joking. Uh, more SP worth than money. Okay, home maintain, home maintain. Is 
Yeah. yeah so, so this was three days left, so now it will be one day left. And then next day we harvest. Also, as a reminder, you can donate to swap the language to Japanese in this game, and also to a good cause, save the children. If we reach 150k by the end of the marathon, Edenal is gonna shave his head. And I thought Again. Neff might do the same at 10k. No. <laughs> I'm uh, not doing the same at 10k. <laughs> 10k during this run, that is. Uh, yeah, it's right. He's not doing it at 10k. He's doing it at 5k. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I do not consent to this. My uh, my hairline is already starting in Narnia. Want to keep at least the rest of the hair that I have. All right, now we're translating. Back to autopilot. Not quite, because we're starting the dungeon next day. <laughs> yeah. Don't autopilot. Go to the dungeon. You're gonna autopilot, don't worry. Yeah, third. Mm -hmm. uh, TV, I'm gonna equip the shovel first. Yeah, sure. So this is why skill change manip uh, route is so much better than a lot of the older routes. Uh, because we no longer have to grind in this dungeon. Grinding in this dungeon was very, very painful because uh, you it's pretty much impossible to spawn golden hands that are just golden hands. They always spawn with another enemies on top of it. Um, and it was just very bad to grind here. It, they're also very far away in the fixed floor. So luckily, all we have to do here is just go straight to the boss. We have to fight a mini boss and then the boss. We don't do any grinding here, which is really good. Gotta make sure I'm on Osu. Yes. Yeah. Ah, I really dislike the music in this. Oh, it's already oh, wow. exit. That was quick. <laughs> Got that RNG. Nice. So you can tell the exit in this one, if you see the lights on the side, um, you'll have the girl looking at the at the exit on both sides. Technically only the left one matters because the right one is always facing yep. that direction. Yep. Okay, we're the still on 130, but these are so small that it shouldn't be an issue. Basically, if the silhouette of the feet is pointing towards the, the, the door, There's also another way to tell by using the lights, but um, they're like a slightly different color of pink, but um, it's easier to just use the, the, the silhouette. Yeah, go, that's a fork. That's a fork, I think. No, it's actually yeah. the exit. Oh. I didn't think it was the exit. I thought it was a dead end. That's why I checked the other side first. Because you know the corner ones are more likely yeah. to be uh, dead ends. They usually lead to a chest, but chest is basically yeah. a dead end for us. Chest is uh, not exactly what we're yeah. looking for. I think I'm getting to the point where I have to switch to 60 FPS though. Because the shadows are probably going to get a little bigger. Yeah, so there's a cutscene. We see the shadow of Risei here. Yep. She gets introduced. The mini boss is on 7th floor. Yep. And we're just going straight there. Hopefully, don't get ambushed. Uh, we did buy a lot of vantage balls. You, you did buy vantage balls, right? Yeah, I, I think so. Weapon. Yeah, so we have 13 vantage balls now. So yes. if we get ambushed, it's not that big of a deal. We just run away. Yeah, I don't think I used any of the two earlier. Yeah, because the only time you got ambushed, you got you died and yeah. reloaded. Yeah, but I was relatively quick anyways. Oh yeah, they're, uh, they're chunky. Okay, that's a chest. Uh, some of them are chunky. The red ones are chunky. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at 60. Mm -hmm. At least for now. For some marathon safety. Yeah. I mean, since we can switch on the fly anyways, it doesn't really matter that much. I can check this one. One well, might be okay. Mm, yeah, probably okay. 
hard to say sometimes. Mm -hmm. But this one does look good. It is a fork. Probably the other way would have led me here as well. Maybe. No, that's not it. That's it. Yeah. Lost the 50 50. That's fine. Usually. Usually, when you're doing a lot of runs, the floor RNG evens out over the course of the whole run. It doesn't really matter too much yeah. in the end. So yeah, this dungeon, uh, we don't really want to fight random hands. That was yeah. close. That's why we should be able to get out of this quickly. You can actually get raged by that. Yeah, I know. And then and then you just waste a lot of turns. And then there's a pop-up for auto Turukaja running out. It's Quite a bit of time, time with the time worst. Lost. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, it was a dead end with a chest and another shadow, so I was either getting getting out of it there, or he was gonna catch me anyway. If you when you race against a hand like that and you go above that, they can run into you. Yeah. We don't want that. Yeah, they that's, get they get. That's an, why I did a circle around. It. They get an enemy advantage. You hit your weakness and run away. Okay, that's not it. Would have been too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the next floor is the floor of the mini Another mini hand. Yeah. That would be good NMG luck. Just gonna swerve around a little. Uh, I'll check this one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a dead end. Could have connected to the other room, but oh mm -hmm. well. Uh, to the other path. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Wow. Oh, I'm I 120. Yeah, yeah, 120. Holy forgot. Four enemies ambushed you. That's the downside of trying to uh, you know, skip some of the text faster. Mm hmm. Okay, in this, uh... Why does he not just zoom? It's an ambush. There are three enemies. Oh, this, this might be yellow. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Almost. Man, this floor is just spiraling downwards. Mm -hmm. I would say this dungeon is probably the hardest one to dodge enemies yeah. during the run. No, well, the forest is also kind of tricky. Mm. I think forest is alright. Yeah, bro, forest is probably harder. No, I think forest is alright. Oh, it's alright. Okay, now this is going to be annoying because you can't see, so you can only hear. Uh, I didn't, I didn't have sound during practice, so this was especially fun. Usually, like if you go, uh, like from the right to the corner, and then to the end, it's fine. Yeah, like that, like that. This one can hit you a lot of times, though. Okay, he's looking the other way. Good. Perfect. Uh, I don't think there's another one. Yeah, there's no, no other one. Or the door. Yeah, so this is the mini boss. This is... Uh, uh, the snake. Snake, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the actual name. I think it's like... Well, it doesn't matter. Basically... Um, He's gonna be using Virus Wave, uh, which is uh, a physical AoE physical move that can also inflict status effects. We luckily have Reflect Physical, so that's good. Um, so we're gonna just buff up, we're gonna Rakunda Power Charge, uh, and then down him using the one Senzuntama which we bought, which is a throwable uh, fire item, and then we we'll one-shot him. If I can find it there. Yeah, so there's Senzuntama, it's gonna down him, and then we Brave Blade kills. That's how much damage. Look, look at the damage that we do on the downed enemy. 800. Less than we did on Kanji, though. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, true. True. Okay. That was with the Rukaja as well. Oh, this is also with the Rukaja because the shovel. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so we're. Yeah, no, we're not yeah. talking to Teddy. We're mm -hmm. going down one floor and back up because the. 
The exit is uh, like far at the entrance. Yeah, you just go straight from here. Oh. You also don't want to open that chest after the boss because um, every single time I, uh, I've seen people do that, they just get an enemy there. <laughs> it's the bait. Yeah, and, and a lot of people think you have to because you have to in Void Quest. Yeah. Can't blame him, but mm -hmm. at the same time, uh, you don't ever open normal yeah. chests. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing. That, uh, I think they think it's not a normal chest. It's just yeah. a thing you need to open. This one, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so now we're just going to the boss, but we're not gonna just jump into the fight. We're actually gonna add the party again. Yep. We're gonna add Yukiko, uh, Yosuke, and uh, Kanji. No, uh, wait, no, no Yosuke, no Yosuke. Wait, no, no. We're no. adding Yosuke, Chia, Kanji. Yosuke, Chia, Kanji. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did I say? Did I say Yukiko? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Because we want to have the Tarokaja uh -huh. for the uh -huh. second boss. Uh -huh. This is it. Ah. <sighs> Wow. Wait, what the <laughs> hell? Oh, yeah, it's okay. a, it's a, the yeah. entrance. That's yeah. rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to see these kinds of floors. Yeah, especially when this happens. This is a red enemy as well. It's an ambush. There are three, enemies. <laughs> three XP? <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna get free XP because we're gonna run away. Yeah. Right? Man! He's in like the worst spot too. He's exactly in the middle and facing towards me. Like, what am I supposed to do? Zip through him. That's what I tried, but it didn't work. You're supposed to just know where the stairs are and pick the correct route from the start. Oh my god, what is this? Yeah, that's because one of the aggro yeah. then stayed there. Like before. I was here all along. Uh, this uh, dungeon's boss can really... Uh, if you're playing casually, it can be a bit uh, annoying. Because you don't expect there to be two bosses. <laughs> and uh, I remember when I at least played P4 Vanilla casually, I did get hit by the unpleasant surprise of this. <laughs> and was not prepared. <laughs> The hand wants to move up with you. Uh, oh wait, I don't have it. Yeah, so we're just gonna add the party members and uh, jump back in. Oh. Wait, I do. I did have. Yeah, heal with Yosuke as well. Oh, you're gonna heal with this. Uh, oh, you, you didn't need the SP. You, you get full SP heal after reset. Right. Yeah, Kanji, I heal with Yosuke. Yeah. I am on Osa, so that should be uh -huh. fine. Change Kanji's thing as well. Yep. And F, yes, of course. The changing tactics is the first thing I ever write in my notes. Okay. Because otherwise I forget. <laughs> and then the only way for me to mess it up is if I actually forget to read the notes. Mm hmm. So uh, Kanji is going to attempt to deal some damage here, but that's all going to depend on RNG. Yeah, so the only thing you don't want to see is um, uh, her using fire on Chi yeah, on turn one. That's yeah, that kind of screws everything up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to charge. Okay, it's not on Chi, it's on Yosuke. Good. I can't wait to get rid of Osa because like... You, oh, this is actually one of the bosses you can crit. So a crit yeah. is actually really useful here. Or, or you can just miss that, uh, you know. <laughs> so the second one's always going to be Miragi, so we have to guard with... Yeah. 
Okay. Or she just dies. No, I mean, she does anyways, but if we don't guard, then... Then she gets an extra turn. Yeah, mm. and the extra turn is not good. So it's going to be Agi Lao, unless we somehow manage to push you. No. Oh. Interesting. I'm just going to Brave Blade again, that should be enough. And you could just rush now. Yeah, I wasn't sure if rush alone would be enough, so... Mm -hmm. Brave Blade for sure. So we're going to guard on uh, MC here, because I think unguarded it still does, like... 80 damage or something? Yeah, you can die. You can die. Yeah. But we're gonna rush on Kanji. Because <laughs> we want him to die. Yeah. So we don't get the extra turn every time. Right now, uh, I just gotta hope that the next fight goes well because. And it doesn't matter that everyone's like 0 HP and everything because you get full heal. There is. There's one scenario in the next fight, which is uh, random Bufu Dines, which we've gotten me before. Unfortunately. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Well, I mean, you can avoid the buffy down entirely if you just don't break the charge. True. But that's slow. And not fun. <laughs> exactly. It's okay, we'll just get a mind charge turn one, right? That will make you lose. The, uh, that will make you grow more corn later, though. It's fine. Throughout plans to use all of them here. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the notes tell me to make another six, right? Yeah, some of them you buy from Tanaka. Yeah. Uh. So here the bosses start having. Certain patterns if Teddy mind charges, say he will follow up with Mabufila. If he does Marakunda, it will follow up with Heat Wave. And we can abuse those facts. Yeah, it's very nice when you can predict the AI. Uh, the, the worst thing he can do is like spam um, Foolish Whisper and everything. That's. Did not want to see that. That's fine, just use physical cards. Wait, what? You're not using physical cards? I should be, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine, Kanji, uh, Kanji's gonna guard. Yeah. Alright, I have... I have everything up. So we're just gonna go into the first thing. Yeah, so this will push him. I think I think this already pushes him uh, through the first yeah. um, thing. So he's gonna like do a really strong attack on one of the enemies. I think the first one can never do uh, on main character, uh, but it's a very very strong move. Uh, if he doesn't one shot, um, uh, then he like the first one he doesn't do anything. The first one he doesn't. Okay, yeah. the first one is just a charge. It's the second one he yeah. randomly does stuff. You can actually break the charge. It doesn't really change that much for the fight, but... Do we attempt it, though? Here goes. I don't know, like, you, you can at least show it, I guess. The Kanji, Kanji did a triple hit, so... So you can at least attempt it's, it. It's more about, like, if I miss, I'm dead. Yeah, true. <laughs> but you get, but it's a, it's a showcase. Uh, I'd have to redo... Oh, his defense right now, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, just guard. It's not even faster yeah, to Neil break and, it. Uh, Neil Han has a very high chance of uh, killing characters that aren't guarding. There's a chance it doesn't that it just knocks down and disease uh, and mm -hmm. deals massive damage, but uh, not something you want to count for. Uh, he also gets a one more from that, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, he does. Yeah. So even if it doesn't kill, it's <laughs> still really bad. The single hit. Uh, he's gonna see. live, right? She and are just here to buff us. Well, I mean... Wait, that's gonna skip the thing. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, so now he's gonna do uh, the, the move I was talking about, where he hits one of them, one of us, 
And it, it, it usually just straight up kills them. Um, it also gives them one more. Kind of sketch because defense down, but I uh, just don't get hit. Yeah. That's fine, it's some kanji who is dead anyways. And now he charges again. Kinda wanna revive Kanji? Since I don't have to worry about who's uh, alive at the end. Get some extra damage in. You don't want to be doing this fight alone because um, you wanna be your you want your party member to be throwing like healing items. Yeah. Um, at this phase, at this phase. Ideally they're dead at the end. You know, for less uh, level up screens and everything. Yeah. And he, if you kill the bare minimum hands in Bathhouse, it's actually needed for them yeah, to be dead. Yeah, but since I have like yeah. two extra. Yeah, it's um, not needed now, but. Uh... Here goes Persona! <laughs> okay, yep. I'm just gonna let Super Kaja out, heal with Chia here just in case. Now he's doing mind charge. Uh, yeah, he drains ice, so we want to ice break before reflecting it. Oh, I was already on the coin. Yeah, this fight should be over after this turn. Yeah. This will do very lots of damage. Yeah, this is 1200. See ya. Nice. That was a pretty good fight. Yeah. Making up for the terrible kanji mm -hmm. fight. Okay, Molski, how, how are we looking? Base check tells me you are about 13 minutes behind. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Cause that's about like six or seven minutes just from Kanji. <laughs> also, I'm not sure how fast the game actually loads on his PC. But there's that as well. Yeah, normally when we're doing runs on PC, it's not RTA. It's, yeah, uh, it's we use a load remover. Yeah. But obviously that doesn't really apply mm -hmm. here. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, home study, home. We're buying some stuff, studying. Yeah, the same old, same old for the next couple of days. Yeah, and keep, keep 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 pay attention to like the rank up. If if you get rank four, then you just stop studying. And... Yeah. This is also no where we normally stop translating, but you can do that more if you want to. Yeah, since it's all just all same, we do have time for a donation. Lord Mal 5 donated $20. Shoutouts to such an amazing event. Incredible run so far and more coming up that I'm looking forward to. Yep. Agreed. Agreed. It's just gonna go home here. Yeah, and then probably story. Oh, I think it's a deadline actually. Yeah. Because this, we, we do this dungeon basically at the, pretty much, basically the last day. Yeah, because we have to grow all the corn. Mm -hmm. I mean, the corn is more important than Risa, so that makes sense. Well, we use the corn on 30 fight. Yeah. Yeah. So it's clearly more important than Risa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, whatever could have happened here. We saved the person, but then someone still died. Yep. Yep. Is it the teacher who dies here, right? Mm hmm Oh, no. Yeah, the teacher that everyone hated dies. And then we get a teacher that everyone still hates. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong, not wrong. True. Sure. 
And here's Teddy, just in our world now. Yeah. I mean, if just I was... Just the border. Yeah, if I was Teddy, I, my first go-to thing would also be the massage chair. <laughs> 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 or just in general, anywhere I go, that would be my first go-to. You also get two full uh, social link rank ups on this same day. You got rank 5. And now we're gonna get rank 6 a bit later as well, mm. still on the same in-game day. It's pretty funny how they give you two at the same time. Sorry. He also goes human here. Yeah, he's warm. He's taken off his bear suit. And suddenly... Suddenly he's just there. <laughs> suddenly, Bishonen. He, he grew a body inside or something like that. Yep. That's why he went flat first. It's reverse pregnancy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, 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 you know, instead of going... Yeah, uh, no, I, I know what you mean, I know yeah. what you mean. I'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, now Toe's here. <laughs> Yeah, and now Risa joins the party. Well, she's just a navigator. Uh, she's, uh, she's a sport. She replaces Teddy in some cases. Yeah, and Teddy will actually join our party instead as a fighter. I still think it should have been the other way around, but... I mean... It's... Which navigator do you hate more? Risa or Futaba? Futaba? Futaba is the worst one. She kills runs. Yeah, she actually I kills yeah. runs. I know, I know. <laughs> I As thought a, the question was which one I hate more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. But like, a, as a small explanation, in P5, Futaba can buff you randomly, and that messes up AI patterns, and then you die. Good times. Oh, you don't die, but you lose time. Yeah, you lose time, or you know, in the worst case, you do die. That that one Okumura robots fight. Yeah. Yeah. With the old route, where you were like doing it solo. Yep. That was obnoxious as hell. But luckily it's not solo anymore. Yeah. Instead, um, some other fight is just really obnoxious <laughs> <laughs> to make up for it. Okay, so we have to... Uh, buy the second thing. Whenever we get back home to the TV. Which I believe will be Grove 2 skill card, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it could be. I don't... I don't actually remember. But we'll see. Okay, don't insta-translate. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's evening, so... Nah. Yeah, it's yeah, Grove, it's Grove two. 2. Mm hmm Yeah, so Grove 2 is really important. We're gonna use that later on on one of the Personas. It's just gonna give us Grove 2 skill, which is uh, basically... Persona that has Grove abilities gets EXP even if you don't finish um, with it equipped. Uh, Grove 1 gives, I think, like 25%. Grove this 2 is 50. is 50, and Grove 3 is 100. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna study with Yosuke here, and then... Um I'll repeat the same old, so um, we got time for some donation. Anonymous donated fifteen dollars. Yep. Ah, I see you've played Knifey Spoony before. I don't get the reference. Time. Nope. Yeah, story wise, uh, we just saw our main party hangout at Juness once again, talking about oh, how did our teacher die? If uh, you know, we save Rita, what happened, and uh, this boyish detective boy that uh, now we know the name is Naoto joined us because they're also investigating the case, along with the police, and it's a whole mess, somehow. Yeah, and Naoto, at this point in storyline, uh, thinks we're the killer or something like that. Yeah, because we're acting very suspiciously, yeah. showing up at places where people get kidnapped before and all of them have connections to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a fair assumption. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, we'd probably all think the same if we saw that. Who's wasting my time this time? Chia. Shut up, Chia. <laughs> Kanji will be wasting as well later on. And Risa. I think, I think all of them do. And the translating job.
Well, translating job you do willingly, so... Maybe I should just stop here. Yeah, you already did some extra. Yeah, we're just gonna stop here. Although, did I know? Because I don't think I changed that part of the notes ever. So Moski must have done some extra as well. Mm, I don't know. Ooh, I, know. I have them going all the way until the void quest. Oh, you're going a little... I, even I don't translate all the way there, so... <laughs> it's just a safety thing, probably. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. As long as you make sure to, like, um, get Dojima's exam money and all that, it uh, will be fine. First of all, we're gonna study with Yosuke here. Yeah, because it's exam time again. Very soon. Yeah, we just study a lot now. Yep. And then study here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just study until you get rank 4. If you get rank 4, then you stop studying. Actually, you don't because it's like the full day studying. Yeah, you got rank 4, but you still study because it's the yeah. full day, so. <laughs> It's the same on 18, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see the knowledge ranks up rank ups are pretty much routed. Um even though there's like a couple RNG points to it, they're routed to where you basically get it at the exact point you need it. Okay, it's three then one. And it's one then two. Three and one again. Mm -hmm. And then it's double three. Okay. So we passed the important exam. This will give us a very important item. What's the extra thing on the next shopping channel thing again? This one? Yeah. Uh, can't I can't remember. Yeah, second mate. I don't know. I don't buy that one. Yeah, we're just gonna skip it. Can't be that important. It's a bunch of small SP healing items. Again. Again. <laughs> In case you ran out. <laughs> In case we ran out of the first ones that we already bought. Yeah, we got Rise Social Link here. I don't even know what rank one exactly does uh i think it's just chest some oh no they changed some stuff between vanilla yeah. and golden so i don't actually know yeah i don't know it doesn't matter too much though and she doesn't kill runs like p5 at least sure. Sure. i don't think rank one really does anything but uh, yeah, if you get rank two she's basically like futaba mm -hmm. you get rank one because so that you could uh, so they so they could put like story options that give social link points basically. And yeah, you still translate in the daytime because like we you said, can't the, sleep, yeah, yeah, you can't sleep. And on the days where you spawn in, you spawn in right on the desk, so that's another cool thing. That's okay. the exam results. I go to the history teacher, which I believe was Magic Mirrors on this one. What was it? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Then later on, there's the two mystical scarabs and... I think it's both mirrors, not just magic, but yeah. It might be. I actually don't know. It's uh, been a while since I really paid attention to it. 
Because like, even if it was only one of them, you would still get him. No, I think it was just a magic one. Which yeah, is the one we care one. about anyway. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mashed too fast in that dialogue though. I got the extra one. You can't mash too fast. Unless you're mashing to the point where... I almost accepted her request. <laughs> oh, oh wait, yeah. Um... Yeah, whatever. We it's translate fine, fine. today. We're gonna get a note and it's fine. Okay. <laughs> you didn't even get the note. <laughs> didn't even uh, get the note. Insult to injury. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're getting the very important part. Yeah, don't here. forget. Don't forget it. Yes, uh, this that, is very important. That is mm, borderline run killing. Right, we'll get it. We'll get it. Yeah, so we're gonna talk to Nanako on this day. And she will give us, uh, I think it's called paper armband or something like yeah, that. Paper armband, paper bracelet, something like yeah. that. Paper armband, yeah. So uh, it's an accessory that gives plus five to every single stat, which is huge. Yep. If this was P5, it would give you plus ten to every stat. <laughs> it's a very well coded game. Yeah. Yeah. But plus five is still really good. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go to Kanji, then Dima. Yeah, and now we're, well, now we're the, basically the mission starts. And this mission is all in, uh, like, during the summer thing. Where you always spawn at home and you technically don't really want to leave, but you have to. Yeah, so this is actually the first time we're gonna see the tutorial for leaving home during the daytime. <laughs> yep. Yes, talk to Kanji, talk to Dojima. And then we go home and translate. Yeah, Dojima, all he's gonna say is something like, mind your own business or something like that. You can't do all of these in one day, unfortunately. It would be nice, but um, like some of the NPCs you have to talk with just don't spawn. Okay, so we go to the seed cellar here as well. Yeah, to the the, yeah this is the yeah. tutorial. <laughs> it's the tutorial for leaving house. Conveniently, the seed cellar is right here. Yeah, on the, on the uh, like days off. On the days off, she's there instead of Juness. But it doesn't matter because we have to go here anyways for Adachi. <laughs> yeah. We sleep somewhere. And now we're gonna do some fusion on the next day. Uh, the reason why we do fusion specifically on 729 is because um, this is all um, a Grove 2 skill day. Uh, so every persona will be, not every persona, if you use, I think if you use Sun Arcana in the fusion, I'm not, I'm not Molsky probably knows. I think if you use Sun Arcana, um, the persona will try to learn Grove 2, which is really good. Yeah, it is a. Use a Sun Arcana in a fusion, and Crouch could do gets added. Yep, that's uh, very strong for what we need. Also, there was no point to enter the Velvet Room then, because like the last time, we just see the cutscene now. Oh yeah. <laughs> what does it matter? You have to make sure that I. Uh... Actually, if he's the correct stuff here. Uh, Megiro Rakunda. Oh. oh. We buy Orbis. So this basically, Orbis this basically starts the setup for the optimal grind setup for the run. Yeah. And we're gonna be buying a couple of personas here. Four of us, Allegor, Sylph, Kisif, and Narcissus. Okay, I gotta make sure that this is the correct one. Osunazuchi, Kisif, this one. 
Wait, is it? Okay, I just needle, power charge, mind charge. Oh. Cause like these can somehow mix up and be in different order. Yeah. I don't even use the search function. <laughs> then you can't mess up. True. Get his uh, Osa. We okay. use Ose to make Gorgon and then use Gorgon to make Ose. Yeah, yep. and the important thing why we even fuse Ose the second time instead of just buying from him from the Compendium is because uh, we have way more uh, full social link uh, rank ups now, so he actually gets enough EXP to learn. Um, uh, to learn. What is he even Auto Sukukaja. Auto Sukukaja, yeah. We're gonna learn here yeah. and I don't accidentally unlearn. Yeah. Pretty sure of using mid try in a way that it gets growth to was uh, troublesome, so that second Ose is kinda necessary. Um, in that regard as well. Mind charge growth to Next one's gonna be Dawn with Megido Autosuku Growth to Mind Charge. Alright, and uh, now I just have to rebuy a couple things and then that mm -hmm. should be it. Yeah. And yeah, then so now whenever we get experience, all of those personas are also going to be leveling up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you might be wondering, well, if we uh -huh. get Grove 2 and pretty much everything here, why do we still need the skill card? Um, it's because um, uh, you, there's only so many uh, uh, skills you can pass when fusing. Um, and, and, and all that. We're gonna give it to a way higher level persona that we can't even fuse at this point, so... Oh. Well, if we replace the mind charge with Crew 2, we wouldn't technically even need to buy the skill card, but it comes bundled with Helmagatamas and... Which we want. We oh yeah, the Helmagatamas as well, right. Okay, we're planting the corn. And then we're translate. We're sleeping. No, I think Hells Magatama gets bundled with the uh, Megi no, Megi Megido bomb or something. It's with the growth card. Okay. Okay. At least one person knows uh, what they're talking about, right, Moltsky? Because we I have mean? no idea, apparently. <laughs> I, 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 I was pretty sure it's the thing you buy on this day. On the next day, I mean. I was pretty sure, like that—that that was what was what was bundled with uh, Hell's Makatama. Do I actually want to translate more? I mean, you can if you want. The smart bomb is bundled with the uh, supersonics. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I thought it's the other way around. Yeah, I remember you forgot these in your PB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I caused uh, minor issues. <laughs> I get a note, I'll not translate. Okay. Yeah, the supersonic is also really important to use it on the final boss, actually. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> About that. Okay, so now I can skip the next day. Yeah, and we have to enter the dungeon specifically on 8-7, I believe. Oh, got another one. Oh wait, I just did it anyway. Yeah, it's fine. The muscle memory, yeah, man. Yeah, it's fine. Clearly it's not really that much slower. I will sleep today though. I will sleep today. I'll remind you in 10 seconds when you aren't. I am sleeping. See? Oh my god, you did it. Okay, on... Five. Eight five is the important one. Eight five we uh, maintain. Yeah.
Need five. So it's the day after this. Man, I could have stopped translating like years ago with all these notes. Okay, double maintain here. Uh, awkward because we start in our room. Yep. So with the double maintain, we're actually going to get the three corns instead of a two, if mm -hmm. you just maintained one. So. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's intentional, but... It does not exactly really sound intentional, yeah. but... Uh... Okay, translate harvest train. I mean, translate harvest sleep. What's better than uh, harvesting your corn in the middle of a fucking storm? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't uh, don't forget to go to TV on this day. Yeah. It's very important to go on this day for because on this day uh, there's a. Uh, a bonus for fusing full personas, you get way more EXP uh, when fusing fools. And one of the personas is the Karabia that we're gonna fuse in this day, which is a fool, and we need all that EXP. Okay, we're equipping the yeah. armband. Yeah. And then we're gonna save just in case. Gotta love those third floor notes. <laughs> hey man, safety first. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're not actually saving here because we start in here. So cool. we're just going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good one is fine. I have to make so sure to switch to 60 though. Yeah, so the the armband actually makes a huge difference because armband makes uh, one mind charge and Megiddo one shot the hands. But if you don't have the armband, I don't, I don't think I can actually touch that guy. Yeah. That's so stupid. Yeah, if you don't have the armband, you don't one shot them with mind charge Megiddo. You probably also don't outspeed a lot of these. Maybe. Well, if, if normally you just don't get to a yeah, fight, no, so... Yeah, obviously, but like, what am I supposed to do? He's standing here looking at me. <laughs> Good start to this dungeon. Yeah. The tell in this dungeon is uh, whatever is opposite of the door. There can be a shield, a sword, or a torch. Sword is the exit. Yeah, torch is just uh, like a another corridor. Yeah. And shield is like a dead end. Treasure, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is technically a corridor, but it's also a dead end. Yep. It's also a red enemy. Okay, good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> like, dead end rooms are rooms that are just like the big square rooms where treasure is typically in. This looks good, yep. Yeah, so this is a fixed floor, but we don't do the hands on this one. This one is very bad. This one like has teleporting thing. You just go left, right, left, right, left, right, and that's it. You don't actually go right at the end. You just go left, right, left, right, left. At least according to my notes. You keep going left and then right until you're no longer in the yeah. teleporting thing. So. It ends on this one here, and then we get out of that. Uh -huh. And ideally, there isn't going to be a shadow here waiting for me. Hmm. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. I mean, you dodged it. It's fine. Yeah. I was lucky that he charged and didn't follow me. And now everything's green.
could be a good for a good path. Yeah. Not even gonna try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At this point. Hang on, cause this one's gonna be tough. Hang on, cause this one's gonna be tough. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> so tough that I'm just leaving. Yeah, so as you can see now, Risa is the one. <gasps> Probably gonna be a single one. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, a rare one. Don't worry, that means I can skip through one manip and just get a single, in theory. Yeah. Uh, it should still be fine-ish, I think. Do we need at least three on Gorgon? Three. Yeah, that what? sucks. That sucks. I would probably just run away, but you can try killing them. Oh, okay, that's... That's annoying. Yeah. Maybe it'll get, like, EXP card. No, you don't even get shuffle time at all. <laughs> what a scam. Oh, I'm on 60 FPS, that's why it's so slow. Okay, we still need no mute and fire boost and some stuff. Uh, this way. Next floor is gonna be the manip floor. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I should go for double manip or if I should just skip through one and get the single. Mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice. That changes a lot of things. Yeah, but it's gonna have follow up. It's gonna have follow up. Uh, yeah, there's not no worth way. It. Not worth it. Oh! <laughs> Sad. Getting scammed like that. I can't see anything. <laughs> They're settings. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Sonic. Bye. Bye, Sonic. Okay. I mean, I guess... I guess what I can do is... I can try this manip, and if it fails, I'll just... Uh, I'll just fight it anyways. Since I already have two hands. Have you seen the Sonic DLC for P5D? Like more, you can have Morgana as Sonic. Uh, I think I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I think it was this one. I guess we'll find out in a minute. This is the manip that I'm probably the absolute worst at. This is my least favorite, and I failed this one the most, by far. Out of all of the manips, but this one looks good. Should be a triple. Yep. Nice. It's gonna be triple wait for them, so I don't even need to speed this up. Yeah, the good thing is if you don't Megiddo them first turn, they're not gonna spam Shikikaja. Yes, uh, I need one more on Gorgon and then one on Mithra. Just watch the XP card now. We should have got, we should have gotten our savior! <laughs> I think she. I think Gorgon can be too high level, so you probably need to. Yeah, probably need to do this. I think she won. Like you want her to be forty. She, you want her to be highest level, so that might have actually been bad. But we'll see. 
I think it's gonna be enough even if I don't do the next one of Mithra, right, Molsky? If it's a triple? Yeah, you've killed what? Five? Yeah, I killed I five, so it's gonna be eight. And you killed all five on Gorgon. Yeah. So I think even if. Because Gorgon has to be highest level. And I don't know if Mithra is gonna get to 40. You're not on 60. Mm, it might be enough. I'm not sure how much Mithra is missing right now. Uh, 600 to uh, 36. Whatever, I'm just gonna do it on Mithra and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I think doing on Mithra is safer play, but I don't know personally. I just always did like triple triple my never. Yeah. If I did the first one on Mithra, I would have 100% been fine. I Okay. Ooh, a rare one. Persona. Don't let it get away. Okay, that's new. Yeah, th this is fine. Uh, yeah, the hand the behavior kind of changes depending on the party level. Uh -huh. There's no way he gets five levels, right? I'm not gonna get the experience if there is one. Uh, There's health XP. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we want that. Oh no. Okay, what do we do here? <laughs> uh, you level up a Kodagon or something? Oh wait, you need to keep the gold too, do you? No. Or do you? You override it on everything. So I have to do oh, one right, growth to on everything. Okay, okay. Yeah. I have to do an extra manip to get Gorgon up and level, I guess. That's fine. It's just less that I have to do later, I suppose. Unfortunate. That double hand earlier actually kind of screwed me over. Yeah, if it was just if it was just triple triple, would have been fine. Yeah. Or if I just killed them in a different setting. If I did the double on Mithra, it would have been fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the triple and triple are both on Gorgon. Yeah. Hey, this is what we have the extra go homes for. True. And the uh, extra SP healing. I mean, we're just getting extra money that we can use on the fox. Yeah, true. Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Okay, gonna do this on Oregon. What? How did that not? Not gonna question. But yeah, in the end, this is only 39,999 experience less than we're supposed to get later on, so right, it's whatever. Alright, right, now we're gonna fuse here. Now that we uh, fixed this little mishap. But first, I'm gonna head to the fox, I think. Uh, right. Yeah, so, so now we're gonna fuse uh, the Karabia, which is uh, again, this, which is why you specifically want to do it on this day because um, the Karabia will learn Fire Ramp from all the like from the from this day boost. Uh, 
Uh, it's gonna be fire boost, no mute, no panic, health, physical, and night charge. Next one's gonna be mind charge, repel, physical, no panic, no mute, no innervate. I mean, yeah, most of the personas fuse to with Crowd to where just in order to get the null panic, null mute, and null innervate. Mm -hmm. All status oh. ailments yeah, that no. <laughs> can prevent us from moving. <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been uh, absolutely horrible. Yeah, especially for this dungeon boss. And uh, not just for this dungeon boss, actually, for everything basically. Iron charge, no physical, no panic, no mute, no innervate. Yeah, so like Hitokotonushi is one of the personas where we only have him for auto Sukukaja and the Nulls, and he all he does will, is mind charging. Yep. Well, he does have a use during now too. Dola, Rakunda, my charge of physical. All right, and we're buying the Karabian Gorgon, and then we're good to go. I don't think I've had a level 45 Gorgon in my companion before. Do you have enough money? Yeah. Right. Yeah, so now we're gonna go kill the mini boss. Which is actually two enemies. Or like, I think he spawns the second one. Yeah, he summons the second one. Am I on Hitokotunushi? Yeah. Like, Hitokotunushi is kind of our uh, go-to persona now. Yeah, as a starter. As a starter. Yep. Yeah, and the gimmick of this floor is that you don't want to like enter the the middle portion of the tiles because that will uh, change your change which way you're looking at. An ambush! There's one enemy. So you're gonna see how much damage actually like boost plus amp plus uh, plus Rakunda does. With a mind charge. So basically, we are fully buffed. We have Tarukaja, Rakunda, mind charge, boost amp. And the damage will be really high. Yeah, almost a thousand. <laughs> nice crit. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Okay, we have to get this one. Yeah, yeah. And then we will re-enter the floor. And then we will go one right instead of one left. Yeah. And then we're just gonna run up to the boss again, essentially. Oh yeah, yep. And this boss is probably one of the. Uh, yeah, he is up there. I don't. I don't want to say. It. In theory, it's not very hard, right? But like in practice, it's a completely different matter. It, it. It. When you're learning the game, you're not gonna, like, instantly know what to do. So. Yeah, you're not gonna have a good time with this yeah. one when you're uh, fresh learning the game. Luckily, I'm so high level that I already have the treasure thing, uh, the enemy thing. Oh yeah, so it's easier to link. You don't even need to yeah. look at the the things for the most part. 
Yeah, the the enemy scan on the right on the mini map is actually really useful to like to see where are the de the, the dead ends and everything because there's never an enemy in the stairs room. Yes. And so for the ch for the chest as well. This one only has 10, so we're already there. Mm -hmm. We're adding uh, Kanji, Teddy, and Chia. Yeah, and don't forget to change Teddy Sync. Uh, Kanji, Teddy, Chia. Uh, did I forget anything else? No. Yeah, so this is the guy who was talking Yukiko at the start of the game. Yeah, so this fight starts off with him uh, building up uh, a shell. And the shell is basically like its own boss fight in a way. Like he has a full HP bar and everything. Um, the shell is actually the easy part. Uh, he can do... Uh, two different moves, he can do a basic attack or he can throw a bomb. Bomb does a little bit more damage and can also inflict uh, a status effect which drains your SP. It's like a poison but for SP. Um, which doesn't really matter too much. Um, the first phase is basically really easy. The, the worst thing that can happen is you can miss Agidine but you do have auto Sukukaja and uh, usually you don't miss but... Man, I haven't seen him hit the main character in forever. I also haven't seen Bombard forever. Come on, get up. <laughs> uh, so there is that. Uh, Sushi. So with the diamond shield, Teddy can actually tank one hit, thankfully, but every, yeah. uh, Kanji can as well, but she is just gonna die even through the guard. Yeah, that's pretty much the main reason why we throw it, because Teddy being alive is actually the one that matters the most, because Teddy can just survive everyone else and you don't lose a turn, you get a survive train. Also, that was a hefty hit, 1150. Yeah, we're finally doing over a thousand damage now. Oh, nice. that was a good dodge because yeah. the bomb can do the status effect. And now we're gonna miss in return. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, so now we're down the first phase, uh, and now we're in the second phase where we actually fight the, the actual baby. Uh, I don't know why I did that, I'm already full HP. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We'll just uh, rush here. Yeah, so he's gonna do one of the walls uh, now. <sighs> Alright. Let's see which one he does. Uh, he does white wall, which means after, which means he's gonna be using ice moves for now on, for the next few turns. Uh, it's Gorgon, right? I have to double check. Yeah, Gorgon uh, doesn't take damage from uh, ice attacks. Um, ice is actually one of the better ones in a way that you don't have to guard with any of your party members because none of them are weak to ice. Do this just in case. Cause I want to be. Uh... Yeah, we want to. For the most part, we just we're just stalling don't right crit, now. Don't crit. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, for the most part, we're just stalling until his um, wall runs out. Because after his wall runs out, uh, eventually he's gonna start. Uh, the Karabia he's... wasn't weak to ice, was he? In this game. Uh. I think he, no, I don't think. I think he's just weak to oh, wait. physical, and that's it's it. It's not 
It's not him, it's him. I don't think around. This one is weak to wind. Yeah. I hate that they change weaknesses in between all these games. I like it. They also have to change weaknesses because they're adding more elements, like nuclear Yeah, end. I mean, I guess that's true. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna start a revive train. Yeah, when he starts rebuilding, there's um, like three different stages of rebuilding. So right now he did one rebuild, there's also the second part of it, and then the third one he rebuilds completely. Uh, we want to break him while he's still on the first one, because when he's in the second one, one Agidine is not enough to break the thing anymore. Um, and usually we have uh, one, after he builds the first thing, usually we have one turn to do setup, and then another turn we hit. Uh, so this Agidine will break it. This Agidine will more than just break it. Yeah. One, two, Wait, isn't that actually too high now that I think about it? I think it's fine. You don't want to do that the second time. Yeah, but, I know, I know, know. That's why I'm. That's why I'm wondering. Because like this, this boss has a very weird health threshold. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's... Okay, we're just gonna leave Chia. Uh... Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, you don't want to do too much damage to him at once because then you're gonna push like two phases at the same time, and he's gonna do two pieces of building in the same turn. And that's very bad. Yep. He's also yeah, gonna Ghastly cool. Whale next turn. Mm -hmm. So him decaging me is good. Because... Uh... Dekage is more or less like him... More or less wasting a turn, you could say, so... But yeah, we don't want to have Tarakaja up right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because you have no. Now you lost Rakunda, so. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna Rakunda, but I don't want to have both up. Okay. That's why. Oh, that's gonna be on. Okay, that's good. So I gotta use it on him again. Mm -hmm. Is he? No, he's not. No way, it's gonna be on main character twice. Definitely not. That would be bad RNG. Uh, um, where is my, where are my magic? Oh, maybe that's why you had five, because you throw two here. Or, or do you normally throw two here? I normally throw two here. No? Okay. Well, I throw as many as I need to here. Oh. Okay, Kanji got hit, that's fine. Okay, this should deal like 600 something. 700, but also yeah, that's fine. I don't actually want to rush because I'm a little bit scared here. Mm -hmm. I need a buff though for him to decaja. He's got. He will gas the whale. Not on this turn. He can only gas the whale in the build-up form. Oh yeah, true, true, true. yeah. So he's gonna Ghastly Whale Kanji here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna Mind Charge. No, Kanji's scared. So essentially, half of these buffs are literally just for the boss to use the Kaja. Yep. Or... There is a chance you can actually get a turn with the Fear the ally. And if that happens, that's actually good because you can just guard and then he will still Ghastly Whale, but it does nothing. Yes. Alright, he also didn't Dekaja here, I think. So, I get a big hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost a thousand. All right, doing it. Oh. oh! Yeah, don't, uh, don't do uh, Okunenushi now. Uh... He's gonna switch into the thing though. Maybe. He might switch into build after the first hit. Mm -hmm. Here goes. Um. <laughs> Ganji oh, and wind. Uh, oh. oh yeah, that uh, was a yeah, that was a derp.
point. We saved it. That's what we had that last morrow for, right? 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 Sure. Uh, and you hate, that's why we grow three of them. Don't you normally have OC here? You could have recruited that. I don't have OC. Okay. I don't think so, anyways. Yeah, no. Okay. There's no OC. Yeah, this shouldn't matter here because I think this. Yeah, you're. Just you, I think this might kill. Yeah. It's gonna kill to the point where I need to rush once because he can't kill yeah. while he is in this form. Serious? Okay, yeah, you, you, you can finish it with all the deck for to be fancy, but it's actually slower. Yeah, that's why we're not doing it. All right, uh, I'll get this first try somehow. And I almost threw. At the end of the image, so fight can get into quite an awkward situation if it's only the main character alive and he keeps building up. Yep. And like, if he does actually fully rebuild, then you're kind of screwed. There's uh, very little chances of you making it out of there. Yeah, unless you're already fully set up somehow. And now there's a lot of nothing happening until the deadline, basically. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I should still be getting six Makara coins until the end, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Story-wise, uh, the police thought that the stalker guy was the killer, but he's actually not. So the search continues, and with this, I will hand over to Leonis yep. to commentate the rest of this round. We'll be Thank back you in for a second as well. Yep. And Thanks for good luck. commentating. Thank you. Uh, I'll need it. All right, so yeah, um, kind of celebrating, making some food. Well, if you can call it food. <laughs> so how's it going so far? Well, uh, we're still below estimate, uh, underestimate, I think. But um, let's say I haven't been playing perfect. Motsuki would know more. You're doing fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. At least I'm a little bit ahead of uh, in levels, so there's that. Yeah, the extra triple in Void Quest basically counts as a double in lab, so. Yeah. The only it's downside is it doesn't, many, but... it doesn't actually give you um, the skills you want in Okuninushi. Because that's one of the main yeah, goals, he... right? Yeah, that guy still needs to get the, some uh, skills to have eight. And why <laughs> the skill count matters uh, is because uh, how many inherits uh, is determined by the fused persona skill counts. Yes. So. Right. And in order to inherit five, the personas need to have a total of uh, 24. Yep, and that essentially only works in a triangle fusion if everybody has eight. I think in vanilla and in P3, it has to be different skills. Like 24 different skills, but I can't fully remember. Mm, I'm not uh, sure about that. haven't really done any testing on it. Oh, almost four hours. Almost halfway. Yeah, we're four dungeons down out of nine. Yep. Okay, she's gonna be a lot of uh, translating and sleeping for now. Nice. Because of summer break. So, can you translate? 
no. <laughs> Can translate from German? No. No? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how to speak that language. <laughs> oh, wow. So, yeah, this is the deadline. And then, uh, yeah, a bunch of uh, translating and nothing for a while. Uh -huh. And then begins the summer filler arc. Yep. Right after the summer break. 8.14. Yeah, take the exam yeah. money here. First, we need Chia to uh, leave us <laughs> alone. But don't you want to train? No. <laughs> I think uh, main character is already uh, buff enough. Yeah, but train Chia. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't, no, 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 no. I don't want to do this. I'm just gonna social link. Oh yeah, his social link is very. His rank one social link is very long. I've done it in a couple of runs. More than one. <laughs> it's very <laughs> slow. It's very <laughs> slow. <laughs> Speaking from experience. Right? Yeah. <laughs> At least I don't think it messes anything up. So no, it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, sorry. This summer job at Juness is very good. It skips like four days or something, and it gives yep. a lot of money as well on top of that. Yep. Yep. In fact, if you have uh, like rank one knowledge and terrible test scores, uh, Rise is going to call you and, hey, we need to do some summer classes because we're, because we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite pessimistic. Realistic. Uh, I mean, depends on if you re Wow. You're not completely dumb. You're just doing like extra curricular stuff. I don't know, man. Alright, so uh, summer festival here. Goats are all under Yukatas, and we're um, just chilling here. And then next day, we're rejecting Risa, and we're also not going back to the Summer Festival. Yeah. That's a waste of time. But it's the Summer Festival, and it's CSA Summer. Yeah. <laughs> How unfortunate. I am... Um, Blame my awful performance at Kanji. <laughs> we don't have time. Yeah. Uh, say to Nanako. N yeah. Yeah, so like Nanako wants to do, wants uh, you to help her with homework. Oh, that's after the long thing. Yep. That's when you come back. This is uh, <laughs> quite the scene. Quite the scene. Kanji and his speedos. <laughs> <laughs> Fan service is its best. Yeah, no more speedos and, anymore. Uh, yeah, he kind of lost them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's almost as if. Yeah, now he has some seaweed. Oh, wow. <laughs> What a queen. And they're trying to pass it off as um, the birth of Venus or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. I think that's actually what they say. Yeah, but I don't know about <laughs> that one, man. They got a Speedos back. Yeah, Yay. somehow. <laughs> Some <laughs> See ya, Nanako. You're on your own. Yeah, saying yes to Nanako is actually not even that much slower. It's like probably like five or six seconds, but it's still slower. I do, yeah, do homework. You have to do, you have to do these homeworks here. All right, do one more homework here. And then later on, we'll, we'll be technically forced the, to do more homework. Technically the only one. Required is the first one, it's just a good source of uh, 
extra knowledge and burns the entire day. Yeah, well, we don't need extra knowledge, but it's just for the yeah to burn the day. All right. Um. Yeah, it's just gonna be uh translate and stuff. So we have time for animation. <laughs> Or not, I guess. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy the thing here. This this one is actually needed. Well, it's not actually needed, but yeah, but I'm buying it. Anyways. Yeah, this is more needed than the other ones. I mean, I only bought one of the other ones, and yeah, I actually used true. up all of the soul drops. Yeah, so. true. So yeah. There's that. Da, 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're sleeping, and then... Uh... Forest homework. And I'm gonna eat the watermelon. Oh no, it's the, the watermelon is the tomorrow. Yeah, watermelon is tomorrow. Fireworks festival is today. Mm -hmm. Forgot because I don't think this was in vanilla. Was it? Maybe it was. It's mad. It's, it's been so many. Years. Uh oh, yeah, it's been so many years since I played vanilla. <laughs> Manila's kind of weird in the summer because there doesn't really happen much of anything. <laughs> there doesn't happen anything all in... All free time. There doesn't happen anything in winter. It's like from from the Christmas all the way to March. Just skipping three months. Yep. Four even, I guess. No. Yeah, uh, three, three. Three, three. Alright, yeah, now this, this is yeah. I think the story here was that Nanako gets upset at how the watermelon is cut or something. Yeah, she wanted to smash it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. There's gonna be interesting things happening soon. I don't know I don't know why you still have the things in your notes like for the class answers. I don't know, ask Molsky. Yeah, you, you don't need that anymore. Ask Molsky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have them in mine. Yeah, you did. I'm, I took these from your notes. I'm looking at my notes. Well, then you removed them <laughs> afterwards. How's that my oh, fault? Wait. Yeah, you don't need the uh, class answers anymore. Did Molsky just say, oh, wait, I do? I have at least a 901. <laughs> See? Oh, okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> but why do you have it? probably just forgot to remove it. that's that's the thing with notes right there's gonna be remnants of old parts mm -hmm. that you just never remove mm -hmm. yeah but this is like really old parts. this is like pre uh, pre skill change even yeah <laughs> now now you know why i never give anybody my p5 notes because there's stuff like that in there mm -hmm. that just confuses people yeah it does more harm than good to them now we're gonna start our new social link that's exciting yes oh. the only required one yeah, but I think there's still some story here on this day first. Uh, might be. Uh, no, no, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna start Marie's social link. Uh, you can start her at any day, look for the first rank, and then the next ranks are only mostly Sundays. She's available on every day off, and then other than those, it's like Wednesdays and Saturdays or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then also, she made the rain disappear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's kind of inconsistent when she's actually available, because some days where she should be, she's not, and uh, it's all annoying. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, but during um, Magatsu dungeon, she's available every single day. But that that doesn't matter to us because we want to do it on the very first day because to that, skip that, more yeah, days, it yeah. skips everything. So. All right, we got rank one Aeon. Woo Yay! And it has the golden border. Yep. Gonna sleep. The next day we get the the next one. Aeon yeah, we're gonna two. get a lot of them back to back because um, yeah, we just didn't want to spread them out because then um, each time you enter Velvet Room after a rank up, you get a cutscene there, uh, but you don't get uh, two cutscenes on the same in-game day. So we're only gonna see one of them total. Yep. Yeah, while we do this, maybe we can uh, quickly get the donation, donation in. <laughs> Don't miss out on champ. next episode. <laughs> Pause, champ. Pause, champ. <laughs> Podge. <laughs> One day we'll get the donation. Yeah, and we want to reach rank 5 um, before the deadline of... Uh, Nauto's dungeon because it rank five has every party member in the cutscene. Like every every party member introduces themselves, but if you do it before Naoto deadline, Naoto is not in that cutscene. So it's just a bit faster. Oh Naoto, you said Nanako as well. I was confused for a second. I said yeah, I meant Naoto. Alright, we're just gonna reject. It's kinda the weird because they lock here. her social link before reset joins. But mm -hmm. not for now, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have to actually go out and uh, hang out with Marie. Whoever <laughs> came up with this routing, no bueno. I'm pretty much doing every day possible <laughs> <laughs> to actually make it in time because I'm yeah. leaving it all the way until September. Not the best idea, always. <laughs> yeah, it's quite tight. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's like impossible to do it without the one cutscene. You can't just get zero cutscenes. There's just not enough days. Mm -hmm. So is there a category on... The... Sorry. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say, considering we reached the four hour mark, I just want to remind people there is a donation incentive for this run. Um, for changing the language to Japanese. We are currently at 225 out of 800, so we haven't gotten further since last time, but you still have plenty of time to get your donations in. Yeah, you got There's like uh, four an... more hours. So yeah. 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 There's also an overall um, incentive for USA. If we reach 150k uh, before the end of the week, uh, Edenor will shave his head on stream. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. Again. Everybody leaves that part out. <laughs> and Nev will do it if we get nope, 10,000. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Fox lying. I would never lie. A weasley little liar, dude. Except when I say I want to play Minecraft. <laughs> Pato's probably hurt right now. Probably. <laughs> Alright, uh, Aeon 3 here. Oops. Fast forward got a little bit messed up there. So is there a category for maxing every social link? Uh, there is a run of it on easy difficulty, but there's no okay. there's no category on boards. But okay. There are people that did a run. At least one people. At least one person. Okay. Yeah. I assume it must be like m quite longer. I well, it, it, it's actually shorter than this because it was an easy. Oh, <laughs> okay. So the difficulty makes it up. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, there's a very easy run mm -hmm. without video and then there was there was one japanese runner who uploaded their normal difficulty run to nico mm -hmm. oh yeah there was a japanese run on normal yeah so i think what's happening here is uh chia and yukiko are trying to find some clothes for marie 
And ironically, Chia picked something green and Yukiko picked something red. Who would have guessed? Rank three. There's going to be a little bit of a break here. This should be the school trip, right? Yeah. And we're actually going to Gecko Khan Island or what? No, Gecko Khan is the school. Yeah, Gecko Khan yeah. school, but the island is. Uh, what is the island called? Tatsumi That's a good Port Island. Tatsumi oh, Port Island, yeah. yeah. So this is a character from Persona 3. She's uh, just a social yep. link in there. She's a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a teacher from Persona 3. Also. Yeah. He talks so much, that's why his text skips extra fast. Yeah. He talks a lot in P3 as well, except mm -hmm. you can't fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in P3, you're screwed. But you can you can sleep during his talks in P3. That's true. True. Right, it's gonna be safe here, and I'm probably gonna mess up skipping it. Oh, oh we did it. <laughs> For a change. Such scale. Because many legs gotten me on the previous like three or four. <laughs> on, Vita, on Vita game lags there, like on the lower floor of that of that thing. Oh, does it? Yeah, like you fast forward and like the the things that are fast forwarding they lag. Vita not powerful enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so apparently uh, Kanji and Teddy are having a cuddle session or something. <laughs> and uh, everybody appears to be drunk yeah. off it, of non-alcoholic beverages. On the NMG run, you actually max Chia social link, and you actually choose the Chia option in here to get, to get the, the points. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he did in like in vanilla. He also max Chia's social link, right? But I don't think he actually uh, picked that option specifically. No, oh, okay. It's just better than like doing the like non rank up thing, you know? Yeah. All right. Hey, on rank four coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually can't do more social link while there's um, like when you have an active mission before you before you finish the dungeon, you can't hang out with her. So that's why we're gonna hang out with her now, and then we're not gonna hang out with her for a while now until we beat the dungeon because the the game doesn't let you. Great design. Yeah. And yeah, we delay the next dungeon quite a bit as well, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to do That's it on... That's a problem. We have to do it on 10-1. Because of the Diorahan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mutski donated $25. Yo, Neviets. Your favorite speed mutt coming in to wish you luck and just to say I am proud of how trendy you look in that super trendy shirt. <laughs> Good luck and rise best girl and all that. Keep it real, Mutski. <laughs> Yo. The nice. one and only Me. Mutski. Rise best girl. <laughs> <laughs> He's also a fellow, uh, fellow trendy shirt owner. So that's the only thing I missed out on this year. The new uh, trendy hoodie. Yeah, we're gonna buy. I, I'm gonna buy one for sure. Gonna keep the tradition going. All right, uh, we're just gonna go home here. 
And I think this is the start of uh, investigation soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it was appearing on on the like the news, so that means she's gonna be on the midnight channel soon. Oh yeah, and at this point in the story, you technically don't even know that it's a girl yet. But... Yep. But we do, of course. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be going home, nothing, home and sleeping. <laughs> yeah, sounds, sounds like vacation to me. <laughs> I think I think the down the the downtime between Mitsuo and Naoto Dungeon is the longest one in the run. Yeah, that does seem about right. Yeah, because you you do Mitsuo's dungeon relatively early in this game. Because uh -huh. I've if I remember correctly, in vanilla you do it way later, so the downtime is a little bit uh, less. But then obviously you have a slightly longer downtime in between Risa and Mitsuo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing, you do Mitsuo early, but you also do Risa at the very end. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna lie, can't wait for the lab our uh, mid boss <laughs> it's a very hard fight man yeah. <laughs> that's uh, exactly the reason why i'm waiting for it <laughs> i'm also absolutely not forward and uh, not looking forward to the fixed floors on uh in the lab because I can never remember them. Even after so many years of running vanilla, I kept forgetting them. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... I can tell you where to go, it's fine. It's just my arch enemy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's always the lab. I think lab is actually like pretty hard engine vanilla run, right? Uh, yes. And then heaven is like the hardest one or something. Now heaven is heaven is all right. Oh, okay. Because you still have Suiki with all the reflecting stuff. Mm. But lab is just atrocious in vanilla. Mm. Yeah, this is an exam. We don't care. We just choose the first option. Oh, wait, this stuff isn't an exam. What am I talking about? Nope, not <laughs> quite yet. Yeah. We have to make sure we buy the second thing on the next one, because I think that's the armor. No, I think this is Soma. Oh, it's either Soma or the armor, yeah. And you need Soma because that Soma also comes with the... Uh, baptismal water or whatever it's called? The, the Kaja. Purifying water. Purifying water, yeah. The Kaja item, basically. Second, second, second. Yeah, it's a Soma. Now we sleep. Translate and sleep. And then we're starting to gather clues about now too. Mm -hmm. That's not where you need to go. Practice building. Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> Autopiloted. Yeah. And then afterwards we're going to shopping district.
this is one of the ones where you have to like after after you get all the information you also need to answer correct answers to yourself or something like that this one this one ends weirdly yeah this one is kind of annoying you also have to call, talk to this cop twice the most annoying one is adachi one though <laughs> Ah, uh, wait, what about Adachi? You have to talk to basically literally everyone. Adachi did nothing wrong. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, why would we have to investigate Adachi? I mean... <laughs> or maybe we we're investigating for Adachi, we're helping his detective oh, work. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one's annoying. A shrine might have been fast. I'm actually still not sure if shrine is faster in RTA. Yeah, so we completed the investigation with, like I said before, we're gonna enter the dungeon on 10 1. And now it's pretty much just sleeping until that, nothing important yep. happens. Translate, sleep, go home, sleep. Whichever day it is. Yeah, I don't know if Ghoul did a run already, but he was like routing uh, uh, this game with uh, time travel mod, where you can just like pick any day in the in the like in the calendar, and he would just be like skipping dungeons, like skip like skip. Uh, Skipping the the like the this this yeah. downtime part. I don't uh, know if you I should have I should have used that mod <laughs> for this run. We could already be done like uh, two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if we could have been done two hours ago, but probably not. We would probably be done like. I don't even think the route is earlier. complete yet, <laughs> because you don't do translation, you don't do <laughs> other stuff. notes how oh, your notes changes like from 925 to no, 0926 yeah Wait, what? like the month it has zero oh. at the front now <laughs> uh blame Molsky <laughs> <laughs> Molsky why can you tell where I've copy pasted? <laughs> All right, uh, lots of downtime here still, unfortunately, but. Uh... We're getting closer to the longest dungeon of this run. What do you mean longest? It's only nine floors. The, the, some of the previous ones for 11. Ah, <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even then, we're not going to count the three that you have to backtrack or two or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And we're also not going to count the 45 minutes that we have to spend in there. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. My bad.
<clears throat> Alright, so the next parts are... Almost there. Yeah. One more day and then we actually get interesting content in this game. We're gonna be slightly higher level than we really need to be at the end because of that one extra hand that I fought earlier, which... Uh, I guess technically not that big of a deal. There is no such a thing as too high level for the main character. Yeah. You, you, you could have too much XP on the personas, but not on... The... Yeah, I mean, that's that's what happened, man. Mm -hmm. Too much on uh, Mithra. Yeah. Like, the worst part is I was debate Like, I was thinking that it's yeah. too much. But then I just yeah, went you, with you it even ask, you even asked Molsky, well, like, what you should do. You just didn't have the answer. Yeah. I should have just uh, trusted my gut feeling at first mm -hmm. and yeah. just done it on Gorgon. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah. a lot of the times. That's what you do in the run. You just rely on your gut. Right. You can never trust a world record holder. <laughs> <laughs> never. Yeah. So for now, we're just gonna go down to the floor number six and pick a chest there. Do we do we get it immediately? Yeah. Some people get it later, it doesn't matter really. Alright. So the tell for this one here. Ooh. Oh nice. Not there's not gonna be any follow up either. That reach of that shovel, it's just amazing. Uh I'd be sort of waiting anyways. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Free. Uh, Okuninushi. Uh -huh. You need Okuninushi to just have all slots filled. Yeah. It's just, uh, he just needs eight abilities uh -huh. and that's it. Mm, shuffled up. And there we go. Yeah, 45. Nice. It's more than we need, uh -huh. actually. <laughs> right, so you can technically just go back now and fuse if you want to. Uh, you barely made progress. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll, <laughs> actually, I'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> that is actually Good probably <laughs> Good job. the best idea. That was very convenient to say the least. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, it's gonna be register. And I mean, you could have just said that you manipulated this is, it. This is the cutscene <laughs> we mentioned yeah. before with the Mori level, uh, Mori social link. Everything here was planned. Just yeah, yeah it was all part of the route, right? Yeah. This is the root on a good RNG. You just <laughs> normally don't get the good RNG. <laughs> uh, maybe don't uh, power charge, mind charge, repel physical, and no meat. Alright, so now we need Scotty to be level 61 plus, and we need 65, but that's gonna happen regardless, uh, mm -hmm. thanks to our extra. And dilemma earlier. Yeah, so now, right. so now we're, we go. Now we're gonna start the dungeon again. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched there be another hand right at the entrance. That would be some luck. One right here. So before getting into the hand, you were trying to explain like the 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 sign that tells that you are on the, the right Oh, door. yeah, you see this like green goo on the floor? Mm -hmm. There's a specific pattern on the floor that tells you if it's the exit or not. Okay. This one's not it. There's also a shadow behind the door. In this dungeon, I, I just look at the like the the enemies in chest and that's it. Yeah. Oh, whoops. The tail in this dungeon is kind of weird as well because it actually matters uh, which door you're actually opening. Yeah, there's two uh -huh. different yes. tells depending on the door you're at. Uh, this it's, it's odd because it follows the same format as uh, the bad house, but that only uh -huh. has one tell, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the same format is in forest as well, but in that, in there, they're like the, the doors are just transparent. Like, there's no doors; there's just a, a line there. So yeah, I don't really look for anything in forest. Yeah, I'm just glad when I'm out of that place. 
But the music is good there. And yeah. That's the only good thing. True, true. But yeah, essentially any extra hand spawn that I get now is just gonna cut down on the minutes that I have to do at the end. So ideally we would get like uh, one, two, maybe three. It's probably a lot to ask for. That yeah, three is a lot to ask. <laughs> Average is like half, like 0 0.5, like between <laughs> 0 and 1. It's fine. We can get another one. Right? This floor is a set floor. Yeah. <clears throat> and I can never remember it. You just go straight. I don't think it goes... No, no, just oh, go yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah. yeah just you go, go straight. straight, then go up left or something. No, you go straight and then like do our 360. Yeah, up left. Yeah. Well, left technically. Just follow the path left. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a hand? No. Yeah, and that's the stairs. Yeah. You just go... I remember it. I remember this part. Alright, so the goal is to get to 6, and then we'll grab the cart there, and then we'll start manipping. Because we need the cart to actually enter the door that I just passed by on floor 4. Which gives us another cart, if I'm not mistaken, to enter the door on floor 6. Or something along those lines. I don't remember what the exact procedure is, I just know you have to go to 6, 4, 6. You go to 6, open the chest, then you go to uh, like 4, beat the boss, open another chest, and then you can like finish the dungeon, technically. Uh, yeah, look, look, look for the hands there. Nope. It was down, right? Yeah, and then left. Yeah. Left now, yeah. And then I just follow the path, open mm -hmm. the door, and then at the very end there's gonna be the thing. Yeah. And then you just go home and... Yep, uh, and then start the minip. Mm -hmm. This minip is uh, particularly... Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this oh. minip is good. Yeah, this minip is good. Yeah, that wow. minip is amazing. <laughs> All part of the plan. <laughs> well done. And yeah, we have uh, resistance to everything except, except poison, poison, which yeah, uh, but, doesn't yeah. matter. Poison only cuts your physical damage, not your magic damage, so Megidola still does full, full damage. Yep. Nice. Easy. So yeah, experience here doesn't really matter because we're already hitting the XP cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you notice, we got 99,999 XP. We would be getting 120k. Yeah, if it because was it's 30,000 per hand. Yep. It's still better than three hands because three hands is 90,000, and this is 100,000. <laughs> ah, I was hoping for another hand. I have never seen like two hands on the same floor after you already fight, fought one. Molsky said he saw it a couple times. Wow. They're not. That rare in Bad House, but the Prisoner of Bad House is the only place I've seen double in one floor. Alright, so the manip for this one is... Um, yeah, uh, hard. Let's, let's go hard. Let's hope it works. It has like a 9... 9 and 10 success rate, I would say, with just mashing. 9 and 10 is pretty good, you know? Yeah. That's way higher chance than for a oh, certain skill to hit. You don't want the hand okay. to run... Oh. Yeah, no, I, I started wrong. I noticed that. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, you don't want the hand to run too much to the middle there, because then you're gonna get a follow-up. Yeah. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. I thought you meant about the corner thing. No, no, no. Ideal I yeah, ideally you want to get him in the corner so he just falls mm -hmm. down. But, uh... you need to sit him out. Huh. 
Yeah, and if you get Persona level up, you should be taking that. Yep, uh, oh. nope. Yeah. Taking the money. Wait, was there a reshuffle? Maybe I should have just gambled with the reshuffle. All right, level up. Mm -hmm. I usually don't bother with that. Alright, the next one. I think I need one more fight for 61 on Scotty. You were in 58. I think you might be yep. like 60 after one more fight, so we'll see. If you get the level up, then it's definitely that, but I think you might be one level short. Oh, that might be enough. Well, yeah, I'm maybe. Not 100% sure. And this a shuffle comes in. Shuffle doesn't matter because we're already hitting EXP cap, right? Like the only the only way shuffle matters is if we get a persona level mm. up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a card that gives us straight level up, just one level. Yeah, this one should okay. end in the corner. Oh wait, it did. Yeah, that's not an advantage. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Don't let it get away. I just don't know when I get my. Turn. Yeah, I think it's two of them. Yeah, two. Is it four of them afterwards? Uh, no, I don't think so. We're just gonna do. We're just gonna do one and then two. Yeah. Check. Safety first. I did not actually think he would turn around. I was hundred percent sure he would get stuck in the corner. Okay, it was four. <laughs> it was still better to be safe. Yeah. Yeah. What do we get? What do we get? Persona level up? No. Uh, the XP up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, it was enough. enough. It is nice. Enough. Yeah. Okay, so we won the Repel Fire here. And we Spell also Master. Won Spell Master. Mm -hmm. Spell Master. And don't forget to register everything. Yeah. That's really important. Yep. Because starting here, we're going to be uh, making use of a lot of these things. On multiple different personas. Yeah, on on that basically everything. So if you don't register, it's really bad. Yep. So also we're refusing the same things many many times. Mm -hmm. Almost went back home. Shiki OG, Agi Dime, Auto Super Fire and Fire Boost, Omi. And then we're buying Osiskari Okninushi. So I know the notes say it's a grind to level 75, but didn't you already reach that? Uh, yeah. It's because of the, the, the thing. extra hand? Yeah. Yeah, we're still gonna yeah, need to grind uh, though. We're still gonna need to grind yeah. uh, for Suiki to, to get, um, for Suiki yeah, to get okay. some skills. Yeah, we're buying Osiskari Okninushi. Uh, also... Yeah, because I noticed that it was like level 65 and then 61 on Scotty, but we're way past 65. <laughs> yep. Sai Sobro, uh, Agidine, <laughs> Growth 2, Fire and Fire Boost, and Repel Fire. You're usually always way past 65 by that point, even normally, but um, it's still it's still in the notes. Like it's still it's still a technical requirement. So yeah, yeah. So it's like at least that. Mm -hmm. I right. imagine. And then we yeah. make Suiki with Growth to No Panic, uh, Growth to No Panic, Repel Fire, Repel Fizz, and Rakunda. Yeah. Even by this point, we still have. Rakunda, because it's the best skill in the game. And yep. basically every SMT game. Yeah, we're getting this DR on. Mm -hmm. Very important. And then we're buying Shikyoji, Scotty, Gorgon, and something else. Shikyoji, Scotty, Scotty, Gorgon, Gorgon, Isuchiwa, Ito. Ito koto to to to. Grove <laughs> <laughs> 2 and um. I never use the search function, so I never even realize you can fuse stuff like White Rider with this and all that. Yep. I'm like, wow, why we, you know, we, huh? we can fuse it with this? Huh? 
Okay, so the goal here is to get Arms Master, which is, uh, well, Arms Master and Enduring Soul are our goals. Yeah, now. we get both Arms Master and Spell Master in the, in the run, which is pretty cool. Uh, we start on this guy. Yeah. You will learn Arms Master before you learn... Uh, Enduring Soul, yeah. yeah. Enduring Soul means, I think, like, three levels or... Sorry? Uh, yeah, should be yeah. Mm -hmm. should be here. I'm just gonna do the same manip as before. Sorry, I didn't notice. Flow two hundred eighty four donated twenty dollars. Did you know that there's a bunch of stream two incentives? Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> right. One of them, for example, is to uh, be able to listen to the characters in this game in Japanese. You're still missing five hundred and seventy five dollars for that. We can make that happen. This dungeon, we can make that happen. This dungeon is still quite long left. Yep. There's still like four hours left for the run, so plenty of time. You're gonna be starting like uh, at the top after this. Alright. You're not gonna be starting on a mine charge after this anymore. Because of Oh Scott. yeah, I know, no, no, I know. Scott. That one I remember. <laughs> All the we'll money. Take more money, I guess. Oh, yeah, regenerate too. We don't really care about. I mean, I could actually. You could. It's it's, could it's, it's extra. It, yeah. It's extra animation with the health bar. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it maybe slightly safer on some of the. Yeah, like um, very that. slightly safer. Yeah. Actually, it lets you just be more greedy, I guess. I think that's the. That's yeah, you you, you can be greedy <laughs> even without it. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, no one's stopping you. You have less less windows where you can be greedy because you regen less. True. Actually, I think, I think eight hands are enough. Oh, where am I going? It should still be fine though because RNG only advances when you stop moving. Mm hmm. As long as you hold the stick in at any direction, it's uh, not gonna break the manip. Okay, this one's gonna get stuck though. You can also even stand still as long as it's... Uh, as you can see, Nev uh, did stop there. You, you can stop as long as it's in the actual dungeon, it's not in the hub. Yep. I think Suiki is uh, Suiki is gonna get a drink soul on this one already. She should, yeah. Oh wow, oh. <laughs> that's very rare. That's very rare. Maybe he won't. Uh, yeah, bring, no. uh, bring, uh, bring Yukiko now. Yeah. Uh, I can get rid of Grove too. No, you can't. I can. Oh, you can? Okay. Yeah, on this one you can. Pretty sure you can. Also a nice level. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're bringing Yukiko for one fight, because Yukiko actually needs Fire Break. Oh. Uh, technically, she doesn't need it, but, uh, but it's you gonna, want it. Yeah, you it's want better. it. It's gonna make the fight, uh, like, three turns faster. Oh yeah, and as we learned, I could even add her to the party afterwards, get a double and it's still enough. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's still it's still slightly less oh, optimal. Wrong mouse. So now, as you, can, uh, as you will see, the hand will be big again. It will be massive. It will be massive, yeah. Yeah, that's how big it is now. Wow. Because of the... Oh, this is gonna... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. that's what I was gonna say, it's gonna disappear. It's gonna disappear. That was unfortunate. When they, when they, when they uh, like, crash into a wall, there's, like, they're only there for a little bit. Yeah. I can't believe I missed that one. <laughs> 
Yeah, the hand was massive. How did you miss it? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Can I catch these hands? Luckily, this minip isn't too long, so... Yeah. Because all you do mm -hmm. is mash. Oh, only a double. Oh. Yeah, that's the, the well, two you fine. were looking for. <laughs> you, you said it's fine. Yeah. It was fine earlier when yeah, we tried it. Yeah, it was fine earlier, but that was earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, um... We'll see. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. We'll just get a an experience card for safety. Uh, yeah, that that's a strat. <laughs> oh, no, we didn't get it. No. Yeah, there's so enduring soul. soul she should be level thirty. Nice, yeah, nice, yeah, good, nice. good. Okay, Oof. it worked more than once. Yeah, true. We should also be level 75. I'm not even gonna check. Oh well, I guess I get to see. 77. Right. 77. 77. All right, so we got some more fusions here. Yeah, this I will be the biggest fusion first. segment. This will be the fu the biggest fusion segment in the run. Mm. It's also the last one. All right, we're uh, buying Shiki Oji. Nice Sojo. We're registering everything, yeah. Chimon, Agidine, Fire Amp, Fire Boost, Repel Fire, and Mind Charge. Yeah, so Hachiman will be our magic user from now on. It used to be Kaguya, which uh, I actually like a lot more than the bald guy, but <laughs> that's what it is. Uh, yeah, Kaguya is actually like left. bad for the final Masakado, boss. Masakado, uh, this one gets Iarahan, Rakunda, Nolmute, Arms Master, and Drink Yeah, what I was saying is that Kaguya is actually kind of bad for the final boss because she repels fire and it just messes up your damage counting so much. Okay. Alright, so we're buying Shikyoji, Skari, Okunushi. And now we get the boy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Long time okay, fans probably know this per probably know this demon. <laughs> soul Arms Master, Auto Sukukaja, Repel Physic. Cool, let me double yeah. check. Yeah, yep. and we're learning the Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome aboard. Unfortunately, he doesn't learn uh, Hasutobi until like 8 levels after his base level. And we didn't do a tower social link. Tower social link is terrible. So we're gonna still have to do a lot of grinding. <laughs> but right now, like before you finish up the grinding, you do the... Like you do one manip and then you do the mini boss. Yep. We're also not buying back the dawn. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There. Yeah, you buy back Gdon if you didn't do uh, Yukiko. This one. Okay, we're gonna do one manip, and then we're gonna head down slowly. Uh, back up, back... Yeah, whatever. not down, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're going back to where we came from. Mm -hmm. Backtracking. I did not equip Hitokotunushi though. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, you have auto Suku. You're just gonna have to swap mid battle. It's fine. It just yeah, I'll slow. swap I'll swap to Hito to get the mind charge, yeah. Mind charge and then I'll go mm -hmm. back to Yoshi. Yeah. Cause I don't think I can change it now, that's gonna mess it up. That's if 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 you're even on uh, on Yoshitsune, but I think you are. If you're not on Yoshitsune, you might not even have Auto Suku, and that's kind of bad. 
we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're on Yoshitsune. Yeah, you're on Yoshitsune, so it's fine. So at least you have auto Suku, which matters. Oh no, we get this shit now. Yeah, because it's like the their AI is all different now. Alright, so the reason why we got Megidola is because... Yeah, we, <laughs> we need to level this guy up. And Megidola is gonna get replaced with a much better skill. Ooh, yep. Uh, you also learned this. I will keep Grove 2 on Hachiman, just in case, since he has less magic than Kaguya, I guess. I know we had the, I know we had the conversation yeah, about yeah, the yeah, last Yeah, time. we already had the conversation. But yeah. Okay, I need to uh, equip Hito Kotonushi. Uh, this looks very bad, yeah, actually. No, I yeah, think that's no, a, that's we're a dead not end. going there. <laughs> <laughs> that's very much a dead end. Maybe there's a hand there. Maybe there's two hands there. Uh, well... I don't think about two hands, but if, even if there's one hand, that's gonna mean it has a follow-up, so it's still bad. It's fine. I don't think anything in here can really kill you. Yeah, but dealing with a follow-up is still kind of slow. Yeah. Uh, it's probably faster than extra manip, though. Maybe. If we're being but it, uh, really, if we're being realistic... Right, um, if we're being very realistic, I'm gonna go to the bathroom during this fight. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I should have actually just kept it on Yoshitsune here. Mm -hmm. Alright, um... So yeah. Yeah, so this this is... Uh, I might need a minute longer than the fight takes, but oh well. Yeah, this uh, this boss is called uh, um, Bathroom Robot. <laughs> because yep. he gives you a bathroom break. <laughs> yeah, so this... So, <laughs> so this fight is very very hard. He's gonna power charge to ready for a physical attack. Luckily we have reflect physical, so we reflect it. He's gonna power charge again, and then do another physical attack. Luckily we still have that reflect physical. <laughs> <laughs> and so basically this is the fight. This is the fight. Yeah. This gives you, this gives you enough time for a really quick bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, so what can we do now? So. <laughs> <laughs> engaging gameplay happening yeah. right now. Yeah. Very engaging. It is actually also pretty much the fastest strat because uh, trying to Agidai this thing down is slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if so. You already have Hustle Toby going here, then you're doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I when, mean, when he's. Sorry, I was about to say, it's also very nice that it happens like mid-run, so you don't like, so it's like in the middle of the run, like by then. Yeah, and now, and now, yeah, yeah now we're, now we're losing time, but it's yeah. fine. Neff didn't have the optimal bladder strats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty hard category to master, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He didn't find the optimal route to the bathroom. Imagine, first door, no. Hey! You won the fight, you didn't even do anything. <laughs> oh yeah, we learned Heat, Heat Riser, Riser as well. That's another, that's um, a really good buff. It's um, It buffs every single stat. Right, how much time did I actually... Uh, a bit more than that, probably. Yeah. It's fine. fine. Yeah. Are oh, you go back to sixth floor? No, no, yeah. Uh, this guy. Oh, look! It's 
Chi and Yukiko. You can actually talk to them and they will give you like items and stuff. Yeah, but unfortunately that's not particularly relevant for us. Yeah. It was actually relevant in um, in one of my runs. I accidentally bought I accidentally used one more go home than I needed to. Oh, really? And they, they gave me one go home. They gave me a go home. Oh. <laughs> we're checking the we're checking the charity hand. Nope. Nope. You should have checked the other two as well. Uh, you I, think I, I think I saw okay. that one, and that wasn't okay. one, and I forgot about the third one, but whatever. Uh, let's restore my SP here. I don't have to do it later. Uh, you swapped to Hita Kotonushi. I did. Okay. I think. Yeah, I f I'm okay, pretty okay. sure I did. I think you did. Because that was the first thing I did when I entered the next floor. Okay. While I was standing at the, the door. Oh, it literally says Hitokotototo in your yeah. notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You only noticed just that? <laughs> yeah. I found it just the thing you said. Oh. I don't know he, how much, uh, how many to, to, ko, ko, whatever it is. So. And I know exactly what. Uh, well, I also don't know. What it means. Just double check. Uh -huh. Four of them. You need to thin them out. Okay, what are we getting? Level up? Yeah, this is where you really want all those personal level ups. Yep. Because it cuts down the section a lot. Uh -huh. Yeah, we don't let on repel electricity because Yoshitsune already repels electricity. The only reason why you would uh, learn it is um, to pass it on to someone else. Level up time. And we're not exactly fusing anymore yeah. after this. Yeah, so Hachiman learned um, a leg break. Normally, like for the route, you would replace Grove 2 because... Um, you're gonna be stuck watching the more level ups on him now, which is a bit slower. But um, yeah, he's gonna be a little bit buff now. So just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, technically safer. In reality, I don't think it matters, but it's fine. Yeah, normally, I, like if I did a normal run, I wouldn't uh, mm -hmm. keep it. I mean, I could still get rid of it uh, with his last skill. True. Just get those like extra two or three levels of magic. If he gets any, that is. Mm -hmm. So out of curiosity to Anka Pasca and Molsky, like how how long was this run initially? Like how much time have oh, you guys shaved oh. off all the time? Yeah, Molsky will answer that. Four of them. You need when I did my first run in early 2015, it was 11 hours and 36 minutes. So. That's still faster been... than uh, that's still faster than the PS2 game, by the way. Yep. Yeah, back then the PS2 record was uh, 15.09 by Neva, so... 69 magic hours faster. Nice. <laughs> Noise. <laughs> yeah, then the route got improved uh, until like 10, 12, and then we started doing some bigger reroutes, discovering uh, RNG manips and it's just gone down from there. <laughs> initially, the in R both ways. Yeah, initially the <laughs> RNG manips were like well, we had like a bunch of placebos as well that didn't affect them. Like we were changing the Vita calendar in the settings. Even <laughs> I think I think Ghoul was like, yeah, you need to change the calendar or something, and it that didn't matter at all. <laughs> Another idea we had was that the uh, Teddy's quiz in the TV overlay could have had something to yeah. do with it because <laughs> I generally kept getting better luck than Google and I had done the quizzes. So. 
Uh, the fun thing is that uh, the TV overlay actually does affect the RNG. Yep. If your between console or your PC time is between a midnight and 1 a.m., you get completely different <laughs> RNG. You need to make sure to not run this game uh, between midnight and 1 a.m. because the manips don't work. <laughs> because uh, because it's like uh, in the TV overlay, there's midnight channel section, and that midnight channel section changes RNG. Yeah, you either have to be done with the manips during that time, mm -hmm. Or just, you know, not run during that time at all. Yeah, on console you can just change the time. On PC, that's. A I mean, you can trickier. as well. You can, you can as well. Yeah. It's just so annoying. Yeah. Because I have to get this stuff uh, like semi breaks. Okay, there should be one more manip here. And then we're almost done with this. What are we at? Not five hours? Uh, I think that's all right. Yeah. yeah. That's like uh, 40 minutes faster than what you would be on Vita. <laughs> I think Moltsky probably has a better estimate of uh, where this pace is heading, but we'll see at the end, I guess. When I throw at Izanami, I guess. <laughs> 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 Maybe looking at around 20 minutes behind after this dungeon. So yeah, still way underestimated. Yes, yeah, so I have 25 minutes to waste. So what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, interpret it like that. <laughs> uh, sounds like uh, uh, unlocking Okina and stuff. Uh, no. No? <laughs> Alright, this should be House of Toby now. And now we're getting a level up card, watch. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Insult to injury, man. Yeah, so now we no longer need Megidola. That's the only reason why we need Megidola. <laughs> and now we go fight the boss. Scam. Now we go fight the boss. Oh uh, shit, where was it again? Left, right? Yeah, no, straight. Just go straight. Oh yeah, right. And we go straight again. Yeah, straight. I did pick up the card, didn't I? Yeah. <sighs> if I got that card one... If I... I don't know. If I got that card earlier, I would have probably already been... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that troll. Yeah, because you can't, r you can't like, run in front of it, because yeah. he will run yeah. into you. You can if you're already far ahead, I guess, but... Yeah. I think as soon as you open the door, he might catch up to you. And then you're kind of screwed. Mm, this should be the exit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking to Risi, very important. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta talk to the woman. Seems about right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Shadow now. I'll probably heal first. No. Yeah. Probably safer to heal, even though it's not a lot of HP missing. But. Well, it's just gonna be set to one anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> I guess it only really matters if. For some weird reason, I'm gonna end up uh, getting hit by no mute. Ah, uh, by mute right. <laughs> Without no mute on. Yeah, so getting silence is terrible. So we're gonna switch to Scotty, which uh, has no, no mute. Yeah, uh, see, that's go. exactly why you switch. Yes, that's exactly why you switch. 
All right, now we're gonna hustle Toby and uh, miss. and miss. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, nice. Okay, good. okay this should be the element cards zero. are element zero. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to trigger a weird uh, affinity of this element zero. Normally she spams uh, Galgal and Mais. Um But we're going to be immune to innervation. So what she's going to do is... Senpai, are you okay? She will Senpai, you now help. keep using you elements help. instead. And we're gonna go to Suiki. Yeah, the reason why she uses um, Galgalimize is like to learn your weaknesses. Um, and because um, I think Hitokotonushi is weak to fire or something, um, she like learned that we're weak to fire and now she will spam Maragidine. Yes. During element zero. She's not gonna During spam. element zero, yeah. yeah. She's not gonna spam it mm -hmm. outside of that. Yeah. After that, she can use like Brave Blade and some other things. Brave Blade is really good because you just reflect it for damage. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, okay. she can use this as well. She's, this is probably the worst thing that she can do. I'm just gonna hit it. Yeah, Yoshitsune has no weakness, so she kind of does it. random things. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Okay, so she should be using another Element Zero here. Yeah. We are going to use another Heat Riser because now uh, she can't cleanse this. Uh -huh. She's locked into Moragi Dine. Yeah, so this AI is very, very uh, and like, then we predictable. Have Toby and it should and be that's GG. Yeah. To... Yeah. No. No? Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, missing the. I'm bit. playing this safe. Uh -huh. I'll heal. I'll heal it. Oh? I'll play it safe anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. <laughs> I'm healing and then I'll do an mm -hmm. unpower charge Hasso Toby. Because that should still kill. Yeah, but then you, lo you lose the uh, mm. like uh, accuracy thing, but probably will still hit. That's a lot of pop-ups. Yeah. <laughs> That's why very, very older routes uh, like try to only use it... Uh, like try to trigger nice. element zero only with personas that... Uh, don't have a lot of uh, like uh, resistances so that you will get less text boxes, but... I think it's every element. It gives you the text box for, ev for every element. No, only for the ones that you had it had resistance, but you lost it. But there's no way he took no, 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 is no? resistant to everything. Oh. It reverts the resistances of fire, ice, wind, and elec, okay. no matter what. Okay. Alright, uh, now to done. Five hours, okay. Looks winnable. Yeah, and now since we saved now, though, even though it's not a deadline yet, we can do Mori Social Link again because. Yes. Which we're gonna do on the next day after we reject Chia, and before <laughs> that, we're probably gonna listen in on the donation. Yeah. Knock Frost donated ten dollars. Why is Pancake Boy not in this game? <laughs> also, Adaki did nothing wrong. <laughs> he did indeed not do anything wrong. Yeah, Adaki? Yeah, he, he, he's <laughs> chill. <laughs> I hate the fact that you have to actually leave the room. Yeah, you just don't have enough of the day days in, in the game. Is that actually faster though than just starting it early or late or whatever? And uh, getting the extra scene with uh, Naoto or whatever the hell it is? Uh, well, earlier, um, you, if you start earlier, that will be, still be summer holidays. So we will also have to leave the room. And you can't go before? I don't remember really. And you can't go before that? Well, before summer holidays, before uh, Mitsuo Dungeons, we would get an extra cutscene in Velvet Room in Void Quest. Is that not well, fast? The thing is, if you, if you start doing this link after Void Quest, it's already... You're gonna be leaving the room anyway. You'd have to yeah. start doing it after Mariki, which is fairly close to the summer vacation as well. <laughs> I guess, I guess. So, if anything, you'd have to start doing it after Bad House. Yeah, after Bad House. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. 
I mean, it works because Narcissus has already gotten uh, the skill manip. Yeah. All oh, right, it will mess it up if he got levels, right? Yeah, the bonus level up yeah, text yeah. and the effect behind it uh, calls RNG, so it's difficult manip to get that way. Oh, speaking of a minute, I somehow accidentally uh, got another Brave Blade one earlier from Tetra Karn. Don't ask me how, though. But I guess it's probably not very useful anyways. Easy Brave Blade. I think you reached rank 5 knowledge. Probably. I mean, not on purpose at this point. Yeah. It's just funny because, like, from to get from rank 4 to rank 5 is quite a lot of points. Yeah. So yeah, as we are approaching further towards the end of the game, there's going to be even less stuff to do. More sleep to take. <laughs> yep. Less stuff to do, more sleep to have. You can actually save time uh, to RNG when sleeping here. Um, you can, at some point, there's a, a Marie... Uh, social link uh, just hangout but that doesn't rank up if you you can get a dream about marie uh before you do that and then that uh hangout turns into a rank up and you overall have to do one less yep. uh, visit to her yeah that's the going from rank two to three there yeah. are a couple others but they're actually forced like it doesn't matter it even says uh, your okay. link will level up but it doesn't so mm -hmm. scam getting scammed there <laughs> So, one other thing though, Molsky, um, how am I going to submit this to the boards afterwards without the in-game time? You take your stopwatch. Uh, <laughs> uh, ex excuse me, good sir, I'm not a mod, that's uh, your job. <laughs> uh, I mean, if we want to <laughs> do something, you can just uh, submit your RTA as uh, your... Lotus yeah, as your love this time. <laughs> nah, I was just, uh, I was just joking. I was just curious what you were gonna say about it. Oh, Moski has been sitting with a stopwatch this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's how he knows how far behind Dude, I am. It isn't running. All right, so uh, this is gonna be the day where Teddy gets a very important thing. One could say the importantestest thing. Yeah. Which is Marakunda. Nice. Yeah, this is also n wasn't in PS2 game. Oh. He gets P uh, Marakunda only in gold, and it's really good. It's we finally had ac have access to Rakunda on a party member, not on the main character. Yep. I don't think that was in any game before that or after that. Mm -hmm. The closest is debilitate on Pancake Boy. I guess. Can you get it on P5R? Wait, with, I was uh... supposed to pick third here. What? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I I noticed, but yeah, that's Molsky copy pasting notes. <laughs> <laughs> but does it not matter if you want the mystical scarabs? Why do you want the scarabs? You have uh, enough money to use the fox. But the scarab is fast? Well, no, it's not faster. Because yeah, no. you have to pick it up. You only need top 10 for it anyway, right? Right. The only max. You also have rank 5 already. The matters is for the Nanako items. Oh, did and, we get uh, I guess, oh yeah, right. We did get rank 5. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> um, uh, Kind of zoning out on the knowledge uh, level thingy. Because I never really pay attention to it. I'm just assuming uh, I have enough. Yeah, this is another thing that's added in Golden. This yep. this scene right here. How long is the concert? Uh, three days or something? No, no, I game. mean the, in like real time. Oh, the, the, the cutscene. The cutscene. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. 
Yeah, maybe like a minute, minute yeah, and probably. a half of it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so uh, interesting thing if you play the Persona 4 dancing game. Uh, when you beat the song, they summon a persona and they play an instrument. It's actually the same instrument that these they use here. So, for example, like uh, Izanagi would be using bass guitar, Jiraiya would be using normal guitar because, like, they're playing these instruments here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> encore, encore. They they mean TMS encore. Very good game. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me excuse me but yeah i was debating watching this but at the same time um the more time i waste now the less time i'll uh, have buffer later for when i actually mess up <laughs> oh some affection with someone yeah and usually when you're doing these uh attempts normally um you usually don't want to mess around. Usually you're like, um, I just want to finish this as fast as possible so I can finally go eat and, <laughs> and stuff. So, Yeah, that's what's going to happen after this run. It's going to be like 10 p.m. for this run. It's going to be like 9 something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to eat after yeah, hopefully that. Not then, uh, hopefully not 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, probably going to eat something at the bar and have some drinks. That's going to be the plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, we sleep. Nope, we get interrupted and then we sleep. Also, a lot of people might think that like eight and a half hours is insane to do a run. Um, Persona 5 is like, like 15 plus. It's day and night difference. I've done both, and I can tell you, eight hours is nothing compared to fifteen. There's so much more preparation to do. And is yep. a is a run of P3 longer than P4? Uh yeah. So P3 P3 fast is uh, like uh, twenty hours for yeah. the for the category that doesn't skip the final boss. <laughs> you can skip the final boss, and that run is like fourteen hours. Yeah, that's still something. Yeah, portable is pretty f fast though. It's yep. like eight or seven. Molsky knows, right? You have world record. <laughs> and normal mode is like eight and a half hours yeah. and maniac is at the 10 currently hmm. all right we're hanging out with uh it'd probably Marie, be even yeah. faster uh when the ps4 xbox and the pc version comes out true yeah i expect something like an hour drop there <laughs> just like yeah. with golden then again p3p kind of has way better loads than p4g on vita already speaking of loads i'm actually kind of curious to see what the uh, royal is going to be like on pc in that regard because like, especially if it does get uh, 60 fps and everything are we going to be doing pc i'm going to probably be getting probably. ps5 version i mean now i have a ps5 so oh okay yeah <laughs> right those do, do exist okay <laughs> Apparently. Oh. Apparently they do exist. What I want exams uh, here? What I personally want though is SMT5 ported to anything that's not Switch because it runs kinda bad on Switch. It runs uh, pretty yeah. bad. I want that too so I can actually play the game. <laughs> Cause uh yeah. Not gonna buy a Switch. Yeah, study here. Yep, yep, yep. No, we're buying the first one first. Yeah, buy, yeah, buy, buy, buy. yeah, yeah this is uh, very important to buy one and then study. What I meant is that, oh. like, not uh, translate. I mean, theoretically, I could have gotten the physical mirrors and gotten the backup uh, armor later on, but... I actually thought you were supposed to buy the mirrors there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Yeah, you very rarely buy the first item. You almost always buy the second one. 
Just, I'm, I'm glad you made these notes, Molsky. <laughs> <laughs> Can't trust anyone, not even myself. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these were made like four years ago <laughs> and just copy pasted. Some of these parts. Yeah. And not fixed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because it's all implied. <laughs> yep. Right, it's the warning letter. Yeah, apparently someone knows that we're saving people. Hmm. Supposedly the, the actual killer. Next one. Today's Mar gonna Marina, be on yeah. six. Oh yeah. So another interesting thing to note: if you notice the sun icon um, on the uh, on the UI, it's actually different from the Vita version. They <laughs> change it for some reason. Oh, I don't know. Aeon, 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 Aeon. Aeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom. Mm -hmm. And now when he doesn't have to leave the room, he almost misses it. <laughs> <laughs> I just autopilot to the wrong thing. I yeah. remembered instantly. Don't worry about it. Mori's social links are just overall, like, longer, long, longer than um, basically every other social link. I mean, they feel so forced. I don't know. Well, they are forced. We have to yeah. do them. We are no, forced no, no, to do them. I, no, no. What I mean is like, <laughs> Marie as a character is just so annoying because like everything's just so forced into the game. Like everything about her. Because like the game was working perfectly fine without her. So, I don't know. I don't like her. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I like a bunch of other changes though. Like the shuffle time. <laughs> oh yeah. Like there's a bunch of changes in Golden that I actually really mm -hmm. like. Like going out at night and all the... Most of the additions. Yeah. But Marie is yeah, not Mar one of them. Yeah. It's not a reason why you would want to play Golden over Vanilla anyway. That's There is plenty of other reasons why you would yep. want. Yep. Yep. Like, I think Adachi's social link is actually a nice addition, but I feel this one not so much. <laughs> oh, yeah, Adachi. Yeah, so f interesting fact, Adachi's social link is actually not required. Like before I start, well, it, it yeah. is for something, but uh... yeah, it's not required to get the best ending. Which, like before I before I like joined the speedrun community, I always thought it's required, just like from casual playing. Kef Dark Kafka's first run did Adachi social link because he also thought it was required. <laughs> okay, we're rejecting Chia here. Almost pressed circle too early. Alright, going to the history teacher here. And you have to get the scarabs. Well, this one's not in brackets, so I uh, should be doing it. I think this might be Soma. No, but I think this is scarabs. Yeah. Oh shit. I was spamming uh, cancel and I just did a 180 turn. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, scary. Home sleep. Why is history teacher not in brackets, but Dojima is? I would say they should be reversed. I mean, I guess the Dojima <laughs> one is... Uh, because if you got a lot of money from translating or from hands, then you don't really need the Dojima one. Right? Same for the Scarabs. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> If you got a lot, then you probably don't really need the Dojima yeah. one.
He still gives a pretty good amount of money. Yeah, I think this one's 40k? 50k? Mm, yeah, I think it's 40. 50. 50. Not bad, not bad. That's uh, one gold hand? Uh, one set of gold hands in lab? Mm. I think they get 50k. I don't pay attention to the money. You just know you don't have enough. 12k yeah. each. 12k each, so 48. Yeah. I'm already today. Marie and then... Almost press up again. <laughs> Autopiloting strong. <laughs> yep. Like I said, I'm, I don't know anything about this game. I don't usually play this. Yeah, she's like depressed and whatever. She, all she has is a uh, hair comb. Um, yeah. And, no, but, but like what, what I meant was like in regards to what the hell I have to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'd assume I do, but... Yeah, like, really. like if you would miss Marie social link, it's not run killing, but it is a big time loss because you would... You would have to, like, do the dungeon one day later. Yeah. But no, uh, like, all jokes aside is... Uh, I do remember a lot of the stuff from Vanilla. I haven't actually played Golden that much. Like, mm -hmm. not compared to, like, P5 or something, which... Uh -huh. Still hey. surprised, but went pretty well last year. <laughs> Yeah, have you even played it before the PC version? Do you even have Vita? Yeah, I okay. played it on Vita. Yeah, I just... Did not put a whole lot of time into this game compared to some of the other Persona yeah. games. But I mean, to be fair, like, aside from the Manips, like, even the Manips, uh, this game is actually fairly easy, I think, to pick up. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely one of the easiest ones. Um, because like there, there's two hard parts. I feel or three, the manips, and mm -hmm. then uh, Mitsu and Izanami. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, because everything else is very straightforward. Mm -hmm. But Mitsu, you can really easily screw up if you just overshoot damage or something. Yeah, and Izanami is just a cluster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a mess. Yeah, I mean you saw that like. Kanji can go wrong. Yeah. Although the second one wasn't that big of an issue. The mm -hmm. first one was an issue because I actually messed it up. Yeah. If you want more challenge out of this game, there's an MG category, but uh, it's... Is it, it really has that it, much it has more it, challenge, though? It it's has just it more so, depression. Yeah, it just has its so many problems. Because, like, you can't... Like, there's... I just feel like if I was running NMG, <coughs> I would constantly be just so annoyed because, like, I know that I can just get exactly what I need right here and now if I just restart the game. But you, you're not allowed to. I don't know. I mean, that's the case with every game that has NMG category. That's the thing. That's <laughs> uh, not necessarily all of them, I would say. It depends on the game. Mm-hmm. I feel like some games that like have NMG don't have like RNG manips in particular, for example. It's just like you're, for example, you're not skipping like a massive part of the game or something. Mm -hmm. That's also very hard. Which is, is actually a category just under miscellaneous now. It used to be a main category, but... But any percent replaced it, because yeah. even, any, even any percent is better than very hard. Yeah, yeah. There, the, the, there's like only one run, and it's uh, Ghoul's like six-year-old PB or something. Alright, so the real question is... Um, what costumes are we going to put on them later? Mm-hmm. 
Obviously, you're getting the Halloween costumes tomorrow. <laughs> All right. And uh, who are you going to equip what on? T Teddy is very nice. Uh, oh, actually, if you equip the main character with the Halloween costume, he has a different uh, winning animation, which is pretty cool. All right, we're, we're getting them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Only takes like 30 seconds, I guess. Actually, I'm not sure if you're screwed on Tanaka if you do that. No, no you're, you're not. not. You can do it the day after. I, 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 I did that a uh, few times. It's fine. You you just buy it in uh, the... Okay, okay. Yeah. Instead of uh, thirty at ten thirty one, you buy it at eleven oh one. Yeah, thirty one's Monday and the first one's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. it works. <laughs> you just can't miss it on that day then. Otherwise, you really are screwed. This stupid school festival takes forever. But it's not stupid because uh, Teddy learned Samara Karm, except you don't even get it. Yeah, because why would we need it? It's a waste of M MP, SP, whatever. <laughs> also, that was some fan service that we just skipped. Yeah. For some reason, these sound effects are not muted when fast forwarding, which is w w always weird to me. That's like the only sound effects that are not muted in the Retreat <laughs> Actually screw the Halloween outfit. <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Like I would put the I would put the Halloween outfit on Yukiko, but then again, the only time you use Yukiko is when outfits aren't enabled. Mm -hmm. How dare you, this Teddy's pumpkin head. <laughs> uh, but Teddy, Teddy is already getting Alice, so... Fine, get the P3P outfits. P3 outfits. Use the, use the bath towel on main character. Could do. I agree. Oh, we can do that. Oh, we can uh, ask the audience what they would like and uh, collectively come to a conclusion. Yeah, donate with your message on who to put the <laughs> outfit on. I actually meant the, the audience right here, but that oh. also works. <laughs> 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 Both work. Both work. <laughs> No, Nanako's getting sick. Unfortunate. Before I forget that. Sure. But did you equip Yoshitsune as well? You're probably already on him, right? I am um, not on him. Yeah, then should have done both in the same menu. You can't really do both at the same menu because you have to press triangle to get out of it anyways. But yeah, I know what you mean. Because like if you uh -huh. if you press yeah, cancel yeah, 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 out yeah, of yeah. the other one, it takes like uh -huh. um, like three clicks or something. Uh, yep. Lots of uh, going home and sleeping, but fortunately, uh, soon we're gonna skip a lot of days by just doing the dungeon early. Okay, translating and sleeping. Yeah, they just don't leave you alone here, in this part. You hate to see it. 
At least there's no investigation for this upcoming dungeon. You just go we straight We are into the it. investigation. Yeah, but I mean like going yeah, around town. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. And since we're uh, supposedly the culprit. Yeah, true. On the day after this, uh, all these incidents should happen, and then on 11.6, we're going to head into the TV. I thought the chair was on something. This is a nice little break where you just have to fast forward and skip some text without having to go anywhere. Yeah, what just happened there story-wise was uh, Yojima brought the uh, MC another warning letter and we opened it right in front of him and Yojima's like, okay, what is this? You are involved in the case. We are going to the station. Mm -hmm. Also, You're there being will... detained. Also, there will be proof that... Uh... Uh, uh, Sega owns Atlas because there's gonna be a Sonic the Hedgehog cutscene really soon. You know what I mean? Yep. Sonic indeed. I I think it's this one after this. Uh, I think there's one more after. Yeah, there's yeah, Sonic the one. Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> They're going hella fast. <laughs> But yeah, I guess we have uh, time for the nation while we're just waiting for all this stuff to unwind. Hoxie114 donated $5. The masses want Teddy's pumpkin head. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a little late now. Yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> we didn't get the outfit so late. <laughs> that's uh, unfortunately very late. Like, uh, six days? Uh, yeah. You can reload uh, a save that you made in uh, the Naoto lab. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, wow. Who's going to add time to my estimate? <laughs> Donate to modify the timer. <laughs> <laughs> Donate to add time to the estimate. And screw over the guy after me. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You know what the good part is about uh, Persona runs or marathons? Mm -hmm. If you're ever uh, you're ever uh, short on time and you're uh, about to approach uh, overestimate, you can always just end after the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> True. Basically, giving yourself uh, an extra like ten minutes of of estimate. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, we equipped the armor in Yoshitsuna. We're just going to make our way straight to uh, the seventh floor, where we will delete the world balance, and then we're going to go straight to the boss. No adding party members, nothing. We're just going in. Yeah, world balance is a pretty rough mini boss in P3, and they made him a joke here. <laughs> also... Uh, the best music. Oh, I got stuck at the wow. pillar. There's five of them. You. Hold on. Okay, but that was bullshit. You no longer need to use vanish balls, by the way. Just, yeah, I know. Yeah. I can just escape. That was still bullshit. Like, how did I get yeah. stuck at that? The arcway pillar or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure you're just clipped out of bounds, man. You're you're the master of out of bounds in <laughs> Persona. 
I don't know about that one. <laughs> I can only come up with the most convoluted and stupidest ideas possible. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing as simple as just going out of bounds. Also, just the exit, you will see one small platform with a rainbow. That's the tell for the stairs. Two platforms with a rainbow? Bad. Yeah. Like this one. But I still have to run here because there was the guy. Two platforms with a rainbow is also always has a chest inside. <laughs> oh my that's god! Nope. That's How did I nice. not get past that? Yeah, that's. Now's your chance. Run! Okay, but now the game's just trolling me. <laughs> yeah, that's. Stuff happens. I can't see. There's a chest there. That's not there. Look at the menu. Yeah, there's a chest. Yeah. Chest. It should be straight here. Maybe. Uh, it might have actually been that entrance. <laughs> no, this, this might still be it. Yeah. No, yeah. No, this, this is it. So which floor do you need to reach for that one? For which one? This one? Seven. Oh, seven. Those many islands? Platforms, whatever. <laughs> Floating rock. This dungeon looks so bad in the PS2 game. You can barely see anything. You say that like I can see anything here. <laughs> <laughs> You should you should see it side the by side. The, yeah, I can see the exit. The fog in the PS2 game in general is far far thicker than the golden one. Yeah. Can we just make a yeah, mod to really increase cool. view distance and remove the fog, and then you know exactly where you need to go here? Yeah, that's <laughs> cheating. That's actual. That gives actual <laughs> advantage. <laughs> Whoa, Nev! If you want to remove fog, you can just ask me to leave. Right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know I didn't mean you. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not sure about Pato though, he's uh, still upset that we haven't played Minecraft. <laughs> I, I'm upset that he would, didn't want to pay for my ESA ticket. So True. Yeah. Good call out. If you look at the minimap, that room on the right is a big, uh, is a yeah. big bait. <laughs> you go left here. Yeah, you circle inwards. Mm -hmm. That one I remember. Okay. And then on the next fixed floor, uh, you go like left, right. Yeah, left, and then you go up. Oh. Oh, I'm actually not sure about that one. Yep. Well, it should be six now, right? Okay, mm -hmm. left is pretty bad, I think. Oh, yeah, Another we don't, we don't touch them. We don't touch them. <laughs> All the hands. <laughs> Glad I didn't take the left bait. Alright, this is going to be a very difficult fight. One would say it's almost as difficult as the Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not, not quite as difficult. But... No good. I can't find you an opening. Just don't miss for him. <laughs> you mean like him? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the fight. Nice. 
see your world balance. Level 91, level 85. Uh, I think he stood a chance. If only he hit that Agidine. Yeah. <laughs> he would have had a chance. All right, this was left, right. Left up. Yeah, left, one. right. That would have been bad. Yeah, I, I thought you already pressed that. <laughs> Okay. Find a way where I have to go. Heaven is the dungeon that um, likes to spawn these rooms that have like just rings. Like you can, you could uh, like um, have a corridor that just leads to another one oh, and yeah, you just yeah. like go in circles. Oh, hey, we have this, this again. Mo a lot of the dungeons can do that, but for some reason Heaven does that way more often than the other ones. Just the way the uh, the dungeon generating works, I guess. Actually, not sure about this way. I think it's fine. I would go left, though, probably. Maybe check one spot. Uh, okay. No, I think right. Maybe. And then right again. I think up is paid. Yeah, nice. Good choice. Get the party, get the party! Yeah. <laughs> get the party! Oh wait, you don't get the party here? No! <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> we ain't got mirrors for that, Asa. Oh yeah! <laughs> I'm like, I was wait, really why are you trolling at the notes? me? <laughs> looking He's at the actively notes, trying to sabotage my run. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's that's the that's the console brain here. Uh, you know when it when you said it the first time, I thought you were memeing since I said yeah. we'll just go all the way up there and just instantly go to the boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then <laughs> when you said it the second time after I quit out of the menu, I was like, wait, what? All right, uh, Suiki's gonna come and clutch here because uh, Suiki uh, ref drains and reflects three elements. Okay, so the only bad thing yeah. is Magaurdine. He like drains ice, I think. Oh, double Agidine. Maybe it's gonna go triple. Uh. This is the only Ooh, thing that can hurt nice us. Miss. But it didn't. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's generous today. I feel like I might be able to cut down one Rakunda since he's uh, already damaged himself that much. Nice. I would Actually, no, yeah, I'll... I would probably still do it, yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it anyways. Wow. Oh, he's going half. Nice. 420. Yeah, he's gonna do quad convert <laughs> after this, though, I think. Literally, the 420 plays it. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Wow, I've never seen that. That's, uh, are you sure you didn't manip this one? <laughs> uh, must have been the. All the hands. <laughs> must have been Asa yelling at me to go. <laughs> oh my god. There was something with the <laughs> catch on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was debate. The, the, yeah. the master debating. Where is the dude? You thought I just could he sabotage gave you hope. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. The power of wind skills is greater now. Thanks, Risa. <laughs> Would have never noticed. Useful information. He goes from uh, 400 reflects to 800 reflects. Yeah, Who it, double, it doubles.
Oh, he does this thing. That's fine, this is like yeah, 50 just, damage just... at most. The animation is super long though. Yeah. But he does the pace movement. Yeah. <laughs> this hustle Toby should kill, I think. Oh. Okay, that's awkward. Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you miss, you're probably dead, so... I still have Enduring Soul on Yoshitsune. True. <laughs> True. Man, there's too many route changes. <laughs> Can't keep up. But it's fine. Uh, we'll have to do the quad converge anyways. Any element other than fire during the quad converge is acceptable. The power of wind skills is greater now. <laughs> wow. Didn't even need to set up for another hustle, Toby. <laughs> He's yeah. just gonna die here. Oh no! If this guy gets a level up, we might lose the 69 magic. <laughs> nice. Alright, that was, um... They could have been so much faster. Right. Okay, no level. <laughs> yeah, this would have been... ...over a couple turns ago, if you just hit that. Yeah. Hostobi. It is what it is. That was like a pretty bad dungeon. You Like, you would be losing your split time in, in like yeah. a real attempt. Like, with all the... Encounters as well. Yeah, those two were bullshit. Yeah. But yeah, while we uh, we we'll wait for Nanaku to recover, uh, we can uh, listen in on the date. Well, listen in on the donation. <laughs> Speaking is hard. Seth Bio donated ten dollars. Another ten dollars because heaven is a good dungeon. True. True. Yeah, it has good music. Should probably see, that's, <laughs> that's a shame because I'm sitting here uh, game audio less. So uh, I don't get the I don't get the good music. Wait, you don't have game audio? Uh, might just be because I'm stupid, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Fog. I don't have game audio either. Yeah, okay, so it's just us that don't have game audio. <laughs> Mosky can probably sing the game audio by now. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> he, he only needs to see it game to hear it. <laughs> he, see the, he hears it through his eyes, essentially. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the good thing is, now that Nanako is gone, um, whenever we get home, we don't get the text message any, the text box anymore. Well, we have to uh, greet her. Yeah, both Nanako and Ujima are in the hospital. Yep. So we go home, we instantly go... We just sleep for a while. Aeon, well, until now, now we're doing Aeon 8. Yeah, um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, downtime with nothing to really do here towards the end of the run. A lot worse than it was early on. So it's I mean, this is... <clears throat> it's basically just like home and sleep yep. from now till we get the uh, time skip. I, th I think it's 12.5 or something. What, the deadline? No, when when do we actually do uh, Magatsu? Is it 12 uh, 5 -ish? 12 3, 12 8. No, yeah, 12 5. Is it not 12 uh, 8? I'm looking, I'm, I'm seeing 12 5 is going to the shrine, but. Uh, oh no, it's like 12 8 then or something. 
Yeah, yeah, twelve, twelve A is yeah. a Dachi. Yeah. <gasps> but a Dachi did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, that's if we even get to 12, 12 8. You need to not get the bad ending before that first. <laughs> I'm saving before that. Yeah, you yeah, guys good need call. To Yeah, good me. call. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's You're not doing any. To... Uh, <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure if I. <laughs> okay, uh, Molsky, what's the backup here? Molsky? Okay. <laughs> the backup is gone. <laughs> she should be here now. Uh, uh maybe. Hopefully. Can you do it? Maybe she's here. We'll see. Now we go back home. Yeah, good. Oof. Good. Okay. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> uh, I still have to. Oh no, I don't have to get the armor because that's backup. Yeah. Are you gonna romance her? No. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Unless I accidentally do it, but no. <laughs> My friend zone. Yeah. Okay, now I have to. Oh no, I don't have to bite him. Okay, Molsky? Me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, going at 11.13 instead of 11.12 doesn't mess anything up, right? right? No, it's fine, it's fine. Well, who knows? Maybe she's not there at 11.16 now. You never know with this woman. <laughs> Especially now you got her into the friend zone, she might not appear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is actually uh, that is actually a thing about the P5 like, there's route. There's no point in seeing you anymore. <laughs> no, no, like in the P5 route, um, you get the doctor to rank ten, mm -hmm. and you have to you have to romance her, otherwise you cannot do this route. Oh, because she's just gone for two weeks if you friend zone her. Mm -hmm. But yeah, friend zoning her it saves three seconds, so it's yeah. actually something you want to do. Yeah, it's uh, it's like two seconds here and then one second um, like um, at the end of the game. Okay, it was almost bad, but only almost. <laughs> It's also three seconds on Vita, it's probably different here. Yeah, it's probably less. Yeah, it probably saves less. I mean, what is what is the big time save difference between Vita and the PC? Because I see like loads. more screen, Loads and FPS. Like an hour. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the FPS so, speed so up that... text so much. Mm -hmm. Like all the fast forward and so, everything. So that is what like saves the hour of time. Yeah. Yep. Because technically the game is somewhat slower because you don't have access to a glitch that Vita has access to. Okay, at eleven twenty we're gonna buy the Soma. Mm hmm Kinda like to have that. Yeah, this one is optional, but Soma is very good. Yeah. It's just a safety net in uh -huh. case uh, Izanami or something goes very yeah. wrong and you need extra SP. Amin so Sagiri can also go bad. Yeah, because like we've seen what can happen at Izanami. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want that to happen again. Somas are also AoE in this game, unlike some other Mega yeah. 10 games. I think in all Persona games they're AoE, if I'm not mistaken. But... I think so, yeah. Second.
And that's right. the deadline. Oh, yep. Yeah. We did it, Reddit. We saved Nanako, unfortunately. <laughs> Because, like, see, if we didn't save her, the run could have been over in uh, <laughs> 15 minutes. No, we still need to save her. Uh, you just need to choose the bad ending later. Yeah, so we're still not saving her in the end. Yeah, <laughs> but you would have saved her from that dungeon, at least. You know what I mean? Leaving her in there, not saving her later, what's the difference? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, the fog has made its way over to, uh, to the real world, and everybody's panicking. Oh yeah. I don't know if that would be my reaction, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I fi I'm finally in the real world now. That's the thing. Uh, he's made it. Okay, 26 is Aeon. 26 is Aeon. You don't remember that. Okay. It's a save, save, save. <laughs> <I> saw it. <laughs> I put that in uh, just for the marathon. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's clearly not Molsky. <laughs> <laughs> Molsky wouldn't put that in. Of course not. Yeah, we are actually... Uh... Approaching pretty much at the very end, the very soon. There's gonna be a lot less downtime, I wanna say, in between the stuff. Mm hmm. Because, like, with the royal exclusive stuff, everything's like a little bit uh, cramped in between. There's gonna be a lot of downtime after this dungeon, though. Uh... In the winter. Yeah, but even that isn't even that doesn't feel as long. I feel really? Like. To me, it feels quite long. Like over a month of nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah but for you some... skip you skip some days. You skip like uh, yeah, but you don't skip too much. You skip from twenty five to thirty already. Okay, did a little three sixty there. So, so Neff, I think it's important to tell you that you're my little park champ, Frank is Neff. What the hell? <laughs> Blame Potter. Aeon. Marie. Marie. Yeah, it's this day. Then, yes, <laughs> yes. I'm reminding you. Okay, 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 okay. Even if you missed it, she'd be available tomorrow. Okay, Aeon, Aeon. And she should be max here. Yep. We're uh, on a date at the, the street food thingy. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not even the clerk there. <laughs> <laughs> gave them some privacy. Kaguya. Yeah, NMG route still uses it. Okay. I actually wish this route was using Kaguya. Oh, sorry. Because, like, design wise, I think Kaguya is actually a really great person. Yeah, well, it, it was intentionally good. Not to make up for the bad character that it is linked to. <laughs> True.
Alright, so we're gonna get a bunch of stuff here, and then uh, on the next save prompt, I'm gonna save. Save, save, save. Yes, save, save, save. So you, that means you can save three times. Yeah. That's on 12 3. Save, save, save. <laughs> like safe prompt should be coming up soon here after this scene. Okay, maybe not after Gonna save for the hardest boss fight in the entire game. Yes. Coming up is the hardest boss fight very, very soon. And we save for it just in case. Yeah, and it's like not even ironic. There have been runs that died to this by multiple people. And it can't be as bad as not going back to the food court later on. <laughs> that, that was you, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was me. There's another bad one, by not going to the Velvet Room on 12.1 uh, or 12.2 or whatever it is. Uh, one, 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 two. one, two, it's yeah. one, two. Twelve, two already happened. <laughs> Let's say, uh, I've been a victim of every final boss here, <laughs> unfortunately. B5 did it right, you just smash the first option and it's fine. True. I didn't in my first playthrough, so I was lucky to... Uh... <laughs> Your first playthrough was mashing for text? No, I didn't mash through, like I didn't pick the top, the top option. That's okay. what I mean. Okay. But yeah, I guess uh, while we wait for the final boss we can uh, quickly listen in on the donation. Okay, um, we'll wait until after the final boss. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe we will uh, accumulate a couple more. It's like maybe we'll still get enough somehow to uh, change the language to Japanese, because that is still an incentive. As well as the... Yes. The 150k until the end of the marathon for uh, look, Eden, at, look at this for Eden L to uh, shave his head again, again, <clears throat> again. Uh, yeah. There is still um, 550 dollars missing for the 800 dollar goal for the Japanese language. All right, we beat the nice. final boss. There we go. You can clap for that. <laughs> So yeah, this, uh, you have to select the correct options here to not get the bad ending. Yes, they and don't. They don't even like let you. They don't even like let you redo it. If you just choose the bad one, that's it. Yep, one wrong one and you're done for. All right, now that we max the full arcana, we will uh, get the world arcana, which is the same thing. Mm, it's basically, was it judgment? Yeah, this is judgment. It was world again. Uh, what? Which the one? The world is happens after Izanami. Oh, right, 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 right. I never really paid a lot of attention to these two. But yeah, what were you saying, Asa? Uh, I forgot. What was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone remember? Mm -mm. Something about the choices and not letting you redo 
Or that's what we're talking about? Yeah, like, uh, I, was, I was about to say, like, um, in other games, if you... They, 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 they like, um, once you, like, choose everything, they were like, are you sure? Or something like that. There's nothing like this here. Yeah. Well, Persona 3 doesn't have anything like that either, but there they made the choice extremely obvious, which yeah, was yeah. the correct. Yeah. <laughs> they pretty much straight up tell you, uh, if you do this, you're boned. Yeah, I think we, we don't talk with you anymore if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe maybe now we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get the donation. Time for the donation, yeah. Otto donated ten dollars. Pog Champ Nev O P O P. <laughs> 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 Potter should stop donating and then, oh, there he is. <laughs> Maybe Potter should talk to us. Potter is too good for that kind of thing. What is that? Okay. And then uh, for the drinks after, right? <laughs> I was uh, spamming the wrong option because I was talking to Potter, my bad. <laughs> yeah, it just repeats here. Oh. And then I accidentally pressed the wrong button to cancel the fast forward. Potter, you're losing us time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so story wise, as you saw, the Velvet Room stopped moving basically. It's because um, in a few days there's gonna be uh, like uh, another set of things you need to answer, and you can still get the very same bad ending. You can get the exact same bad ending there as well. Which is why I guess the Velvet Room stopped moving. Right. We're asking Namatama about all the different uh, things that we want info about. He's telling us all. And uh, yeah, after we get all the info, the cops coming back and uh, he's like, why are you kids in here? More or less. Except now was a cop and they technically should be able to just enter. Is now to a cop though. Helping at the cops doesn't exactly make you a yeah, cop, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't actually think so. Yep, that's our plan. Whatever plan we we're talking about. <laughs> All right, so now we essentially have to start the investigation. Yeah, and this this is the worst one. We'll start at the shrine here. Yeah, you you have to talk to almost everyone. We'll see if this is actually faster. The load is so long. I don't actually think it's faster. Yeah, you have to talk to the the lady know, here. Yeah, you, you just started this quest. You have to talk to that lady first because uh, she is the one that actually unlocks the second question. So you can literally talk with everyone. And if the girl is the last one, then you have to go to everyone again and ask the second question. Uh, no, you don't need yeah. this one. You don't need this one. Yeah. Those it's only the, top, only the top ones, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should ask the cat. <laughs> Back to the shopping district here. Two of them here. Yeah, and go to the shop as well. Yep. 
And then the last one's gonna be in front of the, the other thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're buying 21 antibiotic gels, 21 revival beads. Uh, probably don't even have to buy that many. Uh, we need three go home, so we have to yeah, 11. <laughs> And that's with using extras already. <laughs> I think I only use one extra. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of go homes. Mm hmm. Okay, Gwen didn't miss anything. <sighs> Alright. Now, uh, the next final boss. Yeah, you still get a rank up first. I think. No, no, okay, never mind. You get a rank up after this. Next page twice, and then I think. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we beat the next final boss. Let's go. Yeah, so we apparently somehow we figured out that Tadachi is the killer here. And now we officially didn't get the, the worst ending. We can still get other bad endings later, but... Well, they're technically not bad. We're just not getting the golden ending. Or, like, we would just not be getting the golden ending. If we messed it up afterwards, I guess. Oh wait, there is one... There's one normal ending still, I guess. Yeah, there's only normal and gold. We can't get the the true ending. Because you did the... Oh, you can get the true ending. Yeah, you can get the true ending. If you don't no. go to the Velvet Room, yeah. Exactly. So you can get all three still. Yeah, you can get all three still. Mm -hmm. So we still need to avoid the normal ending and the true ending. Yeah. And need to get the gold ending. Mm -hmm. This might sound very confusing, <laughs> but it's it's honestly not. Trust me. That sound cue is so helpful there. Oh yeah, and Teddy's here for some reason. Yep, we're getting Evade Alec here. Yeah, he gets ranked in here. It's interesting how his... I think he's the only character where he doesn't... Like, uh, his persona doesn't evolve at the point when you get ranked in. He's just like the next day. Now we can make Halil. How to keep that energy shower. <laughs> What's the next history teacher again? I forgot. I think it's a Soma, but if you do that, then like going for Yosuke is way slower. So. Is it slower though? I think it's still faster, isn't it? Yeah, but like it's slower than just like, Yosuke is literally in the classroom. So if you yeah, don't... no, I'm just saying. But going back to Yosuke is still faster than going to yeah, DNS yeah, it, it is, yeah. it is. Is it though? Is it not? I don't think either of us actually knows. I I never get this soma, so I just go straight to Yosuke. So I mean, I'm gonna get it here for sure. Okay. So in case anything goes wrong, I have a spare one. You already got a spare one. This is a second spare one. Yeah. It's a uh, marathon safety. That was probably not Molsky's notes. Pig dudes. No, that was not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, as a take a guess, how many lines my notes have for twelve oh eight? 
None. Yeah, probably nothing. No, it probably has one note to TV for Yosuke, and that's it, right? And the history teacher. It has four lines. Okay. History teacher, TV through Yosuke, divine pillar, equip the thing. Equip the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, so we're learning about Adachi's, like, well, that he apparently did everything. Yep. You can learn even more if you, like, do his social link. Like, uh, during this day on the evening, you can actually go back into the TV again and he, like, tells you way more as well. That's not gonna happen here, though. Yeah, the dungeon opens here, and we're gonna go in on the next day. Finally, a break from the cutscenes. <laughs> This section is far, far worse on the PS2 version because obviously no fast forward. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is borderline horrible. Yeah, and this section on PS2 is like, like, ten hours in or something. That too. Uh, probably more. I think like yeah. eleven or twelve. Oh well, maybe not anymore. Maybe yeah. like ten this year. Ten or eleven. We have to think about the the fact that uh yeah it's a lot faster than eight years ago yeah oh no that's not what i meant um you don't have the golden ending stuff mm. if that was cool Is... Yeah, so this dungeon is kind of weird in a way it's not linear as other dungeons. It's actually two different dungeons here. So there's Magasu Inaba that has two floors. And then from the second floor you can enter another dungeon that has six floors. No, this one only has two floors. Yeah. That's what you two said. And oh, six. Oh, yeah, two and I, six. Oh, sorry, I heard six on this one as well. No, no, no. My bad, my bad. Also, that's a dead end. Or at least it seemed to like it that end. Yeah, this should be the stairs. I don't know if I would call that stairs, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this floor is set. Um. We have to go all the way to the end, then realize we can't progress, then we go back and jump into the hole. Yeah, but at least you don't have to go all the way back, you just go to the middle. Yeah. Yeah, you go to this back, back to this part, basically. This part also looks pretty bad on PS2 version. It's like just pure red. Pure red screen, basically. This part is also very bad on PS2 because the shadows are really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Because like they're massive. Mm -hmm. They will. They will catch you. They will be massive here as well. Yeah, later on. Mm -hmm. I have to remember to uh, go to 60 FPS. Then. Where's this lead? So is there a way here to tell which direction you need to go back uh, to the yeah, other dungeons? Through the tape. <laughs> yeah, it's transparent. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's literally the tell. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way down to... Uh, 
sixth floor. Oh, we'll just delete the pig dudes on the way. <laughs> I think they're not even pigs, they're like bears or something. I think they're I think the full name is like Angry Grizzly or something like that. I think it's Grizzly something. The notes clearly stated they're pig dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the notes. <laughs> That's a dead end. Yeah, I know this. Uh... Oh, okay. Nice. Didn't get scammed this time. Nice juke. But yeah, I guess on our way there, we can uh, listen in on the donations real quick. Mm -hmm. Otto's mom donated $5. <laughs> Hello, son, my little pog champ. Remember to sleep <laughs> early and drink plenty of water. <laughs> Otto's mom. <laughs> Flap donated $30. No comment. Okay. okay. Thank you. You need to go well, left. Yeah, yeah. You go left once. Mm -hmm. Usually do it later on the way up. Oh, okay. I, I do it on the very first one, so. I just made sure you don't forget. Uh, this is also going to be a very, very difficult fight. Yeah, this can actually go wrong. How is that a pick for you? I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> it's Chaos Fuzz. Okay, it's not Grizzly. Yeah. It's, it's not Grizzly, it's Fuzz. You don't need Heal Trizer. Yeah, I just pressed the wrong button. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's fine. Nothing bad is gonna happen. So basically, the gimmick of this fight is that you need to kill all of them at the same time, otherwise they keep respawning. Luckily, we do have a way to kill all of them at the same time. Yeah, it's called Hasutoku. Yeah. <laughs> Ideally, we've had Heat Razor before that. <laughs> that was stupid. Uh, at least you were guaranteed not to miss. I mean, I already had both of the buffs. <laughs> and defense doesn't really matter. How though? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stretch. <laughs> no, I didn't even touch the button. That's the thing I'm confused about. Right definitely looks bad. This one does not look a whole lot better. I think this will be... Uh... No, just yeah, go. just go here. Oh, we don't. We're going there. Yeah, I was gonna say, just go here. <laughs> I was double checking. Sure. Uh, this one's. Yes. All right, so we're coming up to the very last minip of the run. Uh huh. Is it, is it a very last? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the last one. Uh, it's also slightly different than all the other ones we've done so far. Yeah, it's pretty unique. It also doesn't matter like how fast you mash or anything for the most part. I think this one leads to a dead end, but it might be. It's no. hard to say. Yeah, it's hard like, to say. It's hard to the, say. The other side had many chests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks okay. Yeah, down mm -hmm. is bad. Oh, oh. look at him. Yeah, so this is the final manip. We're gonna go back and save and reload again. <laughs> that was not part of the manip. <laughs> <laughs> that was just me on my way up to triangle. So yeah, it's not just the encounters and skills we can manip. We can also manip chest contents. Yes, exactly. Normally, yeah. So we're gonna manip a chest item. Normally that item is like around like what like five percent chance to find it or something or three percent I don't know it's like a very low chance you wouldn't go for it um, if it was RNG. You reload it again, right, on PC as well? Yeah. Or no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you go into the dungeon and then you reload manually as well. The and then you go RNG. back into the dungeon. Yeah. Yeah, well, because the chest is in the dungeon, so... Yeah. 
This is actually why we needed the chest key that we got all the way back in the very first dungeon. <laughs> You just wish uh, me somehow not have one, mm -hmm. despite obviously getting one. No, it, it will be fine. The game is not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be on the second corner there. Yeah, it's bottom left. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you go by map. And that's Divine Pillar. Divine Pillar basically gives you the the same um, uh, effect as um, Firm Stance, firm stance uh, skill, yeah, which means uh, that you take half the damage oh, you normally would, but you cannot dodge at all. So it's just, uh, like, it doesn't matter that we, it cannot dodge, it just makes everything way more consistent, so it's great. Did you equip the armor as well, or or do you not get the armor here? No, you're okay. not getting armor. Okay. Uh, you get one later that you equip after Hollow Forest. Okay. Although I'm pretty sure I forgot to equip it in my practice every single time. <laughs> the Izanami one? Uh, yeah, the armor for Izanami. Yeah, that's... yeah. <laughs> Maybe I did equip, I don't know. Yeah, that one is pretty needed. Yeah, so this fight is uh, terrible. This fight uh, likes to troll you a lot. Yeah, so he's gonna power charge. The The point is that fully powered up uh, power charge with Rakunda and Tarukaja kills it, it one shots. The problem is, um, he, uh, he has he, high counter. He has high counter, you can miss. Um, he can also just Tentor a Fumi. Yeah, he, he can put a status effect on you. It's terrible. Just don't miss forehead. Yeah, just... Yeah. Very nice, very nice. This fight can take like 20 times longer than this. Not even kidding. Alright, now we're uh, leaving this place. Yeah, and make sure to. Um, like, Chia Teddy Yosuke, yes. Yeah, I, I meant to not go to the sixth floor again. Yeah, Chia. Wait. Yeah, Chia Teddy Yosuke. Wrong order. Chia... It doesn't matter the order, that's for P3. It doesn't matter for reviving. Because it defaults <laughs> to a it different doesn't... order. Oh really? I didn't know that. You need to watch your health center. Yeah, now they're yeah, here. Now they're here. So do oh! sixty. Yeah, do sixty. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, because, because again, the, the size of the enemy is yeah, the oh. base of the uh, overall part. Yeah, and now, and because you have party members, there's also more stuff option. on the menu. Where's my auto heal? Yeah, this is not Persona Five or SMT Five. Where you have auto heal. <laughs> Just press square. Be done with it. <laughs> okay, that was very sketchy though because I missed the. Uh, where were you going? No. I am actually. Where are you going? You actually <laughs> did that in practice as well. Yeah, I did that in practice as well. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just uh, come back. We're gonna measure RNG minute for uh, Adachi and Domino. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. But it's such an autopilot to go in there. Sh sure. I don't know why I would autopilot to that. Because you do it the first time. No, you don't. You do go past it and go to the... No, no. The first time to progress. Uh, sure. So this one... What is this floor layout? Jesus. This might actually be bad. No, no this, this should be fine. Good, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Alright, we're going past it this time. Going all the way. First, we're somehow gonna dodge this guy. Perfect. See, now Adachi is gonna. Um... Wait, what do we want him to do again? Uh, Vorpal Blade, uh, right? Yeah, spam Vorpal Blade. Yeah, he's gonna spam Vorpal Blade. Or Maziodine, that also works. Hmm? Yeah, just playing it yeah. safe. 
There's no way I was getting past that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's also the minute for Vopo Blade. Yeah? Yeah, just swing it. And before he's just gonna keep spamming the fear move. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing he can do. Also, a funny thing, like, if you would go to Megaton Wiki TM <laughs> and look, look up his moveset, he has so many moves that he just never uses at all. I don't know where did he get those from. Yeah, I think he can he... do power charge and other physical attack if he gets a one more and has no buffs to dispel. I can't believe he's the one. Right, I can't uh... believe he's the one. That bastard! We can't uh, lose! Charge! No Arakunda. Now we get, we set up double uh, tetra coins here on Teddy and Chia. Mm, Teddy actually has endure, so it would probably be better to do it on. I mean, he's not gonna do anything turn one. Oh well, yeah, true, 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 true. Okay, not gonna cast this on Teddy. <laughs> Good. Because, like, now I'm gonna. Yosuke's gonna tetra himself, anyways. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. F3. I don't think I can use a Makarka. No. You're gonna end up with 5 again. Yeah, this time it's really bad because I don't have any magic Maras. <laughs> oh, oh nice. Warble blade. blade. I told okay. you. Go that RNG. Uh, right. No, no, you're gonna miss. He's still on Heat Riser. I told just you. Yolo. I told you. I was just gonna YOLO. You need to wait for Heat Riser to run out. No, 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 no. <laughs> we'll get the next one. As, we'll get the next one. Yeah, sure. but the next one will be after another power charge. Uh, Tetra Corn. You probably have physical mirrors as well, not just Tetra Corns and everything. Uh. I oh, nice. I think I used them up. Oh, did you? Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. You can check. They're gonna be way higher up on the list. So. Um. Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. We'll have to. We'll have to see. I'm actually not 100% mm -hmm. sure. I think you might have them. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I don't actually want him to uh, Careful, hit weakness. Teddy's health is pretty low. Yeah. yeah, that Tarukaji, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, if he uses Maragi Dine, oh. he would get one more, so. Nice. <sighs> Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. Yeah, I'm doing into fear is the worst thing you can do. This is gonna be a big, nice damage. Careful, guys. Teddy's health is pretty low. <laughs> I can't believe I got a turn. I did not expect that. Otherwise, I would have. Uh, you basically it. didn't, <laughs> because he dodged. All right, the eggplant. The eggplant yeah, <laughs> two hits. Based uh, eggplant. <laughs> ESA has charged up. <laughs> oh no, the Magaurdine. Okay, well. The gamble earlier did not pay off, unfortunately. Two should be enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the speed of this fight kind of depends on what Adachi actually does. So. Yeah, the, the verbal plays at the start were good. But the miss on House of Toby when I gamble was not good. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I knew that would happen, so... <laughs> Senpai, are you okay? Sometimes you just gotta risk it. Yeah, but that's only if you're like... Uh, that's only if you're like... Uh, 
one second behind world record and you need to save a second, so... <laughs> oh, Zeodyne. oh, Zeodyne is good. Now the Hustle Toby will guaranteed kill if it hits. Yeah, this will kill. Nice. Because before that I was not 100% sure since the bar was uh, pretty far up still. So now I'm in Nosagiri. Careful, guys, you're really low on health. Guys, GA Senpai's really hurt. The important thing is that you need Teddy to die before yeah. before the fog. Otherwise it's really bad. Because like in this fight if um whenever he does his fog faces or his mist faces, which uh, which happens twice in the fight. Whoever is alive during that Oh this is bad. It's not gonna hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it always hits. It always hits. Uh, whoever is alive during that time, um, will not be able to hit the boss at all. But if you revive someone afterwards, then they will be able to hit the boss. Yeah, that, that like basically that whole effect applies only to the people that are on the battlefield, not to the yeah. dead, not to the dead ones. Kind of weird because you would think it would just apply to the boss itself, mm -hmm. but yeah. it does not. Sadly, he knows light. That would be so good if you could reflect him yeah. for half the HP. Yep. I'm gonna heat riser first, because then I definitely won't die to two hits here. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. The game this is this, yeah, this is bad RNG. The game just keeps giving. And not the good things. Are you okay? Because now I have to heal. Yeah, first. you have to heal. Could have power charged already, but no, I had to cleanse the stupid silence. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Your persona sent by hang in there. Okay, that show was actually cringe. <laughs> yeah, that's that's you don't see that every day. That was really bad RNG. Like the Agi then is nice though because uh, Yoshitsune resists fires. But everything yeah, else. If this was, was Kage, uh, it would reflect fire. Huh? But if this was Kage, it would still use Yoshitsune, no? No. Even if this was the no. Kage route? No. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, god miss. bless. Hachiman just replaces uh, Kaguya for uh, your yeah, I'll, have, I'll have to heal here though. Uh, you're also, yeah, you're really low on SP. Good thing you got those extra yeah, somas. I'll use the soma here. There was a text box, so I think he's doing the fog now. Nice. No, okay. It's the text box for Nebula. Yeah, right. Just double checking out everything. Else. It should fog here. No? It's 50%. Oh. Yeah, this is not going <laughs> by the plan because of those uh, yeah. uh, silences. I mean, the five silences that yeah. I had to cleanse? Oh, yeah. who oh because guessed? he didn't have Rakunda, because Teddy died before he could apply enough. Yeah, because yeah. he also got yeah. hit by it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So first missed phase. You can actually skip the first fog, and that's also bad. Yep. Alright, we're reviving here. 
Teddy Yosukichi, yeah. yeah. It's Yosukichi, yeah. I don't have a I always double check here that it's really on MC. Why would it not be on MC? <laughs> hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant in the notes, okay. <laughs> no, no, I meant in game. Yeah, okay, okay. Because <laughs> I had my fair share of incidents there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is what I meant, uh, we meant uh, with the Maracunda. You, this would not hit if Teddy was alive when he started the fog. And then you, you find water. Where is it though? I might not be able to hustle Toby here. Mm. Might not have enough HP. Yeah, you'll probably not get uh, hit uh, a during soul. Good, okay, good. Nice. Is it good though? Yeah, yeah, this is good. No, this is because now I don't have it for the second one. Where if I miss, I'm dead. No, no, this is the strat. Yeah, but if, no, no, I know what you mean. But if on the next one I miss the hustle, Toby, I don't have a during soul anymore. You okay, senpai? Hang in there. Uh, it's fine. You, uh, if you apply a diamond shield and then yeah. you say and the bag did tell. Yeah, you, you, you. I it's suppose. Fine, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, like this is literally what's supposed to happen. No, I like I know that one, but it's just like if you, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> If you miss the last house of Toby, that's kind of uh, rough. It's just, it's not gonna be too bad. You're not gonna die to that. Say that. No, you're, you're not gonna die to that. Trust me. Not because I'm just gonna hit, but still. She's gonna throw the water again. Mm -hmm. Right. Pass to Toby and pray. If this doesn't kill, just throw Hell Magatamas. Or win Magatamas. Yeah, but this kills. Yeah. Nice. The beginning was really unlucky in this one. Yeah. You were worried, Nev. <laughs> Velvet room. How many exclamation marks is that? I don't know. I didn't count. I just put a plenty. Just put plenty in to not forget. Because it wasn't in the notes initially. Really? I don't think it was in the notes initially, so I had to add it. I could be wrong. Well, that's because Malski just remembers. <laughs> all right, it's gonna jump all the way to twelve twenty-five. I think it jumps to twenty-four evening. Well, twenty, yeah, twenty, yeah. twenty-four, and then it goes to the next mm -hmm. day right after. Yeah, because we don't have any friends to spend Christmas Eve with. We can also save here. There is a prompt for yeah. the velvet room, just in case. I think there's another one, but I'll just save here. Maybe there is another one. I'll Which, just save for both, yeah. just in case there's another one. Alright, so now we're gonna have a month of time skip here, almost. More, it's more than a month. It's like up to like, like February 10th or something. No, I meant this one. Okay, uh, yeah, this one. And then it's, uh, there's a couple of events happening, nothing too major. Yeah, Christmas is happening. There's no snow, though. When has it uh, snowed the last time on Christmas? When was that? Okay, maybe I'm asking the wrong people. In Lithuania, <laughs> it's, it's, it's always snowing. <laughs> yeah, Christmas. maybe I'm asking the wrong people here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Leo, when has it snowed the last time on Christmas? <laughs> last winter. <laughs> <laughs> on Christmas? Yeah. 
What the we, hell? We yeah, that was it. one of we the. We missed it last Christmas, and I'm from Denmark, so. Yeah, I don't think we had anything on Christmas either. I mean, that's that. That was one of the rare sights that we could have. Like, oh, it's snowing this year. Oh yeah, this is the weird one. Yeah. Yeah, so from this point on, you cannot uh, plant vegetables anymore. Instead, they're gonna replace it with, uh, like, bug gathering something. Yeah, you can dig up a bugs from the <laughs> soil. Wait, are you saying we can't grow uh, vegetables in the winter? It yeah, be a bit challenging, but you can try. What if I want to grow a big pumpkin? <laughs> the one that was supposed to be on Teddy's costume. <laughs> uh, just do it and then put it on top of his head. You don't buy pumpkins, you just buy them forehead. You don't buy them, you just buy them? Okay. Yeah, just buy them. Yeah. Shut, shut up, shut up. <laughs> All right, we're soon getting to the second to last final boss yeah uh, that's an important thing okay yeah there's gonna be cutscene first as well there's gonna be long cutscene with the snowman we also talked to dojima here apparently that's for the money i don't know why this is in the notes you don't buy anything for this, for this point you, you do don't... what what do you buy? Buy second, buy first, buy first. Oh, but okay, well, you can look at your money. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be enough, probably. Yeah. Now it's even more. <laughs> that was only 30k? <laughs> that was nothing. Alright, we're going to the Velvet Room. This is a very important trigger. If you don't actually go to the Velvet Room, you cannot get the golden ending. Yeah. And you only not no and, and you only notice, like, um... In in like in like two in-game weeks when you when you when, when you're normally supposed to be getting Marie dreams, you're just not getting the dreams. So you basically get this by luck the first time if you go in blind. Uh. Well, the game kind of well, tells yeah, you. Yeah, the, hey, ga the, the game. The game. The game really tells you to like, please say. Please say hi to everything. Like, wish everyone New Year, uh, Happy New Year. I see. I would just ignore them all except Marie. Yeah. Well, we didn't ignore Margaret. She's a social link as well. True. Of course. Oh yeah, and uh, Dojima and Nanako were going back to the hospital, and for some reason Teddy's just. Teddy lives with us now. <laughs> yep. Also, we pass out. Can't blame us when Teddy's around. The idea of living with Teddy was too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this first dream you always get, even even if you missed the Velvet Room thing, this dream you do get, but you don't get the other ones. Yeah. So basically there's going to be like a week or something of them just taking care of us. Yeah. And then... Um... And then we're back in school. Yes. <laughs> also, Teddy's also in our school apparently now. Or something like that. And he's a student now apparently. Yeah. He's just there. Well, he's not a student. He's just a goes there okay. for reasons <laughs> it's very important to buy stuff here yep. this is tuesday as well so we don't get a second chance yeah i can't do it until we get back up anyways evening only mm -hmm. all right shut up teddy yeah this is the this is the bug thing doesn't mean you need to tell me <laughs> <laughs> You don't even get you don't, you don't even hear the full jingle. All right, buying the second. Yeah.
This is the remaining um, corn, yeah. I think. It's yeah. Three tetracorn, three Makara corn. Right? Mm -hmm. Tetracorn you don't use at this point, but yeah, Makara corn. Get is them the, anyway. Yeah, Makara corn is the important one. And Teddy can we can do rank eleven of Teddy, but we're not going to. We do not care. For what it's worth, we could go back to rank. Uh, when does he wear Marakunda? Four, five, seven, I think. Seven. Okay, we can go back to rank seven. I don't care. Well, <laughs> rank nine also kind of matters for the endure, and the evade deck also helps from ten a little bit. Um. But we just got all that for free without uh, doing a social link. Yeah. All the routes used to get rank three Chia for the <laughs> Galactic kick. That that was good strat. <laughs> I think Vanilla still does that. Vanilla I mean, gets rank yeah, 10. Yeah, I mean, so Vanilla gets rank 10. If you but get I mean, rank the... 10, you might as well get rank 3. <laughs> yeah, no, no, what I mean is you still use the punt. Oh, okay. I think. Maybe you still. Like I said, I haven't been catching up with it in a while. But you used to use it um, on the snake. Mm. Uh, not the snake, the hand. Okay. Buying stuff again soon. The 15. Yeah, this is the armor, I think. No, 205 is the armor. I don't know what 115 is. Oh, 115 nah, is probably the, the status effect. Book of the Void. Yeah, Book of Void. It like nulls um, we can skip most that. of the status effects. We don't need that, right? What's the table gonna do? Yeah, Everything. You, you, can, you can skip it, but. <laughs> it's gonna I mean, do getting ghastly, guessing ghastly, ghastly Wailed is not fun. I mean, you live through it once, just don't get hit twice. Uh, no, we already we 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 don't have the eggplant anymore, so we have enduring soul. Oh, enduring soul, right? <laughs> Man, he <laughs> never remembers. Yeah, like, he keeps forgetting that. Yeah, it's in I this only, that it's on Yoshitsune. I only did this. I only did one run with the route that has enduring soul on Yoshitsune. All of my runs were <laughs> when you only had it on Suiki, so I keep forgetting that. Just don't give me a heart attack during Izanami, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because, like, the one on Namatame was, uh... Yeah, that, that, that was that. quite something. So, yeah, we're just gonna suffer through January here. Just like in real life, because it's too cold. <laughs> Until 1.28, when we decline Nanako's request for the homework. I think it's homework. Okay, we're getting the dreams, so yeah. we're... Good. I mean, you saw me go into the vault room. <laughs> I'd yeah. be, I'd be very confused. Someone if we told didn't me. Do someone told me. I don't. I forget who. Um, that they like did the social link, did the velvet room, and they just didn't get the thing. I I don't know what he did. I don't know what to answer. I wanna say it's possible <laughs> to pick the wrong dialogue choices there. Like, yeah, I'm not going by. Hmm. <laughs> But I'd have to double check that, not to do a sure on it. You'd have to try really hard though, just like the bad ending in P5. Yeah. <laughs> in P5. I mean, you do have to try really hard for that. True. Okay, 128 soon, soon, soon. Till then, we just. Uh... I don't know if it's soon, it's a week away. More than a week away. Yeah, soon. <laughs> Trust me, soon. Uh, 
Okay. I don't remember exactly what happened there, but uh, uh, it so looked awkward. Uh, he's like, um, uh, Teddy asks, uh, like, uh, Senpai, do you know, oh, Sensei, do you know much about kissing? And then you <laughs> and, then, and then you click you click the option to show him what kissing means. So he gets close to him, but then Dojima walks in and he's like, "What uh, the hell are you two doing?" <laughs> One twenty-eight soon. <laughs> I mean, it's a bit sooner than before. But yep. <laughs> it's a day sooner. It's gonna be a day sooner every day. Soon, TM plus plus. It's only a week, yeah. <laughs> See, after we sleep, it's gonna be a uh, day sooner as well. I do want new day for people. new strats. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to remind people that they can still get the donations in for the game to be in the Japanese language. And the, the audio, but yes. also yeah, the audio. Actually, I could Thank put the you. game in Japanese as well. Is it <laughs> not based on system language? No Steam setting. Ah, oh, okay. Otherwise, there is also, um, for the next run, um, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team Any Percent. There is uh, Skeddy and Squirtle's name, as well as the team name. And there is also the donation incentive for the whole of ESA, where if we reach 150,000, um, Edenol will shave his head again. Again? Don't Thank worry, Neb, I got it, I got it. <laughs> On stream. Soon. Monsky, how how long will you say there is left of uh, the run so far? Oh. Not that much. Uh, an hour, a bit more, maybe. It's got to be slightly more than an hour, at least. Probably 120. Yeah, starting the next dungeon, it's a little bit more than an hour, so... Get to the dungeon fast. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It's it's just that simple. Yeah, just get to the dungeon up, faster, forehead. Did you know that you don't fail a single Yukiko question in the entire run? Even when you're only spamming the first one. Yeah, of course I knew. Yeah, because she's clearly the favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe they need to give her special attention. I don't know. <laughs> Pick one. Soon. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> soon, soon. Yeah, like at this point, I could agree that it's soon. I don't know about the week earlier. <laughs> Even a week <laughs> is soon. That means the marathon is gonna end soon. So I don't know. It does yeah, end so soon. Make sure, uh, a week <laughs> is soon, so make sure to get your donations in. Exactly. Before it's uh, too late. There are also a bunch of prizes that you participate in if you donate a certain amount, so... Yep. Do we have a PS4 again? A PS5 again this year? One for I the North American and one for the European. See? Uh, I do not know on top of my head what the minimum donation for that is. A hundred, yeah. Okay, one hundred. No, say no to Nanako. Yeah. yeah. You've probably been staring at that for like 20 minutes. Yes. Just to accidentally say yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've when done, when I've you done said that. say no, I was like, wait, am I not supposed to go home? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Because I was under no problem. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> okay, 205, soon. 205 is the next one we got to look out for. Yeah, there is both uh, PlayStation 5 for North America and EU residents at a minimum donation of $100 and also a Nintendo Switch at uh, $50. Okay, 2.05. <laughs> 
stupid mini alive. Yeah, that happens. Uh, in vanilla, actually, the first option is to yeah. go home, right? Yeah. yeah, it is. It's so much better. That was very hard to get used to at first when I first played the uh, golden and mm -hmm. learned this. Well, they probably change it because uh, it's much people easier would... to hit. Yeah, people would like accidentally that. go home. Yeah, casually, it's better this way. Filthy casuals. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 205 soon. Need to buy the first thing. Yeah, this should be the armor. See, now it's only uh, three days. Yeah. But then after you buy the armor, they're still <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> it doesn't end there. Unfortunately. It's fine. 2.13 is when we go back into the dungeon. Yeah, but the cutscene started like 2.11 or 2.10, I don't know. There's like skiing, the whole skiing yeah. thing. Okay, just two days. Just one more day. <laughs> Rapidly approaching. I don't know if this counts as rapidly, like in, speed, in speedrunners terms, you know, when you compare it to some other game. <laughs> if we compare it to P5, it's rapidly approaching. Yeah, true. If we compare it to vanilla, it's rapidly approaching. Yeah. Like just, anything that isn't P3P is rapidly armor, approaching. Armor. Yeah. It just doesn't have enough non-deos. Okay, we're buying the first one, so I can also just mash circle here. Sony Dori with. I think this is the thing that gives us like 100 SP or something. Yeah, the speed does, barely matters. The, what matters is the very high defense stat. Yeah. So you're, you're very tanky. I honestly cannot remember if I had that equipped in my practice. Probably not. I think you did, just looking at your... like the, Just looking at the Maybe damage. I Maybe I did. I mean, I can equip it whenever I get it, I guess. So I don't forget. Yeah, the optimal way is to equip it when you're using the Arahan in the forest after, like before my boss fight, like you're in the menu already, but... Yeah. First of all, we have exams here, which we do not really care about. Yeah. Yeah, after these exams is when the, the cutscenes start. Mm -hmm. So now the real question is, who are you gonna go ski with? Yeah, you can you can donate to uh, say uh, <laughs> which girl do you want us to ski with? <laughs> Man, it also has insane evasion. Too bad we can't make use of that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's the the Gohan route, what Ghoul calls. Uh, like, uh, there, there's a route for very hard um, that's been theorized where you don't use Divine Pillar, instead, instead you use, use... Yeah, you just dodge everything. Yeah, um, Ali Dance. Ali Dance, yeah. Because you learned how to dodge. It's, uh... 
Not that consistent, I would say, because you can still get hit through all that stuff. Yeah. Well, if yeah, I know yeah. what, if I'm sure what Ghoul is uh, referencing, then uh, I would say that is pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, the early dance route I used to have, well, theory route I had back in the day, did enter the game at like low seventies, so <laughs> that is quite a low level. Yep. I mean, you just gotta get lucky. And now zoom. <laughs> These zooms also lag the on on Vita. Like when they zoom out, like while they're zooming <laughs> zooming through. <laughs> it, it <laughs> Who would have guessed? Am I right? <laughs> yeah. So someone said in a donation, "Rise, best girl." Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> in honor of Matsuki. <laughs> it was him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was not me, yeah. Oh you can hear the the knocking. Yeah. Apparently. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing on, on console as well. That, that gets muted. Oh, interesting. Did they just light a fire inside the hut? Yeah. I've not sure how safe that is maybe this uh, house uh, is pretty modern maybe has uh, you know uh, like anti-fire safety precautions <laughs> sprinklers attached yeah sprinklers <laughs> I, I don't know the english word <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that so reminds me of that reminds me of uh 2019 when the sprinklers in the game room uh, were leaking I don't know if you remember that. Oh, I think I barely remember, yeah. Yeah, ESA, when we were playing in the game room, and, um, or yeah. in the board game room, and just started dripping down. Yep, I do remember that. Yeah, so we just got introduced to this dungeon by Margaret. And we're gonna go in on the next day. You have to, you have to do it on the next day. And there's no like, you can't just go out of it and re-enter on the next day. You, you just get one day. But the way, the like they point the, you know, you're just gonna run out of SP. So they put a gimmick on it where you're all basically always at no SP. Uh, but you get recharged every turn, so you can still do it in one day casually. It's like having uh, SP adhesive in. P5, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Except you're also losing half of your uh, current SP after the fight. Yep. Alright, let's, uh, let's hope I don't mess this up. Yeah, and in this dungeon you lose all of your items uh, normally, so you need to bring the party from the get-go. Because you can't just go um, home. It was a good thing there was a TV in this uh, shabby cabin. <laughs> yeah, Mar I think Margaret put that in. No, no, Teddy. Yeah, yeah. Teddy. Yuki goes afterwards for the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're getting the second, third, and fourth chest. Uh, every chest except the first one. Yeah, second, third, and fourth. <laughs> what if there's a fifth one? There's not. <laughs> I don't. I I can't count. I just know. <laughs> It's every... Yeah, luckily we can just run away from these encounters. They're not fast. But that's really good. We're losing half our SP every time. Yeah, so yeah, so we should look at the SP bar. We only have half. Also, we only lose half of the current, not of the max. That would be... Uh, very unfair. Yeah. To say the very least. Okay, that's the first one, right? Uh-huh. Skipping that one. No, I think you do get this one. I think the f the first chest was already here. No. Before, no? I'll, I'll show you this as a lightning bell. Okay. Okay, well, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll need the lightning bell somehow. 
It, it was used in the route very early on. It had its uses. You equip the Griefstone immediately, yeah. yeah. And before, uh, before the actual boss fight, you use a Cento Petal. They actually have enough SP to do anything. Yeah, for the Gorgeous King. Yeah. And hopefully that fight's not gonna troll me. And hopefully this fight, uh, the, that fight, the Gorgeous King fight was so bad before Spellmaster. So Spellmaster saved it. Can't imagine. Well, Spellmaster and realizing that as long as you make it, make the king waste its first turn, it's actually kind of tame. The first turn is always uh, mm. the dangerous one. Now's your chance. Because on the second one, you always just mute or attack. <laughs> Alright, that's our go home. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you just can... You don't need to walk to it. Yeah. Alright, uh, it's gonna be 60 FPS city. <laughs> yeah, because the shadows are huge here. If they, uh, like, um, do damage to any of the party members, then you never eat and hear the end of it either. Yeah, why did you go here? Because I have to attack him regardless. Yeah, sure. If they hit the party members, they're gonna be complaining until the end of the dungeon. <laughs> They're gonna say something like, I can't go anymore. These positions are so terrible. Mm -hmm. Now's your chance. Run! Luckily the lack of SP in the end doesn't matter. Yeah, why does this game not have a stoma? <laughs> No, this is this is actually kind of like a, not really a sequence break, but uh, like he just censored uh, that it was her poems, even though with the way we did the social link, we never hear heard any of the poems. Yeah. I mean, with all that studying he did, he just knew. No, you don't hear any of the poems. <laughs> Oh, it's still not the exit. What the hell? Also, the game is like weirdly choppy on 60 FPS sometimes. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that. Yeah. It's really annoying. It's it's very noticeable on, um, on stream at least. I don't know if it is in when you guys are just watching the screen. But yeah, it's you can definitely see yeah. it when watching. Yeah. Yeah, so there will be one fight on these doors, which is actually not skippable, where you cannot run away. And that's the Gorgeous King. Uh, and these doors are, uh, like, uh, most of these are now RNG. So ideally you don't get, you don't get encounters on these ones. Average is like three encounters. I already got two. No, the first one was guaranteed. Oh. Yeah, they only got oh, one yeah, RNG yeah. one. Yeah, well... <laughs> like I said, I already got two. <laughs> <laughs> Now's your chance. Run! Okay, should be third door left. As always, Nev is above average. Yeah, you turn left here. And then I equip Shiki OP OP. And use the Sento Petal. Yeah, so this boss fight, this is actually, we're gonna do pretty much, for the most part, this is gonna be all intended strats. Um, uh, so, first of all, we're gonna insta kill the, uh, the adds. Uh, so, cool thing in this dungeon, 
I'm pretty sure you never miss the insta kill in this dungeon. I've never seen it miss, so that's very cool. Um, so we're gonna get rid of the adds and then mind charge. Uh, we're gonna be using uh, Megiddo alone to do most of the, not Megiddo alone, Megidola to do most of the damage. And, and the party members are just gonna be buff slaves. Uh, but uh, the important thing is that we want them to be alive for as much as possible because a lot of the damage is gonna be from the alt attacks. Reset one. Risa actually increases. Oh yeah, and you get the <laughs> Juness Bomber. You get Juness Bomber as well, which is it actually does it, it does good damage, but the animation is so long to where it's. <laughs> you can't get Juness Bomber um, twice in a row though. It's only like once per battle. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna insta kill these again. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, probably don't even need to kill them. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't even we'll need to. Yeah, just. Scotty, Megidola. Yeah, they're li they're light to Megidola. You're on a roll, senpai. Two defeated. Yeah, he has dodge physical, which is annoying, but um, he will die eventually. He he will eventually spawn. Like when he's low HP, he's gonna spawn this big uh, spawn this big dude. But the big dude is fine. The big dude. Um, doesn't do anything on the first turn. He, I think he power charges or something. Reset two. Four twenty. <laughs> nice. I did see one of these, right, for Patra? Uh, yeah, the middle one, the table. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, but Teddy has silence. It's okay. Chia has Bufu. It's okay. Uh, charge. I did double check. Yeah, uh, yeah. Chia has Bufu, it's yeah, okay, Chia. I mean, they are weak to everything anyways, aren't they? Is it everything? I thought it was just Bufu. So. It says yeah, table some any. of them are weak to everything, some oh. of them are weak to specific stuff. Okay. Yeah, you, you dizzy this guy to... Um, so that he repatras, yeah. See ya. Wait, can I even all out attack with poison in this game? Yeah, yeah, you can. That's P3, I think. No, even in P3, I think you can. I think. In P5, you can, if you have a status. Yeah, in P5, you cannot. Okay. That was alright. Yeah, that was a good fight. That's about as good as you'd, uh, you'd want. That's also a mini boss that can be beaten with a galactic punt if you got the cheer rank yeah support. yeah because it's like a boss but it's uh, it's for the most part it just counts as a normal enemy inside that fight just punted dark efka's route i think even relies on that i think that's actually a strat for the fight which is pretty bad i mean kefka does do things very differently <laughs> So do you need to equip uh, Yoshi? I already did. Mm -hmm. Okay. He did it immediately after the fight. It's just so I don't forget. <laughs> no energy or No, you actually need to equip it immediately after the fight, otherwise they're just gonna keep uh, outspeeding yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, that too. Why do I get the longest floor as possible? With That's the, called a marathon lock? <laughs> with the stupidest shadow positioning possible. Yeah, so now they're complaining as you can hear. <laughs> Okay, but can you guys leave me alone? Please? <gasps> they just want to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Obviously, Nebius has no, no idea how shadows work. Yeah, so this is another set floor. This is another one of those floors where there is enemies on the doors. And there's gonna be a mandatory mini boss. The end. The, 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 that mini boss is probably my least, probably my, my most hated fight in the run. It's so inconsistent. It's so terrible. He has high counter. He dodges. It's a tower, just like the previous tower. It's yeah, this one. So. Yeah, this one is even more annoying because you also don't have the items and everything. Yeah, you have nothing. You don't even have SP. You don't yeah. even start with anything. Yeah, you have nothing. Really. Yeah, and she has just keep them. Oh, it's only Chia complaining because the other yeah. ones have full HP. Yep. Now's your chance. Run. She has a one to one. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be a one zero. Oh, yeah. No energy. Here okay, we're going down here. And then go right again. Right again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's this one. Yeah, this one. And then the boss is on the next one. Yep. Here. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the why first... you start on Yoshi. That's why you start on Yoshi, so... I am on Yoshi. Yeah, 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 but I mean, so that he doesn't yeah, start with. Uh, not ideal. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine, but you're gonna run out of auto suku, which is not ideal. Guys, Chia Senpai's really hurt. Yeah, so this is, for the most part, the same idea as the other tower in Magatsu, where fully buffed. Um, that was 4k damage, by the way. Uh, fully buffed uh, Hasutobi one shots, but getting that done here is very hard because there's so many things that can go wrong. Yeah, Suiki. I always forget that the first turn is uh, what's it called? The only one, only one, yeah. Single one, yeah. That's good. It's always double after that though. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice repel. Yeah, now your uh, hit rate is down, so you might want to... Like, you can risk it, but... It's probably gonna get high countered anyway. Oh, nice, nice, very good, very wow. good. Oh, what else? It paid off. Yeah. Very nice. Good job. See, it's a gamble I took at Adachi, except uh, this one paid off. Yeah, the, no, oh, you yeah. did wrong with the other one. You can actually get encounter on this door as well, yes, which is that's interesting. That's why we're equipping the stone. Uh, this one. You can get encounter. Yeah, <laughs> you would think that after the boss, there's, there would be nothing anymore, but that's not how it works in this game. Yeah, but you can get on. This also, one. I'll be honest, I have no idea about the the stones' names in English, so <laughs> I have to actually check which one's the highest. Oh. <laughs> It's actually uh, random what kind of stone the tower drops. It can yeah. vary between 20 to 28 SP. That's what I've seen at least. I think this one was a 22, wasn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, that's not a dead Oh, uh, maybe it is a dead end actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, it looks like one. Yeah. We're yeah. Just gonna do this. yeah, that's, that's that, probably the yeah. best option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, my floor energy has been so bad. Yeah, I don't mind. All right. All right. So I'm going to leave my place to Mr. Poto, who's right. there. So thank you for having me and yep. enjoy people. <laughs> How's it going, Pop? Good. <laughs> Perfect. Um, we came yeah. in for the worst dungeon of the entire game. Okay. This uh, one is almost over though. Yeah. It's just the boss left. I want to make it clear that I've never seen this game before. 
That's perfect. I mean, yes. I haven't either, so. <laughs> have you haven't, Fog? I'm seriously uh, tired. No, I haven't. I was just, I was just asked to participate. Why, why do you pick commentators who have never seen the game before, then? <laughs> because commentators who have no, who have no idea about the route are actually uh, the best at, you know, getting through the drought of uh, going home and sleeping. <laughs> Because they can talk about all sorts of different things regarding the game, or even ask questions that, uh, you know, viewers might have. Because they themselves don't exactly know them. Because sometimes, if you know if you know a lot about the game, like, you might just forget about the simple things that uh, some others might not know about the game, yeah. right? Yeah. That, that reminds me, Kato, when's Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> that's up to you, uh, really. Getting the sacred uh, that's, branch. That's fair. Yeah, get Yukiko in. Over Yosuke. Where is it? Uh, did I forget uh, use the else? arrow hands. Just use the arrow. Technically, right. yeah, use it at least on yourself. Yeah, Teddy didn't use it, but yeah. sure. Uh, I think that's it, right? Uh, the seen. armor. Oh, you already equipped it. Yeah, I already equipped it. Yeah. Yeah, this is where I would normally equip armor. Yeah. I just did it early, so don't forget. What was the per persona you played last time? Was that also uh, four? Five. five. That was five, five. okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that one went a lot better than this one, I want to say. Really? Uh, yeah. Because that one did not go good. Sorry? <laughs> that one didn't go well, so... What do you mean that one didn't go well? <laughs> It's the one that came after this, except there was also Persona 4 Arena Ultimax and Persona 4 Dancing All Night in between. And Persona Q! <laughs> Shadow of Labyrinth or whatever it's called. Yeah, screw that game. <laughs> so is she an ally or is she a boss? Uh, she, she, she is just weird. Uh, okay. <laughs> we need to deal 1000 damage here. Uh, okay. Here is this go. the scene where Sephiroth comes down and stabs her? <laughs> We're going to Hachiman, we can't Marakunda here, which... It's fine, you just mind charge Hagida and mind charge Hagida. Yeah. You just do an extra mind charge, which is a bit slower, but it's normal. She likes to spend Megiddo alone. That seems scary, but it's actually fine, doesn't do that much. Doesn't do that much, just kills the entire team except for one. Yeah, well, the team the team doesn't matter, all, all that matters is the main character. Yep. So, so you're Harry Potter, so. right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're, uh, we're Harry Potter. <laughs> nice. Yes. But that's not Voldemort. <laughs> no. Are you sure? So, so why are, are you fighting Hermione? And now we just rush. But why are we fighting Hermione? Um, Because she is in a little bit of a depression phase. I don't know. Yeah, it even says in the text box that she looks depressed. Uh, one of these text boxes. Yeah, so that was phase one. That was... Just an introduction, I guess. Um, now there's phase two. So phase two is um, actually completely 100% consistent. Um, Until unless I you make misclick. a mistake. Yeah, unless you misclick. Um, but that's good because uh, um, you cannot miss her. That's one good thing. Uh, she, for some reason, for some reason, she's one of the boss fights that you cannot miss. Um, we have Makara Karn, which is uh, good to reflect some damage. Um, the intended strats, so the intended strats for this, uh, the intended way uh, for this fight to go is you need to like get um, um, elemental break items from the dungeon. Uh, oh! But luckily we just have fire break on Yukiko. That's why we leveled up her in the lab. Uh, <laughs> Yukiko dodged as well. I yeah, do love that's actually slower nerd because say. she's not gonna die from uh, rushing. I do love how the nerds say cannot remember if this with Hachiman or Kaguya. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll just recon yeah. already and... Uh, yeah, and then just rush with them. Sorry? And then just rush with them. Yeah. Yeah, they like to kick into a wall. That's fine. So, uh, Paro, how accurate is this to Swedish culture? What? How accurate is this to Swedish culture? Pass? Yeah, okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm on this line. Yeah. 
Yeah, actually, make sure I don't make a mistake here. Yeah. Because that would be a tragedy. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so I can actually explain here that in case no one has heard it before, Fog, one of our remote commentators, is Danish and lives like lives like an hour away from here, and he decided to uh, diss on Nevin B and stay home. You you decided not to pay for my ticket. <laughs> Why would I pay for your ticket? Because I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, so some of you might be thinking, well, why, why are we doing the intended threat? Why are we actually using the break skill? Um, uh, why, can't, why couldn't she, we just use the Megidola, the uh, Almighty? Uh, well, she actually has a hidden resistance. She actually, you, she only takes like, what, 10% Almighty damage or something like that. She has huge resistance to Almighty, so it's actually way better to do the intended threat. And that, hmm, you have someone here who knows the game. Why do you need me? <laughs> uh, to entertain everyone. Because you yeah, are a funny person. I feel like I'm very much in the way now. Yeah, and Chia, Chia will be uh, dead so, now, but that's fine. I mean, it's just uh, the, for this fight, I have to uh, just carefully read my notes because one mistake here is basically. Well, that's it. Now, now we just spam Agadines with mind no, charge. Just, with yeah. mind charge. Yeah. But, uh, but it's still just like five magadines. After that, there is a little bit more downtime and then the dungeon mm. after walkthrough and shit. But this, I still feel like Pato is very overdressed by this event. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> At first, I thought he was gonna ignore you. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured, right? This is why this uh, this whole uh, this whole fight is actually like the way we did things here is very very specific because otherwise, as you can see, she's only spamming draining fog. That's because we're push we are pushing the phases in very, um, um, like in a very uh, I don't I don't know the words. Basically, <laughs> you have to do things see this ya, way. nerd. <laughs> you have to things this you have to do right. things this way. Otherwise, she she yeah, she's actually hard to fight. Didn't mess this up. Right, yeah. So now we have another bit another of, final boss. Yeah, a little bit of downtime, and then we go into the final dungeon and stuff. Yeah. So, so now he's gonna go to the shopping district and uh, meet <laughs> Teddy, and uh, True. then he's gonna go north to Marie and spam cancel. Yeah, that's not not yet because there's still Valentine's Day before that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Why is that not in notes? Because uh, <laughs> you can't mess anything up there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Because Valentine's Day doesn't matter in notes, dude. Yeah, we don't even have a girlfriend now because he didn't romance Marie. Exactly. Yeah, he, he just skipped it. He friends on her. Yeah, he friends on yep. If you romance her, she kisses you. But we don't want that. Whoa, whoa, that's a bit too far. We haven't <laughs> <been friends yet. laughs> So the talking cat is not in this game. Mm -mm. No. Okay. No, the, 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 we have talking bear instead. We okay. have talking astute, bear instead. Okay. Astute observation, Potto. <laughs> <laughs> so what I remember from Persona 5 was that a talking cat can talk, but not really. And it's a dream, but not really a dream. It's fake, but not really fake. What's the deal with the bear in this in this game? It's the same it's thing. Real, but not it's the real. same thing. Okay. So is is it Joker that is the protagonist? No. Okay. The guy is just main character. He's or in, in our name. case, he's called ESA Marathon, and oh, he's okay, gonna okay. save the world. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this is true. this is canonically the Chad. Okay. If you ask the community, out of all the protagonists, this is the Chad one. Okay. So Joker is only the protagonist in Persona Five. Yes. Yes. Okay. He's also in Super Smash Bros. Yes. I am very aware <laughs> of that. But he's not he's not the protagonist there. <laughs> are you sure about that? Yeah, are you sure about that? <laughs> what is canonically the protagonist? <laughs> is it Mario? Depends who you main. Is it not? No, I don't know. I think I it's mean, yeah, I think it's Kirby. <laughs> yeah, this is how we spend the Valentine's Day because we don't have any girlfriends. Yep, with the dudes <laughs> and with the a bear. With a talking with fake bear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, yeah, so, so this is, is a Valentine's Day Kind of. Oh, is this, yeah. is, this how, is this how we're supposed to spend Valentine's Day, Pato? Yes. So who, who is dating who? I don't get it. Uh, nobody's dating anybody. Okay. 
Because we <laughs> only have lot? we only have one true friend, and we friend zoned that friend. Okay, yeah. which is her. Of, yeah, oh, she okay. still gives us the chocolate, but she just doesn't kiss us in this scene. I see. Is she real she or is she a dream me. girl? Or like a girl in a dream? Or like you get what I mean. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, I want to believe she is uh, real somewhat. Okay. We also get Maybe, a slime. I don't know. <laughs> we also get a slime chocolate. Look at this yeah. thing. <laughs> It does not look too good. <laughs> yeah, we got, <laughs> and that <laughs> that didn't turn out well. <laughs> that uh, the 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 good part is that that's not even the poison animation. That's the fear animation. Ah, <laughs> uh. we were afraid of the chocolate. Yep. All right. Moltsky, what do you think? How much longer do we have? Forty minutes? Fifty? Uh, shut up, blah, 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 blah. What? <laughs> After Kuzumi, it's like 45 minutes, so 40 okay. ish, maybe. Okay, okay. What he's trying to say is, Nef, speed, speed up. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, I would say, like, based on the entertainment value in this run, it's about seven hours too long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's because you only joined like 20 minutes ago, Polo. No, I've been in and out. <laughs> yeah, okay. but not we're going to the shopping district. Oh, now we're going to the shopping district? Yes. To talk yeah. to Teddy? This is uh, 320 now. Yeah, we have, to say, we have to say goodbye to every single social link we maxed, except we didn't max anything aside from Marie, and Marie is not here. Uh, but Teddy maxed automatically from the story, so... We have to get to Marie, though. Oh, we do get to Marie. You can read the notes yeah. from there, Polo. Yeah, and you need to say no here. What? Uh, after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to say no. There we I go. Know, there we I go. Know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I think in, Ever, in golden it's the first option to go back, right? Yeah. Ever since Polo joined, this has just gone downhill. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, he said no. If you say yes, you get uh, the neutral ending, right? I don't know what ending you get. I think you get the neutral ending. Okay, so basically what we did here is uh, we're, we went back to the food court one last time before we're supposed to leave. Why we're is that still food on fire? I don't know. The, the, food, the food thing is like the, their hideout, basically. Yeah, but the food itself is on fire. <laughs> yeah, that's PS2 things. <laughs> right, we're going to the riverbank. We have to talk to Dojima here. Have you already spoken to Teddy? Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and, and if you notice, it, it was very sunny right before this. Now it's cloudy, and now it's gonna rain soon as well. Yep. So basically, we're unlocking that the final is, boss by, yeah. how it goes. by yeah. figuring out what exactly happened when we got here and how yeah, we got we these go, powers. We go, we go to we go to the velvet room and we get orb. Yes, and I think while we get that, we can quickly listen in on the donation. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> and no donations at this time, apparently. Yeah, you, oh, need, you need to yeah. be doing the second option on this. The first one just ends the dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see now, it's raining. Yep. So this is the person that uh, gave us these mysterious powers. Yeah, he he is actually the the worst guy. On the yep, a used car dealer. <laughs> yeah, it's apparently a god as well. Oh, yeah, just okay. a casual god. Yeah, that's what gods do. Gods do these days. They work as gas attendants on their free time. <laughs> I mean, have you seen the gas prices? <laughs> Yeah, now we're in the final dungeon. Luckily, we have all our items back. Yep. Uh, bath towel and all the other things. Yeah, okay. We're we're gonna be equipping some costumes here for the final stretch. The also, book of void. <laughs> That's more important. I guess. Uh, if you're uh, gonna use it, if you're gonna use it. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. But, yeah. uh, I usually equip it after the thing. Oh.
Uh, oh, bath towel, yep, that seems good. Shia. Me. I like that one. Kanji's gonna... But Chia isn't even gonna be in there. Gonna Chia will be against the final boss. Yeah, no, of. wait, is she? Uh, yeah, she will yeah, be, she yeah. Will. I know, I could have won too many costumes, I don't know on who. Hopefully not Naoto. <laughs> yeah, so Naoto, you don't even... You, you did, don't bring her at all. Not even in a single fight. Alright, we get the... The perfect attire. For this dungeon. Uh, this is not perfect. <laughs> Yeah, this is how this is this is how you go fight final boss. Yep. With uh, a bath towel and a shovel. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're well prepared. This is actually the exit. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, the two yeah. things. The two things is the exit. The two things on the right. No wait, because this is the two things, but this is not it. Yeah, I usually just oh, look in there. Okay. And then if there's a shadow or a treasure Yeah, I usually there, just go in there as well, so... I look in there. If there's a treasure or a shadow in there, I just leave. Because, like, you can look from the side, right? Oh, well, this, this had a shadow on the yeah, map, I so... <laughs> uh, it's... Is it... Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Alright, so now... We're gonna have another really hard... This is one of the harder fights in the run. Yep. But I'm pretty sure even Pato could uh, could deal with this with the proper instruction. Yeah, with the instructions, I think, yeah. It was the second door, right? What? That is making a lot of assumptions. <laughs> I haven't paid attention. What are you talking about? Yeah, this, this boss. boss this boss. This one is even really hard. Even you could beat him. Oh. Yeah, so... so <clears throat> we're gonna click Rush. And, uh, uh, oh, what do we do next? <laughs> yeah, so that's the fight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we go forward, left, left, first door. Yeah, so this is basically the same thing as the robot in the, um, in the Naoto's thing, except this one is way faster. Yep. Th this one doesn't give you the bathroom break, though. Uh, yeah, but at this point, you can run. at this point, you don't really need the bathroom break anymore. Well, even if you need it, it's close enough to the end. Yeah. Just hold it. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make up some time though. There's only if there's like thirty-five minutes left or something. We don't gonna. We don't want to go too close to the estimate, I think. Or do we? We already uh, did. We start. Uh, we started uh, on time. I think we time. started one min, one minute yeah, after. Yeah, because SMT five yeah. finished way earlier. Yeah, took a little bit to set up, and I had to go back to my room first. I mean, we were like two minutes late on like when the time actually started, but it's not like we're super late. There's there's like three runs after this. I think on stream two. Really. Is is, only uh, one or two? There was only one this... first. There was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon uh, at first, but th there's like more now. Okay, this is a Skamaz. I mean, isn't it just Pokemon Mystery Dungeon before the stream ends? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. From so, what I see, there's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and then stream two ends. Okay. So I have a question, Neville. Yes. In this and in Persona 5, a lot of the gameplay is you running one direction and then turning around and running back because you can't find your way. Wouldn't it be better to just know where you're supposed to run? It truly would be better. Yeah. Um, can you remember and... Uh, do uh, you have a setup to know where everything is? I mean, that's that's yes. Nev's job for running the game. Yeah, I mean, these uh, this are is his all first randomized run. floors. <laughs> this is Nev's first official run. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. True. yeah. I've never <laughs> actually finished a run ne of this game. <laughs> Nev, have you tried getting good? Okay, wait. Yeah. Follow path, first door. Yeah, so unlike unlike the previous five, which is actually a joke, this one can have something. This is why we get the Book of Void, is for this fight. I quit the book earlier, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. with the costumes. There's a type in the notes, apparently. All we need to do here is to hit two House of Tobies. 
Um, Wait, and ideally, you don't hit uh, get hit with the. Um, well, actually, he can't do anything with the. Oh wow! I'm not used to seeing dodges here because I never equipped the book myself. Power charge, power charge. So many dodges. Ninety-four. I think this uh, has like nine floors in total. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we would have been better to equip it, you know, as you go home. But it doesn't matter. Oh. The uh, the equipment one is whatever, anyway. Yeah. Because like yeah. you have to go out of the menu. Mm -hmm. The healing, I guess. Wait, Nev, did uh, Kuru also ditch this year for um, for the other con, or is he actually a DSA? I have not seen him yet. Okay, I don't know. So he probably ditched for the other con. Alright, uh, two more floors and then the final boss. Yeah. It was probably the hardest fight. Yeah, it's... It's the hardest one to learn, for sure. It's pro it's maybe the hardest one to do in a oh while as God, well. Oh this is a dead end. Is this guy still gonna be chasing me? Are we gonna use the calculator? Um, that's a genuine question. I. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that's bullying. Can get past him. I am not sure I'll use a calculator. Well, you probably should be sure by now. <laughs> That's where you should decide. That He's just gonna get sure. the ideal fight and then there's no need for a calculator. It's okay, Molsky will use a calculator in the background. Yeah, Molsky will do it for me. <laughs> Molsky is using a calculator like he's using a stopwatch. <laughs> Yeah, I have it out, but it's doing nothing. What, the stopwatch or the calculator? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> I should be using one. Yeah, you like, probably should. But then again, hey, Pilot, you did, you did fine without it, so... Pablo can pull out his calculator, he's doing nothing. Yeah, so we're gonna take uh, Teddy, Kanji, Chia for this one. And now it's time for the final boss. The final boss has uh, two phases, uh, but then the second phase also has three phases, so... No? no? Okay. Did you just say that you fought the final boss like two hours ago as well? Yeah, he did. That was a meme. Okay. Yeah, that is was a meme. Is this also a meme? No, no. this is the actual final okay. boss. So this the final boss is gonna be going on for like 40 minutes. Uh, yes. it's gonna be going for a while. Twenty minutes and then credits. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay. Oh, the starts with a Mazio Dino, so we can just sit up a corner and get a decent damage with a reflector. Yeah, so we reflect for a lot of damage here. That's like over 1200. ESA has charged up. Oh, yeah. We're only beginning to charge up. Yeah. Good, that's. And from gonna be Mega Dolan, guaranteed. Yeah, and from this point onward, for the most part, she can just do whatever she wants. Um, the ideal thing is, who is if she would be mind charging into an elemental move that she that we reflect. Um, the worst thing that she can do is foolish whisper, which would put silence on us. Careful, 
That's the least thing we'll is, see. Is this the fight where the notice must concentrate before face change? Yes. Okay. Make sure not to disturb him then, Pato. Uh, different type of concentrate, but yeah. Your, your, your teammates died. In a... Yeah, I know. It's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They did their it's job. Okay. They did uh, their job. Okay, we're gonna get the super speedy fight, and this is gonna be Agi then. Yeah, I. That's optimistic. <laughs> The PS Vita version with its uh, insane amount of uh, magic mirrors can actually try and get a mind charge to Ma spell reflected, which pretty much ends the phase immediately. Yeah, have you have you have you done that, that didn't in att attempt Smolski? I never did. Nah, I don't really go yeah. for that, but the Google yeah, this is what I mean. Uh, foolish whisper. Luckily, Scotty has no mute, so it doesn't matter for Scotty. But you can get muted on your Shitsune. So luckily he was on Scotty that turn. No, I mean he just stagnant air before that. Doesn't matter if you you stand in air, you still you still can can get hit. Yeah, but that's why like if you see stagnant air you go to Scotty. Because it's gonna be foolish whisper after. Oh okay, I wasn't looking. Alright. I uh, should be able to actually attack here. Pada, you look like you have no idea what's going on. Yeah, this might not kill yet. Oh, it doesn't yeah. kill. I'll need another yeah. one and a half, actually. Yeah. One and a reflect. Mm -hmm. There's the Moragi Dine. Yeah, as you can imagine, the final boss is really tanky. It takes a while to die. Okay, just give me just give me the Agi Dine or a Zeodine. Agi Dine or Zeodine. It's more fog that I, I used up my jokes the first five minutes and now I have nothing more to contribute with. <laughs> oh, didn't even have to that's heal. That's that's <laughs> and this one doesn't even reflect, sadly. Pardo, that sounds like a you problem, not like an us uh, problem. I think I need both up to actually be able to kill. I mean, Noctis is back. She can give plenty of uh, informative uh, commentary. It's pretty pog jam. <laughs> Don't you think, them? Trying to see. Yeah, okay, we'll be at two, three hundred. Yeah, this. So are you just gonna do the same yeah, attack over and over? That's it. Well, she she's already zero HP. Okay, so now I need to count the turns here. I have to power charge back up, and I have to heal back up, and on the fourth turn I have to revive. So it's gonna be yeah. one. You don't have my charge up yet, right? I do. Okay. Okay, you don't need to do that at least. Are you okay? Make sure not to disturb him when he's counting four. Yeah, the new guard. You did power charge. Did I? Yeah, I think so. You can try it again. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you just guard. You power charge on the first time, buddy. Three. And now we revive. So that's phase one done. That's good. Unfortunately, there is no checkpoints between the phases. So. <laughs> All right. Now I need to actually focus on this one real quick. Yeah. It's Alec Break. This one especially. Yeah. Prey gassing. <laughs> you think that's what she's doing? Yeah, so the this is the second phase. This is the scary one. You need to do like seventy six hundred or something damage. I don't know. You need to do a lot. Okay, I like break and revive. Yeah, so at the start we're gonna be reflecting uh, another set of Moziodine. Sadly, the second phase actually drains electricity, so we need to do a leg break. That's the main thing why Hachiman is so important. 
Um, we need to revive the whole party because again we need to reflect the, the as much damage as possible. So we need the full party. Uh, luckily on this turn she doesn't immediately kill them. She just lets them live because she is uh, buffing up. So that's good. She's just gonna buff up. Okay, I need to not target Teddy here. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to use Heat Riser on you. Do not target Teddy. Yeah, because it auto targets Teddy, as you can see. That's good. We're gonna lower the defense to do very big reflect. And then we're gonna finish up the mirrors. And this will be a lot of damage. The stage is already set yeah, just like, divide. just put like 30, I would put like 3500 honestly, but that's sure. Oh wait. Yeah, that, that will work, probably. Right. Also, while, um... Yeah, this this is definitely not important, so I do want to shout out a quick congratulations. We to, need to uh, not miss the Sagidine, this is very important. It's very easy to miss the Sagidine. Good, that's very good. Kanji, your very nice. So now we're essentially, essentially in phase 2 of the phase 2. Um, she's gonna do uh, Galgal Mize on one of the party members. It's not gonna be the main character. Um, and then she's gonna follow it up with an insta kill move, which insta kills anything that has uh, a status uh, effect. Um, she's but she's only gonna do this once uh, for now to like just to, like show what she can do or whatever to threaten you. So she is dead. So now he needs to uh, uh, get close to the final phase. Uh, and the final phase is uh, at 6k damage. Right now he's at, uh, judging from the calculator, he's at 4200, so he needs to do like another uh, 1700 damage. That's the goal. 960, right? Yeah. Yeah, so now he's at 5200 damage, so he needs to do less than 800 damage now. Uh, that's the goal, basically, right now. She has two moves every turn. All of her moves are, for the for mo almost all of her moves are almighty. She does have um, fire, as well, and she also has physical attack. But physical attack you can predict. Have your friends yeah, just got all of the four elements and then a dark move that halves your HP. If it oh hits, yeah, the dark move. Mind charge Agidan without Tarakaja should be fine, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, it should be like 600 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can throw a Hell Magatama, probably. That is assuming I didn't mess up the thing. Mm, true, true. Yeah, that might be a little risky. But you still... Like, if this is correct, then you need at least some damage. Yeah. So I don't know. Up to you. <laughs> I think it's at most 100-ish off. You can throw a smart bomb. Did you buy that? That's 100 damage. Yeah. Yeah, you can throw a smart bomb. That's First safe. of all, I have to buff up before I do anything. Because I need power charge and mind charge back. Okay, debilitate. That's not too bad. Because I still have both Rakunda and Rakukaja. Uh, Rakukaja and Sukukaja. Um, just gonna get... Oh, I didn't have... Uh, she, she, she likes to spam debilitate. That's normal. It's You, you don't want to see it, but that's normal. Luckily, I have like another Soma. And a Beat Melon. Yeah, and a Beat Melon. Okay. Yeah, this fun. Kuro Ikazuchi, you would think that's electric move, but it's actually Almighty as well. I don't know why I swapped to Scotty. It's fine. So, Hachiman. 
Mm, it's actually risky to mine shots with Hachiman because of that dark move, since Hachiman is weak to it. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. Senpai, are you okay? Does the weakness... Oh, she gives you once more, I guess. Senpai, you're low on health. Uh, I was gonna say, it doesn't even matter if it's all it does, it cuts, it cuts your HP in half, but I guess she gets one more. Yeah, if she gets a one more, she can mm -hmm. do annoying things like Galgalim Ice, etc. Yeah. I'm just gonna do two heat risers here, ideally. Actually, one should be enough. I will revive Teddy just in case. In case this pushes. Yeah, that's that's smart play. Oh wait, the girl and the bear are the same. Person? Yeah, yeah, he did push. He did push. Are you fully buffed? Should be. Um, uh, risk it? <laughs> Probably not. I am fully buffed. I have both. Power touch, mind charge. So this was just yeah, barely over 6k. Good. Yeah, this should be fine. Okay. Status? Yes, no? Oh, wow, no status. That's actually really rare. Okay, now we have to totally yeah, argue really that. Yeah, don't really Or do we do it the other way but around? the enduring. Yeah, I think we want to do now. it the other way. You want to do Hasutobi first. Hasutobi now, Hasutobi you'll, first. you'll yeah. trigger the enduring yeah. soul. Yeah. But it, this isn't going to trigger enduring soul. That's why I was asking. What do you mean? Because oh, this isn't going to trigger enduring soul. Apparently not. Yeah. It's I mean, fine. Yeah, um, it's fine. We can fix that. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Just don't debility. Yeah, no debility. That's good. So you win next turn. Yeah, so you win next turn. No, five, <laughs> five HP. <laughs> you, you still. <laughs> I could have just risked it, but yeah, it's you too could have waited yeah. to run. I didn't. I didn't even suggest that. This is too way too late into the run mm -hmm. to do that. <laughs> there we go. Now, now we are dying. No, I heat riser because I got debilitated. Okay, that wasn't looking. <laughs> I don't know how so Toby does over a thousand and uh, gonna need to do less than 600, so... There's a chance it's not fine, but it's also could have been fine. <laughs> but yeah, definitely the safer play. Okay, and this... Uh, she, she does have HP, she does have HP, but... Okay, there's a dex box. Alright, we're good. underestimate. <laughs> oh, god bless. What do you mean we're underestimate? What do you mean we're dead? Uh, sorry. We're dead. <laughs> Are you done? Oh, Look at this, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. Ne ne Look at us on the ground ne here. It. I still want to know, what, is the girl and the bear the same person? Yes. Okay. <laughs> there was a school festival where the boys dressed up as girls. And the that, girls dressed up in uh, swimsuits. That doesn't explain anything. And <laughs> the bear, the bear dressed up as that girl. Mm -hmm. Wait, the, the bear is a costume. Yeah. yeah. No, the the bear was originally a character, but he grew a body inside him. What? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> he grew a human body inside. Okay, so so, Pato, I have to explain to you the birds and the bees. <laughs> no. <laughs> and that also is pregnant. And, and Noctis mentioned something about reverse pe pregnancy. You throw the glasses here. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you also lose the bath towel for this for this thing. That's another. Thing. Yeah, it's. Uh... I have no idea get... because I've never equipped one here. I think. He he got clothed because now it's getting serious. Uh, how long are credits, Molski? 13? 12? From here? On PC? It's uh, less than 13 minutes after Myriad Druids. Mm -hmm. But oh. when is time? Uh, in about 13 minutes then? 12? <laughs> okay. After the credits. So, so the run is done, you could say. 
Yeah, we're just gonna sit through the credits and then we save and that's when time is. Yeah. Okay. If you don't click fast forward, you can still be uh, on estimate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and after this is done, we're gonna go down to the to the bar puddle. Oh wait, what? Yeah, exactly what I said, Fog. But Pato didn't invite me. What? I, what? We invited you. You yeah, were the one that didn't have, come. We have literally told no. you to come like for yeah. three months, every day. Pato didn't. Pato every didn't day, every yeah, single I, I day. Yeah. I didn't buy your ticket for you. That's what you're yeah, trying exactly. to say. Yeah. Wow. That's this the guy. Issue. Yeah, and this cutscene is uh, where it's normally unskippable. So you just take your PC mouse and you use the cursor and poke no, their eyes see. or nose. <laughs> <laughs> They look nothing like the game characters. <laughs> Let's see if without mouse pad and this DPI I can hit all the eyes. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. I mean you missed one at the start, so you Yeah, because I wasn't I wasn't ready for that. Uh, you failed. Ah You missed Is it quick for you? Wait, I think this is the one I missed, right? <laughs> Why are they crying? Oh, because he's leaving! Okay. But they're not crying. Yeah, that was the bear. The blonde, one. the blonde was the bear. Not oh. that not blonde this one. Bl yeah, not this <laughs> blonde, <laughs> <laughs> the blonde one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is essentially it. There's only credits but, but left and the final save. Wait, okay, so I'm confused now. So, so the bear is uh, the girl, right? No, no, not the girl. <laughs> the girl. <laughs> no, no, okay, the so the bear is the this guy here, okay? Oh, okay, but, but it was a girl in the fight. And his he was costume, cross -dressing. His, his costume for the school festival, where everybody dressed up as, uh, was like, that as girl? a girl, was that girl. Was costume. the Alice yes. in Wonderland girl. Yes. Yeah, okay. And where does the bear come into the picture? <laughs> He's normally the bear. Yeah. Like, okay, He's normally really as in... He is a when, bear. When you're in the TV world, in the other world, that's when he is the bear. No, okay, but so he can be the bear okay. in this world yeah, as well. Yeah, he can technically be the bear in this world as well, but he usually <laughs> this is. is. <laughs> this is why I don't like, like, commentating Persona around for you, because I don't understand anything. It's so complicated. Like, Avengers multiverse theory is more okay. makes more sense than so, this. It's like... So, so Pato, Pato, you know what a persona is? A, a what? A fursona. A fursona, yes, of course. You? Yes, that's... Obviously. Okay, so, so, so I, that's I know what a persona is as well, Fog. You're not, I, mean, I mean, that's not the issue. The issue is that I don't understand, because the, the bear... The, so the guy is sometimes a bear, but he's only bear in the in the fake world, except when he's a bear in the real world. And then in, in the fake world, the bear sometimes is a girl. And <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it really doesn't make sense. I okay, mean, look, Pato, that's why I love you commentating my runs, because you have no idea what's happening, and that makes it so much better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and there's no more, there, there's no more, like, in-game UI for the calendar. Yep. Sometimes I don't think Pato is really watching him run. You don't it's think just I'm watching memes? Watching? Oh no, I'm not watching. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not. Tr I'm yeah. trying to think of jokes like all the time. That's all I'm doing. Okay, so while we while we wait for uh, the credits to roll up, let's uh, get the two donations up real quick. Maddie donated five dollars, but does the bear have two personas? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, thank you. <laughs> also, everybody's got like new haircuts. Yeah, Confused old has... man donated five dollars. Finally, I can tell my grandson I've played his favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Teddy only has one persona. Wait, who has a one persona? Uh, Teddy, the bear. Well, well technically, no. he has two, three. Technically, well, well it, evol one? it evolves, but it's yeah. not a second one. What's the he third still one? only he might still, as well he... be a new one. <laughs> yeah, but he still only has one after that. So he had one, and then he has one later. Your cooking is barely food, Chie. <laughs> hey, uh, okay, now you confuse me. What's going on? What? <laughs> what do you say, yes. I said, now you confuse me. Who has two personas? The bear. 
Joker. Who is also the girl. Uh, not Joker. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Main character. We Joker established that so like nice. two hours ago that this is not Joker. <laughs> Yeah, but it's okay, the same so, as I guess. So don't worry about it. So, so Joker has two personas. Yeah. What? Well, so does this guy. Alright, there's are these never the more. No, okay. These are the credits. Yeah. So we time now. No, no we oh, okay. after this. Uh, um, there was there was one runner who had a corrupt uh, credits uh, here, uh, and it like just had a black screen. <laughs> The credits, like, there were, like, letters, I think, but it was black screen. So so why exactly is the credits included in the run? Because final save is because the Because it's input. very fun to watch. Okay. <laughs> because I know. Because it's satisfaction you after you finish the run after eight hours. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that the run is eight hours, and like, yeah, we should just add ten more minute, minutes to it, because why not? Yeah. Of, yeah. No, that's not, that's not actually the, the reason, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll just go with that. Yeah. Not oh, every single sorry. Mega Ten game ends. Uh, yeah, I mean it's mostly uh, Persona the... games at this point. So, so is the bear a costume? Yes. I, I heard <laughs> but no. But originally, end. I heard no end it, it is a costume. But originally, that's all there was. There was the, nothing inside the costume. Okay. The costume, it's it's a costume, and it's also not a costume. Yeah. Yeah. Should I stop asking about the bear? No, no, that's fine. No, keep yeah, asking yeah, yeah keep asking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what was that, Noctis? Tell him about the what? I don't think he's ready for that kind of information. <laughs> <laughs> what, inform what information are we talking about? Ask Noctis. What information are we talking about? Oh, the yeah, river no. pregnancy. Yeah, no, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Was the bear involved? <laughs> Good question. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. As then guessed, then right? I do have questions. <laughs> okay. So if the bear the bear was it's a suit, but it's also not a suit. But it was a pregnancy in a river, and the, <laughs> and the bear was in the river, in the suit. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just trying to piece together the. Yeah, you didn't piece it. Okay. You didn't piece it. Well <laughs> I don't think it could be further off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I tried. <sighs> Sir. Izanami lore. I don't know the Izanami uh, lore. She, she's like the opposite of Izanagi. Or something like that? No? She's like the wife of Izanagi so. or something? I think so. Oh, okay, no, that's wife messed and, up. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's not go there. Okay? That's messed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not Game of Thrones, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, spoiler. Yeah, I don't think... Okay, if people don't know that, like, sister wives are a thing in Game of Thrones, like... I haven't watched it. And you didn't spoilers, know that still? man. <laughs> yeah, spoiler. It's like the first episode of the show. Bro, yeah, but I have a That's still a spoiler. Episode. That's still a spoiler. Bro, sister wives were thing in medieval Scandinavia. Like you can't really judge them. <laughs> <sighs> this is exciting gameplay, Resident Sleeper. Yeah, this is now. Also, this is towards the end. There's gonna be yeah. uh, you and Marie as well after that. Oh, Hog Champ. It's probably going to be like two, three minutes. Fungusy. And Nock told me to use uh, Twitch emotes after each sentence, by the way. Ah. Yeah. Because you yep. love that. Yep. Yes. Frank Rizzi. Kappa. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Did you get the message from your mom, Pato? <laughs> uh, I, I was eating dinner with... Oh, they're people, steady as well. So I didn't listen to it. You should probably do that. This, uh, I'm not gonna do it here and now, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> this is Teddy's persona, this thing. What? <laughs> How is. No, the girl is Teddy's persona! <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes, that's what you told me. No. And now you say we that said I, we said he dresses as a girl once. Once. Only in that fight. 
No, the fight is just a uh, like DLC. Co it's not no. even DLC. It's just a costume that you can put you on. It's not canon. It's not even canon. But isn't Persona the like? School festival. Isn't Persona the Persona of like the beasts that come out when they use spells and they're like? Yeah, that that girl did not come out of it. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. But like, I didn't see the <laughs> I didn't see the drill guy come out of it either. Uh, that's because we barely used it in the final fight. Uh, but no, we did. We used Rakunda with it, so yeah. you, you should have seen it. We should have seen there it. There was another clown thing that came out. That Mother thing did. That thing did come out. Okay. You just didn't, didn't pay attention. Yeah, you just didn't pay attention. I probably did, but I'm confused. <laughs> so. Yeah, and you used the final one, so that credits are towards the end now. Well, either way, we're underestimate. That's what I was aiming for. Yeah. Because this Was is, it? in fact, actually my first finish run of Golden. Well, congratulations. PB pace. <laughs> <laughs> you are, like, from what I can tell, you're second on the leaderboard on PC in a percent. Possible, sorry, possible. Golden. Yeah, a lot of the PC leaderboards are not exactly optimal. optimal. Any percent and is pretty good. Of and opt is any on percent, MMG. yeah, any percent, yeah. Oh, sorry, I mean the hard gold ending, you're second, because there's only three people on it. Two yeah. people. So the time will be Bye, when he clicks uh, save. Um, so it's yeah, like I'll, soon. I'll call it. Yeah, it's soon. Also, Molsky will go through with a stopwatch afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I better start now, so, uh, the, so the run is up by the time I get back home. Is that how many days I have? Okay, time. Eight fourteen, not too bad. Could have been it's a lot worse. Half an hour. Yeah, without the kanji mishap, I feel like it would have been almost ten minutes faster. Yeah. Well, uh, I want to thank all of you guys for commentating and watching. Uh, helped out a lot. Um, everybody who donated as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I said. Um, my P5 run was probably a lot better last year than uh, this P4G run, but I honestly did not uh, practice nearly as much for this one as I did for the other one. Uh, I'll admit that. But this so, game's not too hard to to do, quote unquote, on the fly. So I, I want to interrupt you, uh, Nev, to okay. give a quick quick shout out to um, Noctis and Svansik. Like it's a late, it's a late, late, late <laughs> shout out, but to them getting engaged. So congratulations to both of them. How many years is he no late? Problem, not. Okay, so two years late, Fog. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Anyways, I think after the what run is next? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yes. Yeah. Um. Look forward to that. I hope everybody enjoyed this run. And um, again, thanks for thanks to all the people who commentated. Thanks to all the people who watched, and uh, don't forget to donate to Save the Children. Remember, 150,000 and Edenil will shave his head again. again. Make that happen. You do want to see that, live on stream. Uh, but yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for me. And uh, I'll Give see it up you guys for Nev. Ooh! <laughs> Take care, everyone.